Good morning, my friends. I think we're ready to go. I'm, I'm ready if you're ready. Hold on. Here we are. Oh, actually, there's one thing I need to fix very briefly. Good morning, guys. Sorry I'm a little later today. But I thought I'd at least give you guys a heads up, at least, that I was going to be running a little, a little smidge late. And, uh, and yeah. Um, oh, my Twitch chat is missing. That's what's going on. Sorry, my, my unconfirmed, my unconfirmed stream chat is missing. I cannot, cannot, cannot confirm nor deny which platforms I may or may be streaming. I mean, who really knows, you know what I mean? Who really knows? Um, I do need to do this, though, very briefly. How you guys all doing? Looking forward to a nice little... little MSQ stream today. Perchance, perchance, perchance. I've gone to Massimatoya. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so pissed off. I'm so pissed off. Oh my goodness. Wait, oh my. Mrs. Lemon? Mrs. Lemon, what happened? Hold on. What happened? Cute. Oh my goodness. I've got to ask jo Jordan about this. I've got to ask CC Lemon about this. Let me see. Take a little screenshot. Bam. Now I need to DM him. I need to say, CC Lemon, do we know about this? Send pick. <laughs> oh, what up, Orion? You saying uh, I'll be in and out until my friends are done progging? Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> oh my goodness! Are you aware of the cr your wife's crimes? She'll be she'll be put to death for these heinous crimes. Cute though, cute though, looking very cute, Ayumi, looking very cute. Wait, is that my dog? That's my dog. That's my dog. Bam. Came all the way to OCE as well. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, what's up everyone? How are we all doing today? Oh, nice, you got it too. Awesome. I am. How long are you gonna have to do this event? You're gonna have ages, right? It's gonna this is gonna be a long time one, right? Surely. Uh, right, so I did that. He's trying a month. Oh, okay. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. I was excited to see you live until I realized it's 3 a.m. Yeah, that's what it means. Well, it's probably 4 a.m. now or some shit because uh, you know. I am... Um, I started late, didn't I? Go to bed early tonight. I keep saying that to myself as well. Dude, last night, oh, actually, last night, I went to, uh, I finished stream, and then I, I finished stream at 6.30 p.m., and then went to an izakaya, which is just, it's like, just like a, it's food. I think it literally just translates to, like, food. I think it translates to just come and eat here, bro. Just see. No, I think it translates to something like eat and drink or some shit like that, right? I don't know. Something like that. Uh, in fact, I can check because I'm actually interested now. 
I want to see. Bye, Yumi. Thank you for coming and saying hello. Izakaya is. Yeah, so I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like a Japanese style pub, yeah, kind of thing. I guess. But it's not really a pub. It's not really a pub. And um We went I went there, met up with a couple of friends, we went there, we ate food, and uh I only had I only had one beer. It was very good. I only had one beer. And that was it. In fact it wasn't even a beer. It was a whiskey whiskey soda. And that was it. And it tasted like shit. And then, uh, and then I went home and went to the gym. Uh, but it, I didn't get to the gym until about ten, so I did a workout, and then I uh, came home, and then I was chilling for a bit, and then I went to bed. So went to bed later than I wanted to, but it's because I went out for food and then still had to go to the gym. So, but at least I did both. Uh, I had a whiskey, whiskey, uh, whiskey lemonade, uh, whiskey soda, and then went and did a workout. It's good. I actually felt really good in my workout, you know. Night, night. Good night, Ayumi. Oh my god, it's late for you. Yeah, it's late. It's late. Good night. Sounds terrible. The, the good thing about whiskey soda... Okay, so the thing is, is that alcohol is obviously really bad for you for, like, gaining weight. It's like, really, like you'll, you know, if you drink, you'll gain weight, right? So, it's really bad. So... I try and not mix it, like if I drink now, I try and have spirits, and I try not to mix them. So I'll either, either drink whiskey neat, or I'll drink uh, whiskey s uh, soda, because it's better than drinking, they don't really do like Diet Coke and stuff over here, so it's better than doing like whiskey coke, because then you're like, extra, so it's a lot of calories in a coke, right? So it's like, you're kind of doubling, doubling up, so, you know. Alright, Haki, you have a great night. Good night, my friends. Sweet dreams. How are a credit card and the bench press similar? They're not maxed out until they're declined. Wait, I don't get it. Wait, I don't get it. Hold on. The bench is maxed out when it's declined? You mean like when it's at an angle? When you do like a decline bench? It's not a bad joke. I didn't say it was a bad joke. I said, I said I didn't get it. <laughs> Maybe want to order a bottle of whiskey? Sheesh. Plateau of weight loss? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. It, the thing I've learned about, like, drinking and losing weight is, like, you shouldn't really do it, but if you are gonna do it, if you're gonna drink and still try and lose weight, try not to eat and drink around the same time. You wanna try and not eat much. Because whilst there is alcohol in your system, your body is unable to, uh, process carbs. So, you want to... You want to try and... What I'm taking from that is you want to try and separate your alcohol in your food so that's why when people yeah 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 that's why when people eat and enjoy, like when do people normally eat, like drink when they're also eating so it's like a really bad combo now i don't know the specifics in terms of like your body's metabolism like whether you instead store it as fat straight away or if um i, I would imagine some get stored as fat some get will will just be burned eventually or whatnot um so if you're gonna drink, you'd wanna you'd wanna eat like a good what three four hours before you drink, and then drink, and then not eat. So if you if you kind of but people don't do that right because you eat, you probably out with friends, eat drink, then you keep drinking, then you get hungry again, and then you go and eat, and then that's how you get fat. Um, the actual alcohol itself normally isn't too bad, like if you're drinking certain drinks, you know, but it's the combination of food as well, and then your body can't process it. So uh, I try and be very careful with like what I do eat when I am drinking and stuff, and if I am drinking and whatnot. 
Mm. Do I highball every now and then? I like I like a highball. Like whiskey coke, good. Whiskey orange juice, good. The best thing is to just not drink alcohol at all. Yep, absolutely. If you if you're if you're genuinely serious about losing weight, you wouldn't drink at all. Um, I like to think that I um, uh, am, am, am pretty serious now about trying to lose some weight. I mean, because I've been on a bulk, right? So I need to do a cut. So I'm pretty serious about that. But then uh, I still had a beer last night. so Or a whiskey soda last night. So, you know, naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. Whoopsie daisies. Balkan for 30 years. How's it going? We'll do that. And we'll do. Oh, I can do that. And I can do. Uh, gosh. And then I need to check this. Dude, it takes me so long to get up on stream now. Like, uh, get set up. With, like, streaming on YouTube as well. Oh my god, we have 36 partner plus points? Jesus Christ. It's like, update all my things and... Damn, dude. Uh, spe actually, I did just mention it, but... If you guys want to know more about partner plus, if you scroll down... You're watching Twitch right now. If you scroll down, you can see all the information about partner plus there. If you want to help me try and reach it, I would love to try and get this... 300 points, 70 30 split. If you guys want to help me reach that tier one sub, tier two, tier three, it all helps. Gifted subs don't count, prime don't count. But uh, if you're interested in finding out about that and what it means for your streamer, then uh, then you can check that out there. It'd be amazing. Um, but yes, right. So I lost 15 pounds just by changing my diet. Absolutely. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I honestly don't think losing weight is that hard. But, like, I really don't think it's that hard. I think there are some people who maybe they have a certain, I don't know, certain genetics or whatnot where they find it harder and stuff. Um, fair enough. But I don't think it's that hard. It's like, eat less, move more. And then, like, that's kind of it. But, like, it's like simple things. It's like, don't drink. Like, if you're drinking, like, sodas and stuff... You're dr I mean, you could probably drink, like, you could probably drink over the course of a day if you wanted to. You could probably drink, like, easily six liters of orange juice or something like that a day, right? Like, that wouldn't even really be that hard. And, uh, and that's just, like, empty, I say empty calories. It's calories that you're getting that aren't filling. So it's, like, you just need to switch up, like, I, I try, if I'm ever, like, trying to lose weight, if I'm ever on a cut... I'll just drink water, water and tea, and then you just—I just try and eat a f bit less in carbs, and then and then done. Yeah, don't drink your calories. Waste of time. Waste of time because you're not getting full from it. I hate water. Then don't drink at all and die from dehydration. But at least you'll die slightly thinner. Hmm. Yeah, I have a friend who said that he lost weight. He said he lost like. So he lost like over 10 pounds in a month just by not drinking a can of monster every day by switching from regular to diet monster so it's so, something silly like that it's something silly okay i don't know the exact stats but it's something silly mm. i like the water inside my coke zero i mean coke zero okay actually that's okay that's a that's a really big one I used to think diet was bullshit. I used to think it didn't do anything. Like, I thought it was bullshit. But genuinely, if you drink diet, I mean, it's still not healthy for you, but you can lose weight. Like, losing weight doesn't necessarily mean you're being healthy, right? But, like, drinking diet is definitely better for weight loss than drinking regular. So if you wanted to have Diet Coke, uh, and you wanted to drink Diet Coke, like, one or two a day, like, you're fine. You're zero calorie. But it's not healthy for you, but, like, you can you can still do it. If you live in the U.S. where the food quality is garbo and the culture is trying to normalize obesity, then you're kind of screwed. I mean, I, I think the food quality is not, like... It's more so portion size, more than anything in, in probably the U.S. I mean, England's getting there. 
England's, uh, England, we, you know, it's kebabs, man. Can everyone to indulge in a monster on occasion? Really enjoying the Irish cream jar. Oh my goodness. That sounds insane. What? It sounds really good, but also, you're the devil, and I won't. I won't do it. I will not. I shall not. Uh, I'm setting up here ready to do MSQ, but I'm not doing MSQ. Not yet. Not yet. I'm going to do it, but I'm not doing it right, right this. Doing it immediately. Like some kind of like some kind of heathen who's just going to immediately straight away do do uh, MSQ. Uh, does anyone want to come help me with um, my my wondrous tales really quick? That kind of stuff. I might also do like a dungeon or two. Oh no, I can't. I can do one dungeon technically. Try to complete my wondrous tales and also sod off. You, you do that. You do that. I'm not doing that. You do that. I can also do a leveling roulette really quick uh, for ninja. I'm on, um, I'm on, uh, OCE. And I need to do my ninja quest as well. And then we will get going. I need to stop by the gold saucer very briefly. Oh, wait, actually, that might be expensive. Maybe I should do that. Hold on. Sure. It's annoying that it tells you, like, oh, do you want to use a card for a free teleport? And you're like, well, I don't know. How much is it? Yeah, I've been neglecting uh, retainers. No sweat, no sweat. Oh, can you get ASEAN? Um, can you get ASEAN? Oh, you bugger. Can you get ASEAN, like, transmog, like, glamour? Oh, you bugger. Come on now, it's been too... Nah, come on. Wow! Can you guys believe that? It has been two and three on every... Wow, I'm actually just amazed. Oh, there it is. I'm actually just amazed. Oh. Oh, lovely. We are our 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 address. Got second high. Yeah, I'll take second highest. Thank you, game. Thank you. If anyone, yeah. Um, if anyone else wants to come help with, uh, I'll, I'll go do my my ninja quest really quick whilst I'm waiting. But if anyone else wants to come help with, um, oh, it does tell me the price. I'm silly. No, anyone else wants to come help with? Uh, some roulette stuff and uh, wondrous tales. Be amazing. Uh, Aeolus, yes, that I, I live stream, so all my vods. Okay, so the thing is, I've only Twitch only let us uh, live stream. Um, Twitch only let us multi-stream very recently. So basically, I've got all of my vods from the beginning of Shadowbringers onward. So like the beginning of like patch four point three onward. So all of my vods are up for that. But anything previous, not really. I have like another channel that was for VOD, VODs, but I only uploaded like the first like two weeks and then I kind of just like fell behind on it and then just never really caught up. So I have the recent VODs. Yeah. Hmm. And I'll continue now multi-streaming uh, on, on YouTube now going forward. So I will always have every single Final Fantasy stream from now on will have a VOD. So... The future is looking good for the VODs, yeah. Almost finished with Shadowbringers. Do you think, am I, I'm like halfway through, right? I think I'm probably halfway through. I'm on like 74, 75 level quests. Hold on. Yeah, I'm level 74 quests. I'm like halfway through. Which is kind of insane, actually. I mean, it's going to take me another week. It's going to take me at least two weeks for base. That's normally how long it takes me for MSQs. Two weeks, and then patch content. And then obviously all the other stuff that I do. Extremes, Trials, Alliance Raid, all that stuff, you know. Savage. Thinking of attempting to push 2.4 and 2s before end of season in WoW? Sounds like a... Sounds like a lot of work, buddy. 
Nah, you got it though. You're like 2.3, aren't you? Just be careful you don't drop all the way back down to like 1800 in the process, you know? Because that happens. Yeah, sounds good, thank you. No sweat. No sweat, boy. No sweat. Yeah, I need to do one of the rolls. Oh, yes, true. Very true. I do need to do one of those. Right, let me see some of this monk stuff. So, saying, Cyber, I look into your eyes today and I see a mind unclouded by worldly cares. The time has come. I would pass you on to the ancestral garb of the shinobi. Knowing that this, this day was close at hand, I've already made the necessary arrangements. Karasu watching over every move. I cannot act freely. So I asked your friends at the Rogue's Guild to send word to my village and arrange for the delivery of a set. Needless to say, this location must remain a secret. Arrange for the goods to be delivered in secret to the Denevel checkpoint. A porter there will be expecting you. Shibame and I must express our thanks to your Captain Jack. Be mindful in your travel, Cyber. We eagerly await your return. Okay. Oh, nice. Is that a pin there, Snacky? Yeah? Nice, thank you. I forgot about the roll quest, man. I hope I hope that's gonna be fun. Oh wait, I'm here right now, aren't I? More or less. Yeah, let's go up there. Whee! Yeah, hopefully that'll be fun. If it's a shame for everyone, I think roll quest is a good way to do it. It means that they can make them better and they can do, they can like reduce how many they have to do, you know. In theory, WoW did a similar thing and it kind of didn't work great in my opinion. Yeah, 2 3 MMR, very doable but need to focus up. Yeah, man, for sure. I say what the hell, What the, may as well, if you got nothing else going on, you know. What, what are the queues like for PvP at the moment, Sam? Expanding the shipment of goods, you say? And that strikes me as a right curious, on account of how a scraggly fellow came by not long ago to claim them. They were actually yours, you say? Well, ain't that a bloody coincidence? See, the fellow I talked to said that someone was like to come by saying just that, and that if she did, he'd pay good coin for me to gutter good and proper. Alright, you son of a bitch. His friends just standing and watching. But... See you, bud. Oh, you don't get full value unless you do them all. Ooh, okay. I'll need to level a tank then and level up my healer. Have mercy. If I knew you were this strong, I would never have taken his money. And if I knew you you were this incompetent, it would have put you out of your misery long ago. Yeah, won't see me so Yeah, for sure, Sam, for sure. Well, if it isn't my favorite chirping little horse bird. Oh, come on, I'm not that scary, am I? I heard from a little bird in Doma of a shipment en route to Eorzea in secret. I surmised. Quite good at that, you see. But it might have something to do with you and your friends. And I just had to know what was inside. Lo and behold, what did I find but a shiny set of shinobi garb? Why did you not tell me it was your name day, little chick? I would have bought you something far more fitting. Like a sack of gishol greens. <laughs> no, I fear Brother Dim and Sister Swallow are mistaken. You are not quite ready for such an honor. But this is no fault of your own. After all, the student is only as good as her teacher. But today is your lucky day, little chick, for a true master has come to take you under his wing. Four crates scattered to the winds, each containing one of the items you seek. Four of my shadows guarding each piece with their lives. A test. One where failure will mean your death. Red Rooster Stead. Costa del Sol. Jijirun's trading post. Camp Overlook. Claim that which you seek by your own hand, or die in the act. It is of little matter to me, but by some chance you survive, return here. You must find a very special present awaits you. Now shoo shoo, I say. Dude, I actually like the nin ninjas. Ninjas been... It's weird. The, I hated the rogue. The, the rogue one... I, okay, I'm not going to say I hate it. That's like super like super strong. I didn't hate it. I just... It, I didn't like get fully sucked in by it, right? I, I got a little bit bored. Um, oh, this is such a... 
this is such a wild yeah i'll just run yeah. so i didn't really get like sucked in you know what i mean to the rogue one but the ninja one i'm actually quite enjoying i, I don't know why I, I think i think this character's pretty funny i think just like being a ninja is kind of cool and i don't know i'm just getting into it yeah, and by full value, you mean, like, I won't get the full payoff. Yeah, yeah, there'll be, like, little bits where you go, oh, that's cute because that happened in this one, and wow, that's a reference to that. Yeah, I know. I see what you're saying. I think you'd like Rogue more if you could read the dialogue. It was just, it was so long, like, because they're not voice acted, and because I leveled up Rogue to level, like, 30 and then did the quests, it was, like, everything was just, like, bam, 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 like, just, just, and then there's an, the Rogue has an extra quest as well. It was just too long. It was like, I get it, but like, I think if they voice acted them, I wouldn't mind. Because I, I could enjoy the experience and I could sort of sit back and rest. But when you're in, when you're in like MSQ, like, MSQ, like, focus, you're reading all day right and then you go and you go oh you know what i'm gonna go level something i'm gonna do my my quest as well okay and then you're just reading the whole day, like just constant so you kind of want some content and this is a, a streamer only problem right like if you're not streaming then you're just reading quietly in your own head or loudly in your own you, you read at the volume in your head that you want to i'm not going to tell you what volume to read aloud in wait read in your head in but um yeah, for me as a streamer, it's like, oh, I wanted a break from reading, you know? I, wa I wanted to, like, like switch things up, you know? Oh, there's nothing in there but owl goat milk. Rich and creamy owl goat milk, to be sure. But owl goat milk, just the same. Pardon me, milady. Have you seen my owl goats anywhere? Oh, it's you. Don't worry. This won't hurt much. Oh, I know it's like... I can chew up my next mudra before it's even the first one's even pressed. Do a full stage production with my dialogue reading. Thank you very much. I imagine you put on different outfits, playing different characters. You know what I mean? Like, how's your Scottish? There's no who to point at and laugh. Oh, what? Because the Paladin quest? Come on. Surely they're not that bad. No, nah, probably, probably not. But yeah, the ninja ones I've, I've been enjoying. I think because Stormblood has a lot more uh, voice acted, um, MSQ. It's uh, Stormblood because Shadow Ring has had a lot more voice acted MSQ. It's like coming and doing this is is doesn't feel as bad. Oh, suspicious looking midwife. Was she delivering a baby out here? What what? Gotcha, just wanted to check since the prior ones were missing and thought I wasn't looking on the right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I hear you, I hear you. Yeah, I, I mean, imagine if when I first started streaming uh, Final Fantasy, if we'd been allowed to multi-stream from Twitch. Like, I'd have every single VOD on one channel. It would be just phenomenal. Mm. Be beautiful. Oh, dear heavens, I must have fallen asleep while sunbathing. How can I ever thank you for rousing me from slumber? We'll say I slit your throat and we call it even, eh? Oh. Oh no. Oh, I'm a bunny. Dude, I tried to weave that in. Oh. I gotta stop doing that. Sam, are you still playing Rogue? Of course, nice. My friend, uh, my friend. Oh, you know CC Lemon. Of course you do. You know mods. CC Lemon last night. So, um, so if, if you guys don't know, season three, uh, phase three of season of Discovery, the WoW, the WoW classic thing, like season of Discovery, that comes out today, or it's already out now. But um, CC Lemon put in the uh, in the in like this group chat that I'm in. He put with like my IRL friends. He put like a. He put like a picture. It's he put a picture that was supposed to be his character, right? And it wasn't. It was obviously just like one he'd taken from like Google. And it was supposed to be like him because he'd like mentioned like, oh, I'm thinking of like leveling up a paladin. That would be fun. And then a few, like a few hours later, he or like uh, not too much later, he puts like he puts a picture 
And I'm like, mm, okay. Hmm. And then I just respond with like, oh, I miss you and I miss Sod. And then, uh, but I don't say anything more than that. And then he puts, um, he puts like, oh yeah, uh, last, like last night, like, like towards the end of the day, he puts something like, oh, thinking of, uh, uh, thinking of getting back into raiding for phase three. Um, I really want to do sunken temple. going to play a paladin. And then I just put like, yeah, like, cool. I think I'm going to play too, but like, I'm not going to take it like mega, you know, intense. Like I'm not going to, I said, I'm not going to stream it. I'm still streaming, uh, still streaming Final Fantasy tomorrow. And then he replied with, good. That was a test. You passed. And it's like, he's trying to, trying to bait me out with like, oh, Sword Phase 3. Like, mm, you playing? And I'm like, like, nope, I'm streaming. Final Fantasy. I, I would love to play Sod Phase 3. Um, and I will play it, but I am streaming Final Fantasy, okay? I will not fail the test. What's with the dial face, lass? Fish not biting today. Maybe they know you're already a dead woman. Oh, bosh. I would play neither. Funny there, man. He almost got me. He almost got me. Imagine playing a critically acclaimed MMORPG that has AM on, on basically every fight ever. I know, it's disgusting. You're basically cheating. Yeah, you dabble in ults, but always back on the rogue. I hear you, I hear you. I, when Solo Shuffle came out in WoW, uh, Sam, I actually really loved the idea of it. But the queues were pretty bad, weren't they? I think I play WoW, like, so wrong. Like, I rush through... Like, I rush through everything, and it's like... Man, I need to just sit back and relax and enjoy, like... Oh, okay, this is my project I'm gonna do. And then just, like, do that project, like... Rather than just being like, oh, no, I don't... like. The way I used to play WoW was like, oh, I always have to be logged in doing Mythic Plus. I can't ever do anything different because if I do that, then I'm going to fall behind. And it's like, it's so toxic. Like, you just get into this thing where you just like, you just feel like you always have to be on and it's really bad. You know? Whatever possessed me to set up shop on this ungodly place? I'd like to drop dead from the fumes before I see a single gill in profit. Of course, if I bring your head back to Karasu, I'll be set for life. Bam. Design that way. It kind of feels like you can't play multiple areas of the game because it feels like if you play if you play more than one area, it feels like you're gonna fall. But like if you play like if you like ra you can raid and do Mythic Plus, but if you wanted to do like Mythic Plus and PvP or something, both of those require you to just do an infinite amount of games. So you obviously can't do an infinite amount of games. So then you're just like, uh, okay, well I'm just gonna commit to one of them, not the other. Being Raider Island, this game is crazy. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe I'm like, maybe I'm like, um, maybe it's because I'm sort of biased because I do Mythic Plus. But I actually thought it was pretty cool to have like a kind of leaderboard in the game for that kind of system because it's supposed to be like the whole reason you do anything higher than a plus 20 is for the points, is like for the competition. Um, so I'm not super against it, but also I know what you mean. It's just like, it really sticks out. It's just like, you've got a massive sign. Like, this is my, I'm only 1,500, you know, or like, I'm 4K. And this is, like, you have just like a big billboard, you know. Uh, what chill sort of activity does one do in WoW? Uh, ERP, I guess. I mean, I, some people take that pretty hardcore, not very chill, but um, what chill activity? There's like transmog farming. Transmog farming is really big and WoW actually has a really good UI for it and like a really good setup for, for transmog farming. Uh, so yeah, tra transmog is glam in, in WoW. So like transmog, mounts, that kind of thing. Um, still collecting gear. There's still casual ways of like, well, uh, yeah, like chill, chill ways. I'm not going to say casual. Casual to me is a different word, you know. 
Um, but yeah, you've said chill anyway, haven't you? Yeah, so chill stuff is like you can still collect some gear, you can still run some. I mean, you can still do the raids in a chill act in a chill way. You can still do Mythic Plus in a chill way. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, if you want to weapon, I think I think the choice is always there for you. The choice to like really push is always there. You don't have to do it, but it's like if you want to, you can. You know. Yeah. Looking forward to uh, your alliance raiding though. It's my favorite one they've done so far. Oh, I did upload a video, Alice, of my of uh, the previous um, the previous alliance raid in Stormblood, which was incredible. I absolutely adored it. It was so good. And I'm gonna upload the second and third part. I was just waiting to see how like part one does first, but. Uh, yeah, it's so good. I got everyone to... I got 23 people from chat. We managed to sandbag. Like, people let me solo cook and stuff. It was really fun. It's really, really fun. Cyber, I'm relieved to see you safe. When you did not return, I feared the worst. Oh, it's a trap, brother. Karis, you did what? Forgive me. I never suspected he would target you on your own. It is clear now that his treachery knows no bounds. And yet, it is curious... Again, he chose to test you rather than dispatch you by his own hand. His intentions remain as inscrutable as ever. Hmm, what's this? I do have to appreciate all of the bad guys in this game letting me get powerful before they try and fight me, you know? It just allows me allows me to get good, you know? Oh yeah, dragon riding I think is actually... Dragon riding is, is genuinely really fun. It's all the like... I mean, but that is competitive by nature, like... It's all about the you know being the fastest, but like you don't have to be the fastest. You can just do it because you want to do it. Like you you know you don't have to compete, but like it's just a natural race, right? It's like a natural competition. It's pretty good. Karasu, welcome back, Cyber, and hello to you as well, Oboro. I left the present I promised you on your on your doorstep. Such a shame that you weren't at home. The docks, Tsubame, Byaku Byakubi. Uh, Byakubu. Byakubu? Yome, we must hurry. Cyber, I realize it is far too early in your training for this, but the situation is grim. Our only hope of surviving the battle ahead is for you to learn the Mudra Jin. Uh, Jin. This is the Mudra that will allow you to harness the energies of your fellow man. It is also the final Mudra that I can teach you. Byakubi? Byakubi? Yeah, okay. But it's Byak Byakubu. But I was like, surely it's going to be Byakubu. Uh, Byakubi. Looking forward to the next expansion where I won't need to grind up vault slots and all my characters. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, wait, how do you know that's going to be a thing? Why would you not need to do that? Ooh. My Hutan gauge. Hutan. Indicates time remaining until the Hutan effect fades. You can view the job gate. Okay. Right. Interesting. Okay. Do I have my gin there? You're going to increase the weekly conquest cap and remove the vault. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. That's great. Bosh. Oh, hello. <gasps> wonderful. That's wonderful. I love the sun. Or I think it's Sauron's eye in the background. Oh, that's really cool. You got the moon and the sun. That's really neat. I think that's what it is anyway. That's really cool. I like that. Bam. I need to steal that. I need to find it. Steal it. Sutan is for being able to cast trick attack on enemies mid-combat. What's trick attack? I don't have it yet. Oh, yeah, no, I do. Oh, I see. Oh, awesome. Okay, I need to see how I, like, build the gauge. Clear DSR? Oh, shit. You've now learned Jin, the final Mudra that I can impart to you. Combine it with the Mudra you have already mastered, and you will find four new ninjutsu techniques available to you. Time is short, so listen well. The first is Hyotan, Ice Release. Form Tenjin or Chijin. The energies you summon will be channeled into a glacial flow. Second is Hutan, Wind Release. Form Jin Chi Ten or Chi Jin Ten. The winds will gather and swirl around you. Third is Dotan. Earth release. Form Tenjin Chi or Ji Ten Chi. The earth itself will move at your will. Finally, there is Suitan. Release of water. Form Ten Chi Jin or Chi Ten Jin. Water will course and flow through you. As for how your technique 
uh, how each cheek will avail you. I trust you will learn the field of battle. Now let us hurry. Yeah, it's the last one that matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to, I want to go to a target dummy. Where's the target dummy here, around here? Uh, oh, there's one here, isn't there? There's one right here. Let's go, Excelsis. Excelsis. We must, we must target dummy. We must learn. Okay, so I'm imagining water gives me a buff. And water was the la last one, uh, so ending in gin. Okay, so if I was to do this. Damage for potency 500. Grant sweet on. Allows execution of actions. Which I hidden. Oh, no, it disappeared. Damn. Oh, okay, water doesn't give me a buff. Oh, that was cool, though. Oh, no, it does give me a buff. Ah, oh, but it gives me, allows me to use that. Right. Right, right, right. Oops. Okay, these are actually recharging pretty quick. Um, so that's what Jin does. What about this one? This does... Okay, so this is... Oh, I, I recognize this. So this does like a lingering AoE damage, yeah? Let me just see it one more time. Damage, potency, heavy, heavy plus 40%. Okay. That looks really cool as well. But that doesn't give me the hint. Okay, so water allows me the ability to use... Yeah, I see. And you can proc it a bit in advance. Okay. And then the last one is this. Reduces weapons for recast once your time. Okay. Ah. And then I have that for a minute. Wait, what? Okay. And then, do you ever use only, like, say, two of them? Or are you always going to use three? So basically, like... So, like, water is my... Okay. So, finish... So, ending in ten is my buff. Ending in chi is my AoE. Ending in Jin is my single target. Use right hand a bunch. I just want to use most for single target. Sorry, you get you guys are gonna have to tell me uh, which one which one is right hand. Like which like what is it what is it ending in? That was sweet hand, right? Two combo chi. Oh, but which one? This one is lightning. Oh, those two, yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, so I'm using that. Okay. Right, so I want to like get my maintenance buff. I get my maintenance, and then I just look to be using. So basically, I get my maintenance. Whenever I have trick attack available, I want to try and get my gin as my last use. So I want to use that, and then I need to um. And then I need to... So I'm not going to be doing my, my AOE Earth yet. Yeah? Oh, but I already have my... No, I didn't need to do that. That's silly. Yeah, okay. You have to open door. You only have to cast... You don't click on that. Okay. Right. So I want to do this. Right, okay. Okay, that's not too bad then. My buff's about to drop off. So I refresh it. Then next time I can get my water buff. I'll use my water one. Yeah, I'm aware, Norm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll do this. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, 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 because I got three. Big. Right. 
right. Do I have any positionals? Oh, Rhea. These don't have positional, do they? Yeah, you can sustain it. Okay. That seems kind of disappointing that you have a maintenance buff that lasts a minute and then you can just kind of like ignore it anyway. He says as he messes it up anyway. Oh, if you mess up though, you're... Oh, you're so far behind. Damn. That looked kind of cool. What the hell was that? Oops. Why won't you let me reset, bro? There we go. So, what was that? That was... Shiotan. Deals I said to 350. Ah, and binds you. Binds them, even. Ah, that also does lightning. Ah. So, two of them with cheat. So, any combination of... What about this? Yeah, that does shield them. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, when you use them all. That's fine. I'm just wondering how I get to, like, each thing, you know? That gets me to lightning. That also gets me to lightning. Got it. Cool, okay. Nice. Nice, that's fun. Yeah, so it's re so I do have a rear finisher at the moment. Okay. Okay. Makes me want to try out ninja. It seems pretty fun so far. And I'm obviously only uh, only low level, right? Yeah, of course I just yeah it did, didn't it? Okay, let me do Oh, is that not going to recommend gear that's currently... Yeah, it's not going to do that, is it? Right, I'm missing a chest piece, I think. Which I must get here. They seem more complex than they are. Yeah, I bet, I bet. Shuriken, a battle was fought here. I hear no sounds from within. Tsubame must be here. Somewhere. Yakubu has lost his words from the shock. He can tell us nothing. Kami must find Tsubame, and quickly. Yeah, I get to look like a bootleg ninja for five levels. That's criminal. How could they do that to me? How could they do that to me? Oh, here she is. Oh, you're not dead. Good job. Good job. Did you come with cheat? Ten chi, ten chi, uh, jin chi chi jin. Unlocks a secret dark ending. From Corey in the house. Oh my god. Oh, one sec, guys. Sorry. Apologies. I need to. I need to leave the party. The music in here is lovely, actually. Yeah, it's just the final one. Mm -hmm. Tsubame. It is but a flesh wound. <sighs> Oboro, look out. It's Oboro, right? Oboro, not Oboro. Oboro. Come now, little swallow. Say that it hurts, that you are scared. Tell the dim one how I took great pains to see you, uh, see that you were fully awake for every moment of agony and terror. This guy's a psychopath. Boro? Oh, it is a Boro. Okay. A Boro? A Boro? Karasu, this time you go too far. Yes, yes. Those are the eyes I wanted to see. Let the anger and hatred burn away. Any spot of doubt that remains in your heart. 
fire in your eyes, resolve born from the all-consuming flames of rage and passion. The look in your eyes that day, when you looked on as your friend, your countrymen were massacred, powerless to end the slaughter. Gah, be silent, be silent. Be silent. I'm not going to yell. Be, si be silent, be silent. Tsubame, stand back. I shall slice this crow's tongue. Tear him limb from limb with ba my bare hands. <laughs> Such pure, unadulterated malice. Finally, you are an adversary worthy of my blade. The true shinobi, ever calm, dutiful to his master. Presence of mind, yes, the first few times we met, you fought with all passion of the Mokujin. Today, you stand before me as a man. You wanted a battle, and today you shall have one. No retreat, no reprieve. You defeated... Uh, the defeated shall die like a dog, and the victor, the victor's tale will continue for another day. This guy started out being like crazy, and then he started like just like whimsical, and then he shifted into being uh, a little sausage, hasn't he? If I don't want to do my AoE, oh, I don't need to do that. Yeah, no, I can't. my AOE again. It's this, then this. Yeah, okay. Do I want to do that still? Like, what's my go-to AOE ability? Is it the fire? The two points, the, the two moods are fire? Or is it the, um... Huh. Sorry guys, you can't use names like Doton and Katon, like I don't know them yet. But basically put down the big circle, yeah? Like put down this, then, then I'm chilling. Oh no. I don't know my buff. Whoops. Names are good for Japanese practice? Absolutely. Coming in to kill him. Bam, CA idiot. Oh, I forgot I have teleport. Yeah. Yeah, for it to be potent. Bob should be in it for the full duration. Okay. And it requires three mudra. Okay. Right. Okay. Karasu Redbeak, in the name of your elders, or our, our elders, I take your life as divine retribution for your crimes. Your blood stained beak will feast on the innocent no more. <laughs> Does he truly believe those words? <laughs> Come on, Billy Eilish. Oh yes, this beak is stained with blood. This I do not deny. But I am not the leader of this murderous flock. I tire of your riddles, Red Beak. Give me one reason why I should not separate your head from your shoulders. Oh dear, what a pickle I find myself in. Now how can I put this in terms even the dim one can understand? I am not the traitor you seek. He is not I. And I am not he. He 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 he. You believe I was the only one who fled Doma? Are you sure? Absolutely certain. Did you see the bodies? The faces of all your brothers who fell that day? Think, think, think. I know it is not a strength of yours, but surely you remember. One body maimed so badly that only the possessions could identify the man. And the face could even be called a face. 
Not but shattered bone and shredded flesh remained where once had been the proud features of our, his master. You lie! One more word, one more twisted, deceitful word, Redbeak, and I will... I will... <laughs> oh, oh, Boro, poor, sweet, stupid Boro. How long will you continue to deceive yourself? You lie, Redbeak, as you always have. Did betraying our homeland not sate your thirst for treachery? You now must drag our master's name through the mud. Answer me this, then. If you are not the traitor, then why did you flee the village that day? How often have I asked myself the same? Oh, how simple things would have been had I been as naive as you. But the circumstances of Master Gekai's death, Gekai's death did not sit well with me. I left the village looking for answers and found something far more interesting. Our master himself, alive and well. In an instant, his hand was at my mouth and his blade at my neck. A simple choice he gave me. Follow him and live. Refuse and die. I would like to say I weighed my decision heavily, but the answer really was quite clear. Death is so final, after all. While life, even a life spent as an Imperial spy, holds so many opportunities. What's the matter, Dim One? Did you still find my tail hard to swallow? Oh, believe as you will. Redemption means little to a dead man. You are going to kill me, yes? That is your mission, after all. Sworn in the sight of the elders, tradition and custom, and so on and so forth. Oh, do job quests work with each expansion? Like, I've just thought, like... The only job quests I've done so far are all, like... The furthest I've got is Heaven's Ward. Oh, wait, let me think. What did Samurai and Monk have? Nipple storm blood. Okay. Any further job question? Don't give anything them more. Right. This ultimate. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Kendall keep quay. When the time is right, he will come, and all will be revealed. I just thought I'd tell the one who's shown herself capable of listening to reason. The lights grow dim. The sun turns black in the sky. Our hero fought. Fought bravely, even. But his chapter in his grand mummery has come to a close. Summoning his last breaths, our hero speaks. Just promise me this, Aboro. Whatever your mission, should you fail, just don't go off dying. I know how fond you are of tradition, but this is a new era, and we are not our ancestors. Besides, such an end just wouldn't become a solemn youth like yourself. So live, and leave the dying to those who can do it in style. Yes, I may not have been the hero I thought I was, nor the villain you would have me be. But from beginning to end, I was me, and there is nothing I would rather be. Farewell, cruel world, and good bloody riddance. Is he going to kill himself? Is he going to jump from the bridge? Wait, Karasu. Oh, does it spin? Best death. Best death in the game. Best death in the game. What could all this mean? Goodbye, Tommy Tommy Wizzo. Wizzo Wizzo Wizzo. Goodbye, Chief. I bet he's not dead. I bet he I bet he did his little trickery. You can't 
whenever anyone can disappear, like, whenever they choose, they can just flashbang, disappear. You can never trust that they're truly dead. And also, it's Final Fantasy XIV. No one ever dies in this game. Guys, give me one second. I'm just going to put the egg in my... The egg in my rice. I will be one moment. Run a quick ad as well. One, one sec. Cyber, uh, this is a noteworthy yeah. person who's known in the community. Kippers. 
Pablo died as he lived. We have not seen Palma's body. I do not believe he is dead yet, especially considering we have, we have seen in Stormblood that corpses can suddenly start moving again. I think... I mean, it's a meme about how nobody dies in this game. I mean, like, obviously some people do, but, like, how many people have we thought dead that then are like, just kidding. Just kidding. Funny. Karasu is dead. Our mission complete. Yet you will forgive me if I am unsure how to feel about this turn of events. In any event, there is nothing more to be done here. Sabame is wounded. Let us bring her home. Yet yeah, Nanamo didn't die. Um, Gaius didn't die. Minfilia didn't die. Jesus Christ, you can't kill that woman. None of the Scions died. Right? Like when we thought at the end of ARR, none of them died. Um, Yotsuyu. Gusetsu. Um, Palomo died. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, but that, like... But look at... But look how many... You know... Yida died. Technically, she died before the game even was existed, so. Sorry, I have some protein powder. I'm not kissing myself. Well, I kind of am. I have protein powder on my hand. Extra little snack. Mm. Yep, nail didn't die. Mm hmm. Since dad? No, since dad's definitely alive. Come on. We just haven't met him yet. He just isn't pertinent to the story just yet, but he will be. Oh, but he will be. Kiss the oh my lord. She asked nicely. The mission that brought me to Eorzea is complete. Once Tsubame's wounds heal, we have no reason to sojourn further in these lands. And yet, if Karasu spoke true, no, it simply cannot be. I think it might be one. Okay, so this is level 50, yeah? Oh, awesome. Kasatsu. Allows the execution of a single ninjutsu without consumption of mudra charges. Increases damage for the next... Oh. So you'd have to use this and then you use your stuff, right? Yeah, so you'd pre-apply you'd pre this. Okay. But that's a 60 second CD. Hmm. Interesting. Right, sick. What was this guy? 79? Damn. So, okay, uh, we're going to do that quick roulette, and then we're going to we'll get set up for MSQ very soon. But if anyone wants to come help me with a couple, like, let me do my, uh, I'm trying to get some levels on this. If anyone wants to help me get my Wondrous Tales done, and also help me with my, uh, with a quick leveling roulette, then please join. Password is 2222. Turned into the big bad at 76. Oh, yeah. This deals fine. Oh, no. Hold on. What's it called again? Kisatsu. Oh, it doesn't tell me it upgrades. Oh, deals ice damage with the potency of 1,300. Damn. Right. Right, so it deals 80 to any enemies who enter. 
And then I'm assuming it pulses. Check traits. Ah, okay. Oh. Upgrades Katon and Hyotan to Goka, Mekyaku, and Yosh Yosho Ranryu. Blown the effect of Kasatsu. Goka Mekyaku. Yeah, big shmamage. Okay. Did anyone else want to join? We are on OCE, my friends. Yeah, they need to send it for the full duration. Yeah. For it to be barely stronger. Yeah. And Katon is just um, that, isn't it? Oh, no. That's right on. Wait. Wait. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah. So, you, 10 needs to, wait, 10 needs to be your second ability use. Yeah, I know it's the only last, only the last one. So the second one has to be, yeah. Because let me test this. Yeah, so that, that's how you get fire. That's how you get. Okay. 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 Might take me a little bit just to remember this, but then once I'm in, I'm in. You know what I mean? Once I'm in, I'm in, dude. Whee. What up, Kamu? Are you wanting an invite for the the thing we're doing? Does that mean? Does that mean invite me? Yeah, like just an hour in front of a dummy, boom, and you'll have it, and then you'll have it for life. Mhm. Mm Oh, this is what these are what I want. This is ARR relic, isn't it? Yeah. Look at those. Oh, uh, are you on a different? Can I not invite if the potty finder is up or something? Ah, oh, dude, that that's the kind of jank that I need seeing fixed in FF. That's the kind of jank I need removed, dude. Right, so we're gonna sign for uh wait, are you level fifty? Is this your mate is it is that your highest level? You're level fifty, yeah? What do I need to do? I need to do Labyrinth of the Ancients Boy Dog, Cover the Father. You do these bad boys really quick. Oh, Oh, Kamuri, you might not be able to come for these, my friend. I need to finish this for I need to do my wondrous tales first, but you can come to the um to the leveling roulette after. Oh wait, hold on, wait, wait, yeah, maybe I'm being stupid. Hold on. Oh no, we're fine, no, we're fine, we're fine. It was me, it was me, it was me. It was me, it was me. Oh, that's good. Okay, okay. Oh, situation avoided. It was me. Silly sausage me. Okay. So the cuff of the father, which is, uh, yeah, the cuff of the father. There we go. There we go. What? Oh, bro. There we go. There we go. Is that also ninja? No, that's samurai. Samurai. Boom. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Come here, I can get you in for the leveling roulette, my friend. I'll get you in for that. I'll try and do this now. I need to get... This will get me some... Uh, stream delay makes you confused. Yeah, I know. I know.
Because at first I thought it was just me, and then I realized. This. this one's the getting in. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Oh, I forgot I get to reuse my. Because I have Tsubame Gaishi now. Oh, Tsubame is the name of the character we were just playing with. Yeah, I never know what boss we're on until we get to him. So that may mean swallow like the bird. Oh. So it's return, return of the swallow. Instant as well. Wow. Well, you can do uh, Wonder's Tales. No, yeah, you can. Yep. I do it all the time. I do it all the time. Nice, oh, good job, great job. What else do I need? I need Soul of the Creator. Oh, nice, good one. Good one, at least. Bosh. Nice. So, fame, uh, reference to the famous technique of the legendary Japanese swordsman, Sasaki Kuchiro. Oh. Ah, oh, cool. His famous technique. What was his famous technique? That's funny. That's funny because he's trying to figure out what's going on and he doesn't understand. That's funny. Oh my god, I didn't die. Holy shit. This is when I know I'm getting OP in this game. That's when I know I'm getting OP. When we come and do old content that I live. You gotta listen to the new Primal song, man. Mama. Oh my goodness. Joe Mama. Oh, but in Japanese. 
Ho 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 ho. I don't think you need the, uh, yeah, I don't think you need the, well, the E at the end, right? Okay, mama. I'll take it, though. Yeah, it's written, yeah, it's written, it's written wrong, but I got, I, I, I got what you're going for. I'll take it. The Howling Eye, yeah, yeah, we do that one. The Howling Eye. Extreme. Wait, what? The Howling Eye Extreme. Where the hell is that? Oh, is that a Rummer Born? Oh, yes. Fosh. I know how to Japan. I know how to Japan. Dropping my free time is more stream than ever, but I'm peeking in to say hi and that I'm alive and well. That's awesome, Ray. That's really good. I'm happy to, uh, yeah, happy to hear you got a job. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, what's the job? It's not a Japanese translator, is it? You might be in trouble. That is still to this day one of the best FF songs in this game. That that is that is still one of the best ones. Oh, Thornton's Rain. Oh, we've got to. If you're gonna make me. Thornton's Rain Extreme? No, just Thornton's Rain. Yeah, Thornton's Rain. Bam bam bam. It's that one. Uh, back to barkeeping. Oh, cool. You know, I really like barkeeping. Barkeeping's a fun job. Depends where you're doing it, but it's a fun job. Are you, are you, are you at like a, yeah, like a fancy bar or just like a, just like a regular bar? Some of the fancy ones kind of, I've never worked at, a, I've never worked at a fancy bar. I've worked at like kind of hometown bars, you know what I mean? It's like, generic bar. I like bar work. I miss bar work. If I ever needed to, I'd probably go back into picking that kind of, kind of line of work up. But no, I'm very, I'm very happy to hear that, Ray. That's awesome. Generic seems to be more fun. Uh, seems to be more fun. Do you think so? Why is that? Because of the clientele, or I like the fancy like cocktail bars where the guy, where like the drinks are still like cheapish, like it's you know it's not like high end, you know what I mean? It's like, like decent. Oh, Lord. 
help me. Oh, I'm dead. And, um... And the guys, they're wearing waistcoats and shit, and they're... And they do flips and shit. Yeah, I'm a hobbyist alcoholic, so the job is indeed suitable. Working on a more generic bar in my city. It's not big enough to be able to do a cocktail bar, it's just... Uh, it just can't go plus, you know? Yeah, yeah, two little people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me! Res me! Yeah, no, I hear you. Hey, that's cool, though. That's good, Ray. That's good. Uh, hey, man, quick wild question. Yeah, sure. Do you find Feralin, uh, do you find Feralin Season 4 Mythic Quest? You tried it, tried it on PTR? I haven't tried it on PTR. I'm gonna play it when the season begins. Um, no point in PTR testing for me, really. Like, I'll just jump in and play. Nothing's really changing. We're just gonna get the tier set. Like, we're gonna pick, uh, we're gonna get the same tier set we're currently using, I believe, right? That was the one that won. So... I don't really think anything's gonna change. Just keep doing what we're doing. Unless I miss some news. Maybe I miss some news. But I'm, I'm gonna play a lot of Feral in Season 4. I'm gonna play a lot. I'm gonna try and get back to Rank 1 Feral uh, during Season 4. I don't know how much I'm gonna stream it. I'll see. But I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try and... I miss being a big boy, you know? Jerry Bar, you can have a sneaky bevy with customers occasionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you get some more relax a bit more. Gonna head off to bed? Sounds good. Again, okay, but I'm busy. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Let's do it. I do a lot of hours for high pay. I want to move out from my parents. Just full send it, Ray. You better make sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. And, uh, and no sweat. I'll see you soon. Enjoy the mods. Enjoy the mods. And yeah, have, have fun. Whoop. Have fun shadow bringing. Thank you. I will, I will do my best to bring. To bring the shadows. So I have seven right now. Hold on. Okay, so we need binding. So we can do coils and then we can do... Yeah, we just need... Oh, no. Us font. Oh, yeah, yeah. Us font. I'm looking forward to Season 4, actually. All the Dragonflight dungeons. Man, that'll be good. Yes. Thank you, Snacku. I love how little faith you guys have in your streamer. So the last one is Coil turn 1 or turn 4. I think turn 4 is going to be quicker. I want to go back and do Savage Coils. Surprised you lived that? Wait, what did I even live? Oh, not me, right? Oh, wait, oh, wait, second... Oh, shit, yeah. Yep. I love how a second ago, I'm like, come on, guys, trust in your streamer, and then I, I can't even read. This guy can't even read! Oh, it's Nail. The man who didn't die. You know, if I went back and did some of these fights, I'd probably forget how they worked. Points cap at nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Logan. Dude, when it, when I go to uh, Morin, he gives me picture books. He thinks I can't read. 
He gets the children's books. Ow. Ow. Stop exploding on me. Yeah, Skull is just out here holding a book. It's like when you're at work and you just like hold a stack of papers so nobody talks to you. Because you're like, oh, I can't, I've got all this. Skull is just holding the book, like. But you can't read? I can read if I have to. When the time comes. Oh no! Damn it. <laughs> Goodbye, Nail. I need to go back and do Nail properly. I never really did him properly. Remember? Okay, so I got six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Okay, we're gonna re-roll. Gonna re-roll. Re-roll. Come on. You son of a bitch. Oh, horrible. 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 I would have, like, extended it. I would have extended it, but I just, I... It's fine. It's fine. Right, I'm going to sign this up, guys, for a uh, quick dungeon, and then we're going to go. Kamuru, you wanted, did you want to come to this? I can invite you again if you wanted to come. I'm just going to do a dungeon roulette. Nice. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, and then we just do limited. Yep. And then we do leveling. I'm not going to do frontline because CBA. Thanks, Chloe. And Chloe was her name -o. Bosh. Don't want to find another 300 MS? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at least you got some Ninja XE. Yep. I've done Lux Scholar. I don't really want Scholar. I want um, uh, Astrologian. Uh, or Astrologian. Is my, uh, is my go-to. And I already have one leveled, uh, I already have one leveled decently high. My Astro is, oh shit, there we go, okay, we'll save, yep, my Astro is, oh, it doesn't tell me what level it is, it doesn't tell me, right, so I want to do this, that's my buff. I want to do one, two, bosh. One, two, tickle my shoe. Now this is something. Already pre healing with Astro is the same with Scala. What do you mean I'm already pre healing? 
I'm just saying I want to play Astro because that's what I prefer to play Astro. What, do you, what are you trying to get at? What do you mean? Uh, Shouldn't get me. Like I, I don't have a. I, I don't think I really want to like play Scholar. Yeah, single, yeah, that's fine. Right, shit, and then what do I want to do? What's my single target? Single target one is, uh, oh yeah, just two hits. As long as I end on Earth. Oh, you heal before damage. Yeah, like a shield healer. Yeah, no, I mean, like I say, I just would prefer to play Astro if I was going to heal. But now, anyway. Perfectly back up. Let's go. Oh shit. Get into the light. The route of crystals. This is a cool boss, actually. I'm just saying how it works now. I mean, I, I, I just remembered how it works. Like, I know how it works, but I just... They got that that's what happened. Scholar main. Ooh. What is it like being a healer main in this game? Hmm. This is something that we don't really talk about often. Is, yeah, what are the roles like? Like, people talk about certain jobs need to change, right? But are people happy with the roles? And like people will say, like, oh, summoner needs to get changed and whatever else needs to get changed up, but like, what do you guys think about the actual roles themselves? Are you guys, like, are you happy with how healing operates? Are you happy with how tanking operates, etc.? Fluctuating between boring and stressful. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about my position. I gotta get in the rear. Gotta get in the rear. Just monk. Yeah, because it kind of seems like you're either, you get one shot or, like, is it kind of like you just either you get one shot or you don't take any damage? And if you play well, then you don't take any damage? Is she like a more complicated DPS rotation? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Really capture thing? Yeah, but not on the rest of the group, right? Seen, gotta be. Gotta be. Oh, guys, I'm going to the Formula One tomorrow. Ooh, it's gonna be my first solo trip in the Japan. I'm nervous, bro. Not nervous, but like. I hate going to big events like this because it's so like, where do I go? Who do I need to 
What do I need to be? Excited though, man. I want to try and get an autograph. I need to. I need to buy a sharpie. I need to buy a sharpie and uh, a new push-up bra so I can get some signatures. And there's a toxic casual healers that refuse to DPS because they have Hippocratic Oath or something stupid. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of funny. Like they're a pacifist. Got a trip to Shinkansen trip. I have no idea how far Suzuka to, uh, to Osaka is. It's, um... I just Google Maps it. Google Maps didn't come up with the Shinkansen, but maybe I can get one. My trip was going to take like three hours from Osaka, but maybe there's a faster, maybe there's a faster way doing like you say it with the uh, Shinkansen. That would be kind of cool actually, that, that would actually be really cool, like taking my first like bullet train. It's not cheap. Yeah, I mean this is going to cost like 25 pounds, which is pretty expensive, it's like 5k one way. So I imagine like the bullet train is gonna be like big shmoney, you know? Yeah, for when and if I go to Hokkaido. Mm. Yeah, sure. Hokkaido we spoke about yesterday, it's like the the North Island, right? Where like Sapporo and stuff is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe for a long trip where you're gonna properly enjoy it, you know? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you, got you, got you. What time does it start tomorrow? So tomorrow is just a uh, practice, uh, like qualifying, sorry. Pra well, practice and qualifying, I guess. There's practice today as well. Uh, but there's some qualifying. There's also some like little events on like there's like, you know They do like extra little bits as well because they don't need the track for the full day So for the just the formula one, so there's a little bit they'll be like uh, What's it called like a uh, Not like show show races, but like um, You know just like for fun stuff Little like exhibition stuff, you know uh, and And that teleports not very far. A little exhibition ra uh, races and stuff, and then uh, then the qualifying I think starts at like toward three. I think maybe could be wrong. Maybe it's earlier, but I probably won't get there until about one. The main thing is just that, that I'm there for the Saturday, you know? Series. Yeah, but they also have like some shit like some Porsche like I can tell you what they've got actually I can tell you what they've got Are you guys enjoying my my YouTube shorts like are you guys enjoying my Japan stuff? I've been getting some good compliments from it, from like, friends and stuff. They've been like, oh yeah, this is like good, this is cool, this is good stuff. Some of them have been getting like decent views, but I'm wondering if you guys are liking that kind of stuff. It's been pretty, pretty fun making them. Pretty fun. Watching them, yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Do you like your CDs in the bottom corner of your buttons like that? They're just saying to make the time bigger and centered. What, this? With like my tracker for my buff. I don't know. It works, I guess. It works. Did I do? Hold on. What did I buy? 
Why did I buy my tickets, bro? Right, so, uh, the schedule. Oh shit, they're in a practice session right now. Um, yeah, so there's like stuff going on on Friday. There's stuff going on today where it's like Ferrari Challenge Japan, Paddock Club, FIA presentation, like the shit like this where I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'm not like too like bothered about like needing to be there. Practice session, practice session, but this is for the Carrera Cup, whatever that is, the Porsche, well, Porsche Carrera Cup. Uh, team conference, Paddock Club, line uh, lane walk pit lane walk second practice session qualifying session yeah um then they've got the proper qualifying session for the f1 tomorrow at three so as long as i'm there for that then i'm happy because i want to see the qualifying that'll be good um but like pit stop right like this i don't really care too much third pra i mean it'd be cool to be there for a practice session sure but like i don't need to rush for that um, there's a race on actually that could be cool to be there for that Ferrari race that could be pretty sick actually um, right so Ferrari and Porsche GT oh okay it's a GT right right so they got some GT support okay and then um, and then yeah and then on the Sunday it's just gonna be like wake up get there early maybe be the, here for this race probably try and get there for like probably try and get there for like close to 11 maybe i can catch some of this and then i'm just gonna chill and chill and chill and chill and then two o'clock bosh bam dude yeah so i'll probably try and get there for like 10 30 11 something like that and then just like chill taking the whole day Meet some Japanese dudes who are chilling next to me, getting wacky and wild. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We do two times uh, Oren Vale if you want to hit 50. Uh, I think we could start setting up for MSQ, right? I mean, I'm, I am I guess actually we could do that, couldn't we? Yeah, we could do Yeah, we could do a quick couple Oren Vales and then go MSQ, yeah? Uh, there it is, yeah. Um, but I don't want Mid-Item level yet. Yeah, sure. Nice. Yeah, the time on my on your spell buttons. The time on my spell buttons. Wait, what do you mean? A second wind. Oh, like in the bottom. Where else would I have it? Yeah, I could change that. Yeah, I'd change that, actually. Can you, uh, how do I do that? What about using Trick Attack? Is that not really a, a big deal? is big but do I want to use my do I want to get my ice form so then I can use it how do I get my ice oh god I'm dead what the hell
Whoopsies. Oopsie doodles. Oh, yes, I forgot how this boss works, yeah. Yeah, 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 so we don't, mm-hmm. I'm gonna take the mobile fruit next to the tank. Nice. Well, you actually get some good XP. Right, so how do I change this, uh, this timer thing? System. No. Character config. Is it to be in Discord? Oh, thank you. So it's character config, display. Wait. Yeah, no, not I didn't need to click that. Uh display. It's not control settings, what is it? Display. And then reset time and position. Wait, display recast time? Wait. Display recast times, yep. Ah, uh, center. Okay, so just centered there. Got it. Right, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. I'm coming. Probably need this gear. Oh, mobile. Cute. Going to the Formula One tomorrow, I don't even have a team that I support, man. Wait, I think of something. Because Mercedes is not British. Um, nah, like if anything, I'd probably lean more towards Ferrari because I like their driver combo the most. I can't believe they're getting rid of signs, man. I mean, yeah, they're getting Hamilton as a trade, pretty good deal. But like, it's sad, bro. Friend's dad is a mechanic for Ferrari, so you can support them on. Oh, yeah! Absolutely. I'm passing to Hamilton. I know, but. Bro, Sainz is the only driver besides Verstappen to win a race in like two years, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, um, I don't, that, you can't just throw a stat around and be like, oh, well, what about this random stat that I pulled out of my butthole? Um, but, uh, yeah, I just, I like science. But I think he's going to get a spot probably at, like, Red Bull or something. Dude, imagine being a mechanic for a Formula One team. God damn. God damn. Yeah, this silly season I think is going to be particularly silly. Oh shit. Fuck yeah, I'm bunny mode. Fuck yeah, I've gone full bunny.
Remember the Vettel coming back to Mercedes? Why is it that we've not got fresh blood coming in, but we've got these experienced, like, realistically, Vettel is like, I mean, I guess he's like a good one for George to have, like, but then again, George is, I mean, he's younger, but still pretty good. Oh my lord, Snacku. Are you gonna be okay? You got this, I believe in you. What is along the debuff timer, then Trick usually pad two GCD between them. Lines it up. Okay. I'm gonna go get my breakfast up to this, man. I'm a hungry boy. Some for Sadik doing Eden Savage. Mine. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Oh, that's kind of cool. I might have my thing set up where I go w one way, clock my buff, then go the other way, get my trick attack. So bam. Yeah, I mean. I've, I've, I've become a, a genius, uh, a genius cook, and I, uh, I've already got all my food done. It's already cooked. Before I turned on stream, I put on some rice, and then I just put on some egg and some cheese in it. And then, uh, I can just serve it up whenever, but I'm getting kind of, kind of hungry. This. Yeah, there we go. Oops. Bam. I like Ninja. Ninja's just the whole thing seemed pretty good. The whole thing seemed pretty pretty nice. Those robes good, sure. Nine. Okay, one more level. Right. We'll do one more quick one. I'll grab my food whilst we're, whilst we're in. And then we'll get set up for MSQ. I'll I'll actually be... Two minutes, guys. I'll do. I'll run a quick ad and stuff, and then, we're, and then we're looking good, okay? Give me, like, a couple minutes. Grab my food, and then, uh... Oh, I'm actually gonna be a, be a dick. I'm gonna AFK this real quick. I'll be two seconds.
Sorry about that, guys. And thank you to my team for... Wait, am I dead? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I'm dead. He's not respecting the content. No, you guys want to see MSQ. This gets us to MSQ faster. Think about it. Think about it. Better meet AFK now and less later. Think, 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 think. Dude, I'm such a genius with this lunch. It's like fresh meal prepping. Genius. Okay, what have I got? Civil War, yes. Uh, no. Yes. can swap that out. I can put that on. And then, what did I just get? Just got some boots. Some gloves or something. Yo, let me change gear, bud. Making lunch? No. Fresh meal prep? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like, I put, you know, like I throw some rice on, and then it cooks, and then it's like in the rice cooker, so it's chilling, staying hot, and then just go through some egg in, some cheese, boom, I got carbs, protein, fat, done. Done and dusted. And, uh, super low effort. Then I can eat it whenever I want. That's that's why it's meal prepped, okay? Bosh. There are some cool mobs in this game early on. This guy's a cool boss. Yeah, ninja kinda easy, man. So far, obviously. But I remember it pretty well. Let's see ya. Just it's just easy peasy. Oh, I didn't even need those. Wait, those? Wow, those are way better than mine. Okay. Oh, I'm stupid. There we go. This is the highest APM? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. It's not Monk. I guess uh, if Ninja has a bunch of like OGCDs and stuff. Is that kind of the fact that you have your your mudras though? Because like technically you're casting three globals, but it's so quick and you're it's like for one execution, you know what I mean? Yeah, multiple one press. Yeah, I think that's kind of a little bit inflated, surely. Most effectively been nerfed because it used to have no visual AOE markers. Oh, the animations cast names. Yeah, they, they do that a lot for, like, the new player experience. They really do. They really do be doing that. Mm. 
Those visuals can be okay. But it depends what and where and, and, and when. Depends on the ability. Depends on the, the fight as a whole, really. Generally speaking, I prefer telegraphing. There, there are some times where I'm like, oh man, I wish they didn't tell us that this was happening and you have to like show what you know. Ninja doesn't have any dots, does it? Not yet, anyway. Does it get any? Ow. Not anymore. Okay. It all just lines up really well. I'm not even having to real. I thought I would have struggled with having to line everything up the way that I do, but like, it all kind of just works. Come on, rogue. Ooh. I meant to say that I wanted to roll on that. Whoops. Oh, well. Nice, level 50. Hmm. Awesome. That means tomorrow... Oh, wait, no, I'm not streaming tomorrow. That means next stream, I can do the next one. Bam. High level ninja feels really good. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be kind of cool to think that I'm playing all of the weave classes. Um, weave classes. I'm playing samurai, ninja, and monk. Like, oh my god. I might start wearing a headband on stream. Not a headband. What are the... Denki, what are those things called? Well, I mean, it's like, it's like a headband, but like... It's like, it's like a thick old one. Hachigane? Or Hachigane? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get one of those, dude. Let me see. Oh, wait. No, no. Yeah, no. Kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, this is gonna be me, man. It's gonna be me, bro. That's that's gonna be me. Saskick W. <laughs> Dude. Ask CC Lemon if I should get one of these. Just say thinking, getting one of these. Now that I've mastered monk, samurai, and ninja. <laughs> yeah, new hat for a new job. I like that. You know, that's what people say when someone can, like, do a bunch of stuff. They're like, oh, he's a, a man of many hats. You know? When someone's good at multiple things. Wear matching ones and do ultimates together? Now that's the dream. That's what I'm building towards, okay? 
We're not doing Bergia. I haven't unlocked it yet. Not until uh, I haven't finished. Um, I haven't finished Shadowbringers. So I haven't unlocked it yet. I'll, I'll probably check it out a little bit, but I probably won't spend much time in there because I don't think I really like those zones. Um, I'll see though. I, I can't say uh, until I try it. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Um, wait, have I heard of that one, Dinky? My, did you get arrested? <laughs> Is this seat taken? Oh, Snuggle, I thought you were a Lollafell, but you're a... Oh, you're a cat girl with a giant blueberry on your head. And a... Elephant onesie. Oh! Hey, cuties. Ooh, woo. Small cat girl in a big ooh, woo world. Sheesh. Oh, Lord. It's called fashion. Look it up. Yeah, no, you're right. 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 I, I wasn't, hey, I wasn't, I wasn't judging. I was merely describing. It was the first time we met face to face. And I told him beforehand I was going to do it. So when we left to go to a nightclub. His housemates were really confused because they didn't hear the front door open. I was casually walking out with someone dressed up as a ninja. <laughs> and that is how I met your mother. That is, uh, you know, Denki, the more I get to know you, the more I think that that's just actually just a reasonable thing, you know. If it was anyone else, I'd be like, why did you do that? But, like, because it's you, I'm just like, yeah, no, that's that makes sense, man. That makes sense. I get it. I get it. I get it. Right, guys, we're going to MSQ, okay? Give me one sec. I was agile. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. I hear ya. I hear ya, I hear ya. Okay. Okay, gamers. It is time. It is MSQ time. Oh, here, I'll disband group. Just in case I have any duties or anything. Right, so we're, we're in this new zone, okay? So, reminder, anytime I see Emmett Selk, I need to speak to him, okay? Yes? Reminder, reminder, reminder. Don't forget, Sai. Welcome, friend, welcome. My apologies for our less than hospitable greeting earlier. Tell me, what is your name? From where do you hail? From the Crystarium. I see. And this tablet you brought may help us find the Light Warden here in Raktika. Well, you are welcome to stay with us for as long as you need. Come, let me show you around. I kind of like that there's like these big... I, I really like the story of Shadowbringers. I, I like these these Sinias, man. And that is like this hive mind, and we got to find the big bad one, the, the commander, and kill it. And I like that. Would it be alright if I joined you? Of course, of course. Anything for the guests of our dear Master Matoya. Thank you. She means a great deal to the Knights Blessed, doesn't she? If not for her, we may have all perished in the Great Fire. With our priests slain in our home in ruins, we are at the mercy of the Sin Eaters. It was she who drove them back. With her sage guidance, we were able to rebuild. Before long, she became a central figure in our community, the great oak within whose shadow many have come to find solace. That is not to say there were not those hesitant, hesitant to grant an outsider such authority, myself included. Perhaps it is the smile in her eyes when she speaks of the sunless sea feel whole again now that she is with us and I have no doubt the others feel the same she is as much a part of the night's bust as any of us and we are grateful for all she does in service to the dark but you did not hear this from me yes 
Now, you should know there are certain customs we ask guests to adhere to, so long as they reside within Slitherbow. To show reverence to the dark? In a word, yes, but fear not. It is not too involved. Let us begin with something simple. Follow me. Oh man, they're turning us into cultists, bro. Turning us into zealots. All right. Should you see any of our people come to this chamber, they've likely returned from a journey beyond the borders of Raktika. We use the water stored here to cleanse ourselves of the lights and purity. A simple and perhaps peculiar custom, but it is one of our most important. Would you to kneel for just a moment that I might rid you of the lights and purity? Okay. I got you, bud. Oh, I don't like that sound effect. That was horrible. As Runa lightly sprays you with water, your skin begins to tingle. What do they put in the water? And with that, you've been cleansed of the light's bl uh, blighted touch. How do you feel? Yeah, but it felt like he was tingling on me. I'm not sure, to be honest. Not refreshed, exactly. I do feel different. Has this water been treated in some way? Only blessed by our priests, they are practiced in the arcane arts. As such, it is said their prayers imbue the water with a faint dark energy. A prickling sensation? No one has ever spoken of such a reaction before. I wouldn't say it was an unpleasant sensation, but I too felt something strange. Hmm, the dark aspect of this water should have no discernible effect, unless it's because we got like the light in us, right? By the gods, Master Matoya was right. You are Sin Eaters. I jest, I jest. What you felt was likely no more than the chill of the water. Perhaps now would be a good time for you to acquaint yourselves with the people of the Slitherbow. For that, I must teach you a customary greeting. Alan Tuta, in the language of Ronka, it is one of several ways one might say, Good evening. The world is not as safe as it once was, and this greeting lets us quickly discern friend from foe. Is there a handshake or gesture we should know too? I would hate to offend anyone. You need not worry. Merely speak with the words. Uh, speak the words, Alan Tutor, and they will know you as friends of the blessed. I will await your return here. Now go. They are like to be hardened by your knowledge of our ways. All right, let's go make some. Let's go make some. Oh, I got a type test. Oh no, not another type test. It's doomed. It's doomed, bro. Okay. Let's talk to this old woman. Hello. Bosh. The elder, elderly woman smiles warmly. That reminds me, actually, that just reminds me, like, saying good evening, right? That reminds me of uh, a couple weeks ago, I was walking, I ended up staying out late till the, till the morning train started up again. And I was walking home and I was still sloshed. And I remember walking past these two old women. It must have been like 6.30. Walking past these two old women. 
And I'm just like, good morning. And they just smile at me. They're like, good morning. And, like... and they must have thought like, what the fuck? It is 6 a.m. What is wrong with this kid? I have no business with strangers. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, Alan Turing. Ah, newly come traveler. Alan Chisi. Uh, Alan Chisi, and welcome to Slitherbow. You must forgive us if we seem strangely reserved. We are a quiet and taciturn people. Taciturn? Taciturn? Silent and serene as the sunless sea. The quiet makes it easy to discern the presence of eaters and other dangers here in the woods. Ah. Taciturn? Yeah. I thought as much. Did you know that Vaporeon? Mm, thinking, thinking question mark. Pre-typed, run, 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 bam. Perfect. I once knew twins that had hairs just, hair just like yours. Oh, I was hoping he was going to have the Alphano haircut, man. But maybe he does. Alan Chisi, welcome, friend. I take it you will remain in these woods for some time, yes? Be wary of these woods. You will find poison near everything you see, but fear not. A medicinal tea will keep you healthy. Ask, and it is yours. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was just running like, what the hell is that sound? That clinking sound? It's this dude. My little forslet. Everyone was so kind and gracious. I was nervous at first, but already I'm starting to feel at home. There's still much I have to learn about the Knights Blessed, but their faith and strength of will is nothing short of inspiring. You can see now how they built such a thriving community. Whoa, 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 whoa. My little force let. Force, force, force let. Ah, you are returned. Very good. No doubt they were glad of your company. It has been too long since we ha uh, have had visitors. But remember, if you have any questions or there is anything you need, do not hesitate to ask. Okay. Speaking of which, we must arrange food and lodgings for your stay. As friends of Master Matoya, we cannot ask for payment, but if you would be willing to lend a hand. We are fortunate indeed to play host to such generous souls. The task I have in mind is simple enough. All I ask is that you take a jug and, uh, and water the crops in the square. How the hell is Minfilia gonna hold that, bro? May I help too? Minfilia, it is seven times your size. Of course, one of you can do the filling and the other the watering. Speak with Ursabel. When you have finished, she will be relieved to hear the crops have been tended to. While you take care of that, I will see to your room and a warm meal. Thanks, bud. Right then, I'll fill you water. Oh, I'll fill you water. Commas, man, how do they work? This was the only jug I could find which was small enough to lift, but I'm afraid there's a crack in the bottom. We'll need to hurry to the garden before all the water leaks out. Aw, oh, man. You'll have 45 seconds to complete the task. Oh, man. Oh, no. Why would they even bother time gating this? Not time gating, but like time restricting. Like <sighs> you wouldn't have to plot. Fetch another jug, okay? 
Wow, this... Yeah, this is that friction they've been talking about. Is there enough water for the plot? No, Minfilia, I'm gonna need another one. Only half, I see. Well, let me refill the jug for you. You have 30 seconds at- oh my god. Oh boy, they're getting quicker. Go, go, go. Meanwhile, you guys are just sitting over there watching me. Look at what I have to do. Look at this. Look at this. The whole plot has been thoroughly watered. Amazing. Should we be on Ninja for the movement speed? <gasps> True. <sighs> Big yawn. Eepy. Well met, travelers. I observed you earlier speaking with the others. Have you need of something? You know, I got like jet lag again. You watered the crops. Ah, my apologies for not noticing sooner. I've been rather distracted of late. Watering the crops is always, was always Tadia's duty. She, she's no longer with us. We have since taken to sharing the duty, but never with guests. You are most kind. Is there anything else that we can do to help? We could plant something if you like. There is no need. The pot is small, it is true, but it provides us with enough to survive. We ask for no more. I don't know how you manage. Have the blessed not considered leaving? Life would surely be easier almost anywhere else. I can understand why you might say that, but the easiest path is not always the right one. Tell me, do you know our history? How our faith came to be? Oh yes, this is the zone of history, man. Let's go. The zone of history, baby. Give me the goods. Uh, yes, I believe so. The Knight's Bless was initially formed by those who lost their homes in the wake of the Flood. What began as an occasional gathering of survivors eventually grew into a community, which ultimately decided to strike out on its own in Raktika Greatwood. I see you have read our history. For there is history that is told, and one that is lived. Like so many in those times, the first of the Knight's Bless lost everything. Their homes, their loved ones, all they held dear. To make matters worse, none could say what became of the souls of those lost to the flood, when their bodies were reborn as sin eaters. The people were without answers, without hope, their gods having drowned along with everything else. It seemed that nothing was beyond the reach of the light. I want to see, so, so far it feels like we've only had calamities that are based on light and dark energy. And I really want to see calamities based off like the wielding of fire and stuff like that, you know. Soon they realized that, there were, uh, that where there is light, there must be darkness. And in that truth, they found new faith. I believe that the souls of the departed could yet find peace beyond these burning skies in the sunless sea above. That is why we pray for the safe passage of wayward souls unto that blessed black abyss for the return of the night, that we might someday look upon the kingdom of heaven with our own eyes. Yeah, I've had lots of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, but I mean, like, I want to see one visually. Hmm. I I know that the Crystal Tower, the Elegans, no, it wasn't the Elegans, was it? No, it was the Elegans. They fell to uh, they fell to an earthquake, didn't they? So maybe that was mimicked by the calamity in another world, being of of Earth, of Earth power. Uh, the Elegans dying, all dying to an earthquake, doesn't make any sense to me because they had a floating city. 
the yeah, earthquake large enough to break continents. Mm. Mm. So I wonder if that was mimics. Like I wonder if the calamity mimics on the 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 reflection and the source. You know, if it's mimicked. We remain in these woods for the selfsame reason our founders first chose them, that we may lead lives of simplicity, with the shade of these trees as a constant reminder of our faith. There's so many seeking paradise in Ulmor, it's refreshing to find people who value a humbler existence. You are kind to say so. Many consider our way of life foolish, and so it must seem to those who yet cling to their worldly possessions. In times such as these, when everything can be taken away in an instant, it is all too easy to lose sight of why we fight to go on living. It is not to hold fast to material things, but to hold those who went before us in our hearts. To keep alive the legacy they have left us. This we must do for them, our children and generations yet unborn. To keep their legacy alive. Why is she talking to Minfilia? What do you even know, hun? What do you even know? To keep the legacy alive. What, like, what are you talking about, hun? You're like seven years old. Don't start getting cocky, kid. The earthquake was so massive that most of the Allegan stuff was buried and underground for centuries until it was unearthed by scholars. Ah. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, okay, that's cool. I get you. Collection has to be sub subsumed by the same Aether. Mm, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you see the seventh calamity? It was Bahamut. Uh, which must be fire. Unaspected in what sense? The seventh unbroken calamity was unaspected by but astral in alignment. Rejoin the okay. Right. Astral in nature. Fair enough. Okay. Hmm. So I wonder if like knowing that I wonder if there's a cook in that. Like within that knowledge there's a cook in terms of like knowing the sort of um, elements and yeah I wonder if there's a cook man I'm trying to think of what like I mean that just seems like fleshing out the story it doesn't feel like necessarily there's a potential cook per se but maybe I'll find new information later where this will then be relevant like maybe this is setting up for something in Endwalker or something you know like coming later down the line. Or who knows, even Dawn Trail, maybe. Done tending to the crops already? I am. I have. Very good. It should not be long before your room is ready. Runa. Uh-oh. In the woods, 
Sin eaters. I fear they may have the touch. Where? In the grove to the southwest. For a mercy, they've yet to wander any closer to Slitherbow. Then we have no need to engage. Inform the god that no one is to set foot outside the village until they have moved on. But sir, what of Toddy's heartstone? It must be retrieved before the service. All the times for Sinidas to appear. What up, Jonathan? Good, e good evening, good evening, good evening. Are you just going to leave them alone? Under normal circumstances, we would not hesitate in striking the beast down. If they, intend to, if they indeed have the touch, I will not risk them corrupting one of our own. What was that you said about a stone? A few days passed. Todia, a child of the Knights Blessed, was slain by the Sin Eaters. We succeeded in retrieving her body, but in our haste we failed to notice her necklace was gone. Strung to it was a pendant of jade, her heart stone. All of the Knights Blessed are given such a stone at birth. It's the most valuable possession one can own. It is custom to present the heart stone of the deceased at their funeral as an offering to the heavens. But now... So you telling me there's just like a god up there in the sky and he's just like, Hey man, can I have that rock? I'll be sad if I can't have that. Like, I know I created everything in the universe, but like, can I have that rock? What if... What if I could find it for you? <gasps> what? I have experience fighting Sin Eaters, and the light's corruption does not touch me like it does others. Does Master Matoya... Uh, Master Matoya called you Minfilia, did she not? Are you truly THE Minfilia, descended from the Oracle? Even so, I did not ask you to risk your life for the blessed. I understand how you feel, but I can't stand by, knowing that your people are in need and I can help. Please let me do this. Very well. But if the danger proves too great, you must retreat. I can never forgive myself if we were forced to hold a second service. I nearly forgot about Thancred. What if he returns before I do? Uh, I'll come with you. So the first one's wind. Second was lightning. Third was fire. Fourth, earth. Fifth, ice. Sixth, water. Seventh, unaspected. Slash, astral. Seventh was... Uh, sorry. Uh, eighth is leaning towards being light. And then the... the Ooh, if the calamity does occur, then the next one would be... Darkness. Right? Oh. Thank you. With you at my side, I'm certain we can deal with them in no time at all. Go swiftly, and may the shadows keep you both. Eighth hasn't happened yet. You mean like, uh, eighth, eighth is this one. Start leveling and FF14 streams. Good day. Oh, hell yeah, Jonathan. That's cool that you're playing both. That's cool that you're playing both. How is the leveling so far? I know they gave like a 50% XP buff to everyone from 40 to 50 or 40 to 49 or something. I'm stoked to level. I'm gonna I'm gonna play some tonight. I'm gonna I'm gonna stream until like you know whenever six seven something like that, and then um and then gym and then play a couple hours of sod I think. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and play. I've been busy these evenings, you know. Uh, and what up, Fred? Frednick? What's good, dude? Uh, so you're saying eighth is what Orange uh, or Orange saw visions of, and from what Saul has ever told us so far. Okay. Hit 44 in like two and a half hours. Wow. That's quick. Yeah, with the new nightmare portal. Oh, I've got to check those out. I've got to check those out. I've, I've I've seen a smidge of info on them, but I've not physically seen them yet. Okay. Cool. 
Man, there's so much I want to do. There's so much I want to do. So many games I want to play. You, you're that guest master Matoya was telling us about. Please, you have to help me. So I try and low, but I can't find my friend Khans anywhere. I fear he's run off to Fort Gone again. I swear, oh, he gone. It's where we grew up, but it was abandoned years ago after the city just attacked. The place is teeming with all manner of beasts now, and Master Matoya has expressly forbidden anyone from setting foot there. I don't know what's gotten into him lately, but we have to find him before he gets hurt. You should find him first. You want to tell him our password? Took two. He's a skittish sort, so don't delay in telling him so he'll know you mean no harm. Okay, I will do it. I will do it in exchange for an aether current, young man. Thank you. It's another one of those zones. Another one of those main bases where, like, everything just leads to a dead end. Got to see someone else streaming Shadowbringers? Oh, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I, it's crazy. I, I feel... I'm almost done with the game. It, it's... I forgot about this. I'd forgotten about this. La -hi. Oh, you guys fake farming. You're sick. Don't mind me, I'm just... I just gotta go do this. Do you know Lahi? You played FF for almost a decade. Oh, cool. Wait, but you're in. Oh, but you don't mean that you're in Shadowbringers. You just mean like it's nice seeing people stream Shadowbringers. Like I say, you've not been playing for 10 years and you're still in Shadowbringers. That'd be. That'd be insane. That'd be a skill somehow. So stay away, I beg of you. Oh, took you, you're from Slitherbow. Arthur must have sent you then. I was fine until that damn beetle. It's only a scratch, but I'm starting to feel numb. My vision's grown clouded. Worst of all, I dropped my only vial of serum somewhere in these damned woods. Can you find it for me? He doesn't seem too worried for a guy who's dying. But my FC has been playing around five years now, still in the Info 7th Lord. But I... I assume that they're just not playing very often. Enjoyed the uh, 16 event? Yeah, the 16 event was fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, it sparked a big conversation where I was saying, like, it would be kind of cool if it had... Bro, you dropped your vial over here and you ran down the... What, what? This is a mile away. Um, I said it'd be cool if there was, like, a slightly harder difficulty. Like, I would have liked to see it kind of a bit scarier, but what was cool was like the dodge thing, you know, they added kind of mechanics from 16, which was kind of nice. I liked it. I liked it. Some people are free trial players forever, so they just, they're just leaving Heaven's Ward. Um, yeah, so we have a good persona. Hmm. You literally everything in an expansion before moving on. That's wild to me. Because, like, I just think, why not get to the end game and then go back? Because then, like, you're caught up, you know? And then you can go back and do the extra stuff. To do all the extra stuff first, you know? That's some dedication. That's hard, Snacku. See, that that right there is a very unique example of where talents could really come in handy. You know what I mean? Like, that's where you can look at it and you can go like, oh, it's so cool that you can play all these different classes. But some people, myself included, I'll be honest, like, Final Fantasy... Like, the reason I still want to go back and play WoW, even though I play so much Final Fantasy, is because I get to play Druid in WoW. And there's just something so... 
like I get to play Feral specifically, but like I get to play Druid, and there's just when you're when you're that kind of I, I, I am that exact same I I'm, I'm exact same as that as that friend Snaku. Like for me, it's my I need my connection to my character to play it, and for me, I get that connection via uh, the, the 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 class, you know. Mm -hmm. I think that is a surprising number of that is a surprising number of pl players in MMOs. What's it about Druid? Just the aesthetic, man. Like I just like like nature and stuff, and I like like animals. Like you know, some people just like, oh, I want a really cool gun. I want like a futuristic gun and shit, and I want to be all like, you know. Matrix and gun and shoot shoot. Some people just like that, right? For me, I just I love the ability to like tame animals, turn into animals and stuff. I just think it's badass. I just think it's cool as hell. Like I just think it's so much more exciting than the idea of like, oh, I have a big axe. And like that's cool too. Like there's some cool shit with being like a warrior. You got a big axe, you know, swinging that shit around. And it looks awesome. But like that's not my attachment. I don't feel that, you know. Size self-reporting as a furry. No, I'm not like a furry. I'm not like a furry, Sign you know. Uh, this is a noteworthy yeah. person who's known in the community. Yo, huge. Actually, sorry, that reminds me. Texas show, you subbed like two hours ago. I don't know if you're still. I don't know if you're still watching. I think you subbed when I was still on the loading screen, like for the stream, on the starting soon screen. So I didn't actually get to say thank you, but thank you so much for that. And uh, Deskia Arul, thank you very much for the prime as well. The new prime, thank you. And thank you for the followers that have come to you as well. Very, very kind. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, I'm not a furry, like... Look, each to their own. Each to their own, okay? If you want to be a furry, go for it. Well, treat yourself. I, no, I'm not a furry. I don't find furries... Look, I don't know how many furries I have watching my channel, so let's just leave it at that. I'm not a furry, you know? <laughs> but if you are one, treat yourself. Go nuts. Go howl at the moon. Howl at the moon as if nobody's watching, you know? Dance in the rain. That's what they say, right? Um, <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, no, I just like druids, man. I just like druids. I, I just think they're really cool. I just think they're really, really sick. There you are. Did you find it? Like, I don't know what to say. I just I just love the animal aspect of it. I just think it's so cool. I'm a normal furry. It's pastime and not my lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Thank you. I should be fine now after a bit of rest. What were you thinking coming back here? I could have been killed. I had to, Vathan. My father. But uh, for my father. I actually did comment on it for me, uh... Because it came... Like, I brought it up because, like, I was chilling streaming yesterday. And I looked at my Twitter very brief. Like, I just looked over on my screen. And Arthur's was just, like, popping off again. And, um, is Arthur's just, like, is he the one, like, pushing for this fight? Eight-year-olds, like... No, I didn't, like, think I was an animal. I don't think I'm a druid. Okay. But if I can play an MMO, I'm gonna play the druid. If I can, if I can, I will. I used to just love, like, finding animals when I was a kid. I used to go, like, I used to catch, like, lizards and snakes, spiders, that kind of thing. Um, caterpillars and all that stuff. Like, I used to, like, grab them, take them home. They'd die. Because I didn't know how to deal with them.
I think it's just the topic of the week right now for FF players. It's just the topic of the week, man. There, the Sin Eaters. These angel things look dope. I was hoping there would only be one. There's no way we can search for the stone without dealing with them first. Let's get to it then. What? Shouldn't we make a plan first? Though, there are only two. I'll draw one of them away. You can deal with the other. I'm like, hey, why don't we just go kill him? She's like, no, we need strats, man. Downtime drama, yep. Just a little bit of downtime drama, which isn't bad. Oh, that's so much better. Who suggested that I make this change, by the way? That's so good. Oh my god. Now I feel like I'm playing WoW, thank god. Oh, Yoshi P already knows. He already knows, I promise you he already knows. He already knows. You okay, Philly? Uh-oh. <sighs> there you are. It's done. Though Fira's a bit careless. I'll do better next time, I promise. I wonder if Yoshi P's ever come into my stream. God, I hope the conversation was good when he did. God. God, I hope the conversation was okay. We're probably talking about some kind of American politics. No! I'm fine. You needn't worry about me. More importantly, we have to find that heartstone. They said it was made of jade, right? I'll search over there in the brush. Any of us could you be Yoshi P. I do think about that. I do wonder some days, like, who is watching me? Like, who is it? You know what I mean? Like, who are you? Like, what's going on? What do you know, what do you know, that I don't know? He's gonna have a Twitch account name like, not Yoshi P, for real, no cap. It ain't who you think it be. Watches random streams, goes random plays and content. Personal character, no one knows the name. Oh, but I assume it's a Lollafell Black Mage. This could be the one. Oh my lord. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel about yourself, Fred. Don't hold back. Oh my lord, what the... Did you have any luck? It's beautiful. This has to be it. You know, Thinkard always said you were a woman of many talents. I think I'm beginning to understand what he meant. I have much to learn if I'm to be even half the hero you are. Hero she was. Oh, I'm sorry. Forget I said anything. Oh, she's trying to be other Minfilia. If you want to be the other Minfilia, just literally be useless and get captured all the time. Oh, wait. 
<laughs> You're already- Wait, I just realized. Minfilia adult gets captured. And then there's like, oh, we got this whole new world with a whole new Minfilia. And then she still gets captured. What up, Insanity? Long time no see, didn't know you were playing this. Followed you uh, on Kick a while back. Oh yeah, I did trial Kick for a little bit. I did trial it, didn't I? Uh, did I quit WoW? I've not like quit. I just, I don't play it as much as I did. I still have an active sub. I still like, I'm playing Sod, Season of uh, Discovery. I'm playing retail, but I moved to, I've just moved to Japan a month ago and I'm here for a year. So I moved over from EU to NA servers. So, I'm having to sort of like rebuild things a bit. And because this season is pretty much over, there's no point me like there's no point me like going heavy on the end of a season when like there's no point. Um then again, I could do one big push now. No. Uh there's no point me going heavy for the end of a season, but like I'm going to try and stream it and play it a bit more when the new season is up uh and like the new expansion and stuff, but we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. But I haven't like fully quit. Yeah. We should hurry back to Slitherbow. Runa and the others are probably worried. She's doing her best. She keeps getting captured, man. What a little sausage. My eyes feel like they're just closing on me, dude. I don't know what's been going on. I think I need like a I think I need like a re I think I need like a ten hour sleep. I'm getting like seven or eight hours of sleep a night, and it's not enough somehow. I think there's something wrong with me, medically. I must be deficient in something. No jokes, please, chat. No jokes. Or being over 30? Nah, there's no way. Better go back to sleep. Sounds good, Avish. You have a good night. I want to know if he's ever seen Zeem's chat. I don't think I, I, I think I've seen it a bit. It's just like, there's a certain point in streaming where you get so big where like, your chat is just, your chat is just, they take on a mind of their own and, and you just sort of embrace it, you know? We'll get some Bang of Feral keys later on. Yeah, for sure, Insanity, thank you. Thanks, dude. Thanks for coming and stopping in. Thank goodness you're safe. I'd begun to feel the worst. Yeah, just XFing, bro. By all that is dark, you found it. We can proceed with our service as planned. These blessed gems serve not only to protect us in life, but to guide our spirits onto the sunless sea in the in the hereafter. Even should we be felled by the Sinitas, so long as these gems are recovered, our souls are ensured peace in the dark. It's funny for me, like this 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 whole expansion as well is like showing you sort of the fanaticism with like sort of the way I'm perceiving it is like fanaticism with like religion and like belief and stuff where like because the light is here everyone's just like oh okay well that's it it's all about the darkness we need the darkness and it's like like the darkness must be the good one and it's just it's funny especially since we know that this world could just as easily be being consumed by the dark, not the light, and then it would be the opposite, you know? Bought this plush toy that you can uh, apparently microwave to get warm. Oh, got the best 12 hours of my uh, 12 hours sleep of my life. Oh, that sounds lovely. 12 hours sleep sounds insane. <gasps> Saying goodbye. Oh, we're gonna have the funeral. What's well, failed to express my gratitude for this kindness you have done for the blessed? I must insist you and your friends attend Todia's service as an honored guest. There is still much we must do to prepare. Please go and inform the others. Be held in the darker. Oops. When you arrive, there should be an attendant present to explain the proceedings. Okay. Cyber and I learned so much about the Knights Blessed while you were away. We helped them recover a lost heirloom out in the woods. I know I wasn't supposed to leave, but they really needed our help. There were sin eaters and... As long as she accompanied you... Do try to be more careful. Your injuries could have been a lot worse. Well, I think it's being nice, actually. How, how did you... Let's just say a little bird told me. And it's telling me now that Cyber has business with us. I do. Is something the matter? 
They've asked us to attend the service. Of course we'll go. It's being held in the darker, is it? Take care not to be late, I promise. Uh, Shinigami, I don't know if that's like much of like a spoiler or something, but ju just be just be a little bit careful with some of that stuff with like answering like sort of responding like just be careful with some of the responses to like MSQ stuff that I say, right? I don't know if that's a little bit spoilery or not. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Pro probably not. It's probably fine, but just in case, just for future reference. Just in case. Dude, I gotta dismiss this force, man. I need another, um, another minion. Sorry, buddy, but you're going. Prince of Anima. What the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Should know by now. Fair, fair, fair. The elderly woman hands you a candle. She then points over at a nearby corner where you might place it. Thank you. This is me trying to get around in Japan, bro. So these guys don't like the light, but they're okay with candles. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I need to grab another little, I'm gonna grab another little coffee. It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? Voice acted, let's go. Oh, I thought that was Emmett for a second, and I was like, wait, why is his ass so fat? Let us begin. I thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia, but in the dark, we shall remember her always as Menin. Let us each take a moment to offer her our prayers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, so I remember the image, it was a triangle, right? So there's the different forces, or like the different elements, and there are dark aligned ones, so probably what, like, Dark itself, fire, and like l lightning or some shit, whatever, <laughs> something else. And then light is things like, I think, like, I don't know, other, like water and light and wind or some shit. Yeah, some, something like that. We entrust her now to the night's yeah, sweet is, yeah. embrace. Mm -hmm. mm. In darkness will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore. May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven, and in the love we bear for her in our hearts. Make sure you're crying, chat. Everyone cry. That vessel represents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. We 
call upon you now, O bringer of shadow, to lead this gentle soul onto the sea. We call upon you, O warrior of darkness, to deliver her onto paradise everlasting. So they rebelled against the warrior of darkness on this planet. Everyone got mad at because he caused this, but then he's called the warrior of darkness, but I guess he was called the warrior of... No, he was the warrior of dark... No, he was... I guess he was the warrior of light? I'm confused. Yeah, he's not the warrior of darkness here. Is he the warrior of light here? But then he kind of... Yeah, he was known as the warrior of light as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I am told you assisted in the preparations for the service. On behalf of the Blessed, you have my sincerest thanks. The enduring legend of the Warrior of Darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you could deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, yeah, go it would be the one, next man. best thing. Their prayers would finally be answered. They could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will? Forgive me, thinking of all those we have lost. I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. Mayhaps sooner than later, in fact. Oh? Urianje and I have finished deciphering the tablet, and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. Cool. We have much to discuss. Cool. Uh, by the way, welcome, Publish, and, uh, and an illusion as well. Or an illusion. An illusion? What are you hiding? Uh, welcome, dudes. Sorry, I didn't want to, I didn't want to say hello mid-cutscene, and then people would be like, this girl is dead, and you're not even... You're saying hi to people. <laughs> Go to interrupt the cutscene, but Kendall's like twinkling stars in the dark room, like the night sky, and fire like life. Bright light snuffs out the candles. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's cool looking at all like the forces and how they all interplay in this now. The different elements and stuff and sort of adds an additional layer to the whole thing. Hey, let me grab some more water. One sec. Adds an extra layer.
Okay. Let's let's see. I wanna go I wanna go smash this light warden. Uh they're releasing Dawn Trail. Yes, it's it, they're they're releasing it in two months. Two months from now, actually. That's crazy, dude, that's crazy to me. Two months and uh like twenty-five days or something. <laughs> uh so just under three months, basically. But um crazy to me because you know world of warcraft is about to gear up on retail they're about to gear up that's what i'm used to the game that i know this will be this will be my first ever final fantasy expansion where it's like there's going to be an expansion where i'm playing and and then there's there's one that's going to release like i started playing when endwalker was already out i started playing when endwalker was already in a content drought air quotes you know um so it's so weird for me because wow it's like Okay, we have, like, the announcement that the expansion's going to release, or, like, that, you know, that it's going to, going to be made, and then, like, a year goes by, and then we have, like, the beta, well, sorry, we have the alpha, and then, like, two months, three months later, we have the beta, and then we have that for, like, another three months, and then we have the official release, and by the time the game comes out, we've, like, already done beta, already done alpha, like, months have gone by we've seen a bunch we've seen all the zones we've seen a bunch of the quests we've seen in the story to some degree we've seen um yeah like all that stuff and then and then the game releases but in this it's just like you get nothing or you get very little and then it's like okay game's here go play so i think he's gonna catch up in time if i if I don't do the Savage tier, if I don't do Savage Eden, I will catch up. 100%, 100% no doubt. It takes me about two weeks to get through... It takes me about two weeks to get through a base game and a third week to do the patch content. And then it takes me oh, uh, under a week to do the Alliance Raids. In like half a week, I can do the Alliance Raids and the Dungeons. In, in a full week, I can do the Alliance Raids, the Dungeons, and the Extremes. So that's four weeks each. So if I do, in fact, I could, I could probably get ready for Dawn Trail. Not that I'm trying, I'm not going to rush, but if I did, if I just kept at my like normal pace and there was like no, no changes to anything, I, and I, and I skipped the Endwalker tier, raid tier, I could be ready for Dawn Trail if I wanted to. But I'm not going to rush, but I could do it if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to like try, you know. I'm going to just take my time. How long was the content drought in WoW? I don't know, actually. Uh, they're doing... It changes, right, depending on the expansion. But right now, we're gearing up for the new expansion. So they're adding in a new season that's releasing later this month. And then we'll probably have, like, four or five months of that. And then they'll release the new game. But as soon as the beta comes out, that, that ceases the content drought. Because then everyone's just focused on, like, beta content and everyone gets talking about what needs to change and what needs to be better and all that stuff so then it's sort of like the drought sort of i mean the gameplay drought isn't gone but sort of the discussion is at least there people can be making youtube videos and watching youtube videos and stuff so if you want to stream dtmsq you'll be going to have to wait yeah exactly exactly mm. not missing anything with Walker savage okay Sanctum of Domination cutscene where Sylvanas just flies off like a deflated balloon. Uh, it might have been Sanctum. Sanctum is where we fought her. Everyone thought this is just beta. They'll f yeah, that's kind of a problem with beta with WoW is that everyone thinks like, oh, it's just beta. This will f get fixed. But then it doesn't. And then you're like, oh, huh, okay. Actually, it's for the best if you are, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Find it called up at the start. Very few people want to watch the stream on launch because they want to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. I'll probably be like a month late to Dawn Trail. I'll probably, I'll probably get in a month after. Something like that. Good, you're here. Thanks to the Exarch's gift. Our next course of action is now clear. 
Stirring up trouble. Four oh three helm. Nah, fuck it, don't care. Three nine five ring though. Nah, I don't even want it. Just go in mine, baby. The month is prime. Prime time? Cool. I'm, I'm wondering how the streams are going to fare when I'm caught up on MSQ and I'm, like, looking to be doing raiding and stuff and playing endgame. I'm wondering how the streams are going to do. Like, I've not really been, like, a massive MSQ vampire kind of guy. So, like, hopefully there's going to be people that are going to want to hang out and, like, watch me go into the first raid tier with everyone. That'll, that'll be really cool to get into the first raid tier, like, not too far behind people. That'll be really, really awesome. A lot of money. Yeah, I'm waiting until I finish the game and then I'm going to sell everything. Yeah, I'm wait 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 until I until I finish the game and then seeing how much I have, seeing how much you you make from the MSQ, you know. Oh shit! I forgot to get my coffee. Sorry. One sec. Accidental spoiler? Okay, I won't look up. Okay, it's fine. I won't look up. It's fine. It's fine. I, I did see something about, uh, someone said something like, oh, every streamer goes through X or something. Or, like, if I miss anything that was, like, pertinent that you want me to comment on, just retype it, guys. But yeah, accidental, accidental spoiler? No sweat. No sweat, no sweat. I won't look. Um. Huh. <laughs> Everyone's in panic mode. 
Like, uh, you know the Spongebob episode where you get to see inside his brain and it's like a million Spongebobs in there? Panic. Let me begin by first explaining the origins of this tablet. I initially believed it might detail the history of the Church of the First Light. Much to my surprise, it dates back to the end of the Ronkin Empire, and was likely written under the direction of the reigning ruler. It was a time of strife and unceasing war with neighboring nations. With each passing day, they yielded more and more territory to their enemies. In their desperation, petitions for aid were sent out to their allies. This was one such petition. You think this ancient petition will somehow help us in Yixmaya? Indeed we do. For etched into this tablet is a method by which one may prove themselves an ally of the Ronkin Empire. Provided we are able to decipher said instructions, we may entreat the ruined protectors to grant us safe passion, uh, pa passage. The problem, however, is I presently lack the resources to decipher them in their entirety. We have but one recourse. There exists a stone monument inscribed with ancient Ronkin texts and translations into a more modern dialect which came into use after the fall of the Empire. I am confident it will suit our purposes. Where can we find this monument? Here in Sitia, quite close to Slitherbow, in fact. Well, that's convenient. The good news ends there, however, for it is in possession of a rather radical faction of dark worshippers, the children of the everlasting dark. If I am to study the monument, I must infiltrate their encampment. I have no intention of taking longer than absolutely necessary, but I will nevertheless require some time to transcribe the text I need. To ensure that I will have enough, I'm afraid I must ask you and Thancred to assist me. And before you even ask, the answer is no. If we're to remain unseen, our group must be as small as possible. Alright, I'll st stay here until you return. We won't be long. If anything should happen, you keep her safe. Hopefully you won't turn to what Arthur said. Oh god, what did Arthur say? Turn to what? Let us convene outside to the west of Silderbow, where the path diverges. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Is that Raji Karu? Rajikaru? What does that mean? Rajikaru? Radical. Like a surfer? Like radical, dude! So you say die, like uh, D or D, sorry. D. But I don't think they can pronounce it. I don't think they can pronounce D like that, right? Unless they speak English. Right. Yeah, I do need more kana. Yeah, you guys should start speaking to me in kana. No kanji, fuck kanji. The encampment we seek is to the north, but it would be foolish to simply rush in. The guard has been posted at Cleric to keep watch over the children, after he has ought to share of their recent activity. But we must tread carefully, there's a chance we may encounter them along the way. Stay close and stay alert, I would avoid a confrontation if possible. They rejoice in dealing death to others, proving that in doing so they cleanse their victims of sin and usher them unto the sun uh, sunless sea. I would rather not sully my hands defending myself against such madmen. Yeah, no, I know, face, I know, I know. I'm trying to just pick up words like 
like even for example, you know the other day I said like, oh, what's rice in Japanese? Uh, gohan. I was even able to go to a restaurant uh, a couple days ago. In fact, if you watch my YouTube video or my TikTok of the Okonomiyaki, like when I went to that restaurant, I was able to ask for more rice. And instead of having to like be like, oh fuck, what's rice in Japanese? I'd remembered it. So actually like talking about Japanese in Twitch chat is like genuinely one of the best ways for me to learn. I still, I, though, I can't remember, you told me three times now, I can't remember the name of the, it is what it is. It, it do be like that. I need to lock that one in, man. Shog, Shog, Shogunai, Shogunai. Shogunai. It is what it is. Oh, shit. Ohio, Ohio, Sai, 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 Ohio, Sai, Vesan, uh, Oh, Genki, this guy, um, I don't actually know how to say, like, I'm good. Don't write it in all over again. It is actually so hard to read. <laughs> Genki. Oh, you can just say Genki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess if someone says, like, are you good? You can say, yeah, I'm good. But yeah, Genki this. Genki. Yeah. But the bus is dark. Who are you, buddy? Thank goodness you are in harm. No, I know who this guy is. We would have arrived sooner, but we need we too had a rather unwelcome visit from the children. You're an acquaintance of Master Matoya then. My apologies. The children have been acting strange of late, so I thought to take a closer look. I was careless. Strange. What have you seen? This guy's sussy. At first there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary. The usual gathering of ingredients for poisons from flora and fauna. But then I took notice of their venomous spiders. They've been breeding them in much greater numbers, and I think they're summoning a primal. As if they're preparing for something. Oh, what could it be? It could be like a prime. Mm. Any ideas as to what? What about a primal? It could be anything, really. Even a primal. If it meant the end of the blessed, nothing would be too cruel or violent for them. Even a primal. Perhaps we can use their present preoccupation. The spiders to our advantage. If we were to introduce a threat to the nests where they keep them, the children would be compelled to save them. Bees, for example, are a neutral predator, uh, natural predator spiders. Set them loose on the nest and we would have our opportunity to sneak into their encampment. What a mis mischievous plan. I like it. With a bit of smoke, we should be able to subdue a few colonies long enough to secure uh, secure their hives. If you anything we might be able to use. We should, have a sm we should have smoke bombs at the outpost just over there. And it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outpost and search about for bees. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to your visit. visit. But once they're knocked out, take the beehives and bring them back here. Two will suffice, I should think. Wow, bro. Yeah, that's confusing. Mm is is yes, but like mm is no. Is that how you pronounce is that how you pronounce it? It's like mm. Mm. Yeah, because I don't want to say EA, because EA is apparently rude, which is annoying. So it's like, oh. Yeah, it's like, uh uh. And her. It's like, nah, -uh and uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it even sounds like that in a way. Yeah. Well, these days I'll put in the effort to learn Japanese, I really want to, but lazy. It's one of those things, it's like, for me as well, it's like, I've always been lazy with wanting to learn another language. Like, I've always wanted to learn Japanese, but I'm too lazy. But I just think it would be so fucking badass to just be able to speak Japanese. Like, it would just be so cool. So, I really want to learn. Yeah.
The problem I have with Japanese right now, my biggest problem, is I, I can speak its to people in very, obviously, very basic stuff, but I can get around. The problem I have is if they say anything to me in response, I have no clue. I have no clue, bro. Phrases that you hate so much. Yep. Yep. Yeah, mm, it's tricky if you don't know the cadence. Mm. So why won't you let me smoke bomb? Yeah, you know me say that. Uh huh. Uh huh. You mean like that? Yeah, yeah. So you said like, uh, if it was a yes, and then like, uh, if it was no. Something like that. Oh, I killed it. Shit. Shit. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I'm fine. I want the beehive. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you. I need to just get listening. I need to just watch a shit ton of anime. Apparently that's a really good way to learn, is just watch a bunch of anime and then just like, try and pick out little things. Oh, not even anime. I don't want to watch anime. I want to watch, um, I want to watch dramas. Because I think that's going to have real life like, real life, like, discussion. Yeah, but I'm already in the country. One, one thing I said I want to do is, like, go to a bar. Like a, like a little, like, you know, on my street or something. Like, just like a little local bar. And just sit in there with, like, a notepad. And just have, like, a couple words, like, ten words or something that day that I'm trying to learn and, like, practice, like, writing. Like, I need to really practice writing my kana because I can't write any of it. And I would better be able to... Sometimes I, like, look at it and I'm like, oh, wait, that's either that or it's that. Like, like, ra also looks like te and chi. Um, so, like, all that kind of stuff. Where it's like, oh, but write, practice writing it will help me lock it in. But I want to just go sit at a bar, you know, grab a little drink or something, and then just listen to other people talking, and then just try and pick out things and just immerse myself by being in the presence of people speaking Japanese. Like, that's my kind of plan, is like, just by listening and then actively, like, active study while passively, like, sort of immersing myself. Yeah. So I can watch FF14 drama when I when he catches up. I'd love to. Recommend Midnight Diner for something to watch. Is it anime? I want to watch like dramas and stuff. Yeah, small bar restaurant and the people that show up at like two in the morning. Oh, that's perfect. Where can I watch that? Watch Netflix originals in different languages. I use uh, watch Stranger Things in German for practice and cheat at the subtitles when I need help. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. Flashcards are good too. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think I think English VA is just better for that. Yeah, just so you can just hear and know what's going on. Yeah, that's the thing, uh, Denki, is I know, like, you don't just read it in one, in monotone, like, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of just different intonation and shit with stuff, yeah. A lot of just up and down, and, like, stressing of stuff, you know? Dude, it's so cute being in Japan, though, like, everyone's so cute over here, man, like, I was on the train yesterday, 
and there's like these two like salary men and like they must have been you know gotten some drinks or something after work or whatever and this guy's going to get off the train and they just keep like bowing to each other and keep saying like you know they're saying like nice to you know nice to see you like you know take care and then they just both keep bowing and then the guy like turns around to leave and then he'll turn back around and then like they'll bow and they smile and then he goes to leave again and then he turns around and he bow and it's like there's it's like so cute i'm like oh i want to come a little cuties man stuck in, yeah they were like stuck in the loop bro they were stuck in the loop they were, they were like like this guy's got to get off his train before the doors close but it's like no man i have to be polite this is cute i do like being over here i do like being over here yeah. You can use free streaming sites for shows like TVO and uh, Abema for, uh, for dramas. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I've heard my Japanese pronunciation is really bad, but that's because I can only say like five sentences, you know? Make sure your tongue is glued to your mouth. What? Japanese language never uses the tongue. Would you pronounce karasu the same as you pronounce karasu? No, I'd say it differently. Like, because I'm just playing like the game, I'd say like karasu, right? I'll just read it in like English. But if I was gonna pronounce it like in a Japanese style, I'd say katasu. I'd say it like that. But I don't know if that would be like I assume that would be correct. You know how we say pie and tie or p and t? We use our tongue. We use our tongue against Dude, I never track where my I never track my tongue in my mouth. I don't think about it. Okay, see what's killing me? It's because, like, I'm just, I, like, it sounds stupid if I'm reading everything English and then it's like, Kodosu, and then, like, go back to English. It's just, like, just effort and nobody cares, you know? Except, I guess, except for you. The god returns to Slitherbow, but not before offering his thanks. As for the beehives, thank and I was successful in acquiring what we need. How did you fare? Dude, the problem I'm having as well is, like, I'm looking at Japanese stuff and I'm trying to listen to, like, some podcasts. I'm trying to listen to, not podcasts, but, like, Spotify, like, playlists of, like, teaching Japanese. But it's always, they just, all they have to fucking say is, Watashi wa, Jodes. And I'm like, I I've never had to say that. I've never had to say that over here. Like, you never have to learn that. And, like, they just keep teaching me shit that I don't need to know. And, like, Hajime Mashite. Yeah, I fucking know how to say that. Like, give me something else, man. Like... And I'm like on episode 10 and it's like trying to get me to count and I'm like, bro, I know how to count, like, like give me something more. Just, it's so shit. Like all of the teaching things, it's like they never teach you like the level that you want. Like even the basic stuff is like, yeah, bro, move me along. Like teach me how to say shit like I would like a bag or can I have more rice or like, you know, your shoes look nice. Like get, just give me fucking like, that kind of shit, you know, like, I promise you do not know, no, but I know, but you know what I mean, face, like, they teach you, like, basic counting, I know it gets, like, quite comp, it's, I know there's, like, I know, but, like, I know how to count decently, I can recognize numbers, I can recognize numbers, and the reason why Japanese people find pronouncing English very difficult, they've never learned to use their tongue, like we do, hmm, Uh, my work sent me to the Dominican Republic for a month. I had taken two years of Spanish in high school and didn't know anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at Instagram. People there teach you practical day to day stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like YouTube shorts. Yeah. Yeah. The language learning tools are just way too formal. Like, it's way too formal.
watch stuff like uh, Schoolhouse Rock, Sesame Street, stuff like that. It works. Yeah, watching kid shows is really good. Yeah, because they pause and they say basic language. So it's more than enough. The children are certain to be displeased. Let's <laughs> hurry before the bees begin to stir. That's a funny thing out of context. Yeah, the children are gonna be unhappy. A beautiful plan. The children's settlement is to the west, a place they call Woven Oath. According to the guard, there is an airway apart from the entrance which leads to the spider's nests. The fates are kind, the way will be clear. I just want to find someone I can meet up with and talk to in, in, um, in Japanese and they can, like, I can teach them English, they can teach me Japanese and I just want to find that, man. I need to actively look for it a bit more. But it's really hard with those, like, Hello Talk sites and stuff, because, like, people are... It's, like, really weird. It's, like, they... I don't know. It's, like, hard to find someone who wants the same shit that I do, you know? Rolling Oz is kind of hard. Hmm. It is, yeah. Death equals good. Wait, hold on. Have you joined the JP and learning Discord? Uh, is that for like online stuff? I want to meet up with someone physically. I want to go to a place physically and talk in person. Spooky music. Up there is the airway. Do you see it? A bit far, perhaps, but we should be able to toss the bag through. Then we should probably loosen the ropes, keeping it closed. Enough that it falls open when it lands inside. May I do the honors? That should do it. Now we wait. What is that? Bees! By the abyss, they're everywhere! Help! Someone help! We have to save the spiders! It sounds like our plan is working. Still, it is quite likely not all were drawn away from their posts. If you should come to blows with the children, I'll see to any signs of the struggle are concealed. Fearing that I'll create distraction to buy your stall more time. Alright, let's go punch some kids. Should anyone get past me, it falls to you to guard her. Your concern is appreciated, but I sincerely doubt it will come to that. Why do I get the feeling you enjoy the idea of my, loaf, uh, my loafing about bored in the shadows? Come now, Thancred. The shadows are a fitting place for a warrior of darkness. Now, if you both are ready... Not the bees! Not the bees! Don't mind me, buddy. Whee. Hold on, look at this strat, ready? Okay. Run. 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 Run, run, run. Alright, chumps. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
die, bro. Sloppy. Did you just die? Yeah, I went into combat at like 50% health. Sometimes you... Uh, uh Shogunai. Shogunai. Hold on, let me tape my tongue to my mouth. Oh. Sh Sh Shogunai. What? Thank you. What are you talking about? My tongue want to rise up. I... Bottom of the mouth, not top. Yeah, yeah. Sh 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 yeah, yeah. My tongue, my tongue's down. My tongue's down. My tongue's down. My tongue's down, bro. I'm safe. Yeah. Yare yare. What? Bro, sometimes I'll read shit and I feel like I don't know the kana because I'm like, truly that's not what it says. Yeah, are are, are are daze. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, Valus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Don't, guys, don't all start coming here trying to help me and shit like... Oh yeah, I forgot about this lad. Nah, don't, don't, don't embarrass me, okay? Don't all start coming and, like, helping me kill mobs and shit, okay? This is... This is too much. Oh, it's a JoJo reference. Okay. You know, I made a TikTok that was apparently a One Piece reference, and I didn't know. Did the washi die? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Oh, shit. My treasure bow is pulled. You know, if you watch watching my anime. I want to watch a Terrace House. I like Terrace House. It's like a, date, a Japanese dating show on uh, Netflix. I like that. That was fun to watch. And that's going to use, like, real, real language. All I remember from that show last time I watched it is, Okay, D. Because literally, like, every time somebody would come home. Welcome home. Or, I'm home. This is Castle. Now that's a play as well, actually. Tadaima. What does Tadaima mean? Oh, oh, you made a fundamental flaw, dude. You put kanji in there. I can't read kanji. Well, what do you guys think, Dunky Face? What do you guys think I should do when it comes to when I when I am in a situation where kanji is involved? Do I like just do I ignore it? Do I like try and just go? Okay, there's kanji in this sentence. I don't understand it. Let me look it up and then just like do that and then just practice. I guess that's the only way, right? Like, just... Is there a point where it's like, oh no, it's too early to learn kanji. Don't learn kanji yet. It's too early, like... Yeah, just look it up as I go. Oh, I'd beat you. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. I'll just learn it as I go. I don't have Japanese. I keep forgetting to use this ability, man. Because it's new. I think that's the right definition. You can put it to a translation device. True. True. 
true, true, true. I kind of am annoyed that like cameras just let you like Google Translate just lets you take a picture and translate immediately because it just it sort of, sort of causes you to be lazy with it, like causes you to go like, ah, oh, I don't need to study right now, and it causes you to be in a situation where like you could just not learn any new Japanese for like weeks and months because you're just like, oh, I translate it. Right, okay. Let's see your sheets of you practicing. I actually haven't done any writing. I will. Gonna use the short arm key here on Yeah, just gotta practice. Mm. As soon as you can read and write both, then learn Kanji. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get some practice going on tonight, then. I want to do that. I'm gonna go to. A, I'm gonna go sit at a bar, I'm gonna grab a drink, grab some little nibbles, and learn some Japanese. The font of seeing suggests this is a chamber for prayer. At the very least, they would not place this near potential distractions from their worship. Perhaps the mo monument is further in. Flirt with the Lurkle? Uh, uh, Lurkles? The Lurk- the Urkel? God, what's the famous Urkel quote? Did I do that? <laughs> Lurkles, dude. I'll flirt with the Lurkers. Hey, you guys are looking cute today. 11 more XP. Oh, Kuko kill a mob, couldn't I? Yo. Look at all these, man. That's Luis Swa. Right there. That's his buddy. What is that? That's the void. That's always it's always the void. Yeah, this is cool. I'm in like an ancient sieve, man. These are my tier 3 subs. Look, look at them all in a line. Look at them all in a line, standing to attention. Yeah, these are my tier 3 subs. These are my tier 1 subs. Do I want to cook before I... Uh, cook what? What, cook this? Oh, yeah, we're about to, okay, yeah, we're gonna do the tablet, and then we're gonna read all, yeah, these? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, let me, let me, let me, okay. Okay, this is the Warrior of Darkness and his crew. Yeah, 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 100, 100%, 100%, 100%, this is the Warrior of Darkness and his crew. This is them defeating something, or fighting something. Um, they're fighting something... Hmm. Can you use workbooks for younger kids? Yeah, good idea, Ryan. I actually like workbooks. If you have any suggestions, actually, of workbooks I can use, please, please let me know. I want to just, like, get, like, example... Like, I, I want, like, a picture of a cat... And then it's like, I have to write in kind of what it is, you know? Actually, what is... Nick Nick? No, it's not Nico. Ne Neko? Neko? Dog is Inu. Neko? Yeah, bosh. Dig some up? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'd love some work. I, I, I want a picture. I want real basic kid shit. I want, like... Stuff for like a four-year-old, where it's like just a picture of something, and I gotta write down what it is, that kind of thing. Yeah, would be amazing. Hmm. Can it get JP YouTube? Oh, is it? Um. Yeah. Okay. This is the this is the Warrior Darkness and his crew. They're fighting something. I can't tell what it is yet, though. Looks like a like wind or like a cloud. Um. Then, this is the, this is maybe, this looks like they're all like praying and stuff. 
And that kind of looks like maybe the, like, maybe like a, it looks like a, a sun or a flower or something. Maybe they're like praying to the light. No, not praying to the light. Seems dumb. Praying to something. And now this. Yo, go for it, face. If I choose to stay in Japan for a year, or like more than a year, I'm just gonna go study Japanese here. And then eventually like be a translator or something, you know? Work at Square Enix, join a band, you know, just normal stuff. This one, I don't know. This one looks like they're going to war, baby. This is the primal. This is the primal we're gonna fight. Right, so this is a big, big lore dump, yeah? Okay. Okay. All right, are we ready? No one's gonna complain about there being an ad or something, are they? Oh, an ad is probably close. Oh well. Good luck, guys. Yeah, Denki, get confused with those. With So and So and She. So she messes with me. Sue follows Chinese handwriting. Sign. Yeah, those mess with me sometimes. Especially with the font. So or N. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. People are always going to complain about ads. Yeah, true. Yes, this is it. I will be but a moment. Keep watch of the entryway. On second thought, would you mind examining the murals on these walls while I look over this? At a glance, I can tell they are old, predating the founding of the blessed and the children, in fact. I would not like to come here a second time. It should behoove us to learn all that we can. Actually, yeah, I didn't think about the time scale. Kind of looks like Warrior of Darkness and his crew, but then this would be, like, ancient. Be ancient. Uh, who's this guy blocking my way? Yo! Registered flex effect. Hold up. Hold up, bud. Okay. You wanna go? You wanna go? Okay. Chat, who we. Who you picking? Who, who you picking, chat? This guy? Or this guy? This guy, right? It's not fair that he's got the armor, okay? Now let's see the size of his... How do I actually do this quest? Oh, I go here, okay. <laughs> Three Lollafells in a suit, yep. More worksheets you can print out. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's awesome. Insane. And then you also said about, uh, Orion in chat said about, in YouTube said about Genki. Genki's highly recommended. That's how the workbooks are called. Yeah, I know Genki, the Genki books. Mm hmm Marigoto and, uh, Japanese from, from Zero. So Q2. Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot of those. I'm gonna take a screenshot and send them those to me. Send those to me so that I know. Awesome, thank you so much. I'll take a look, see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. The hardest bit with learning a language, I think, is not the motivation, it's the learning the resources of like, like if, if somebody just came up to you, it's the same thing with like working out and going to the gym, right? Like the hardest bit is not going to the gym, the hardest part is going to the gym and knowing like your nutrition and your program and how many sets and reps and frequency and intensity and different, you know, 
uh, you know, your eccentric, your concentric control, like, all that kind of shit, right? Like, that's the difficulty, is figuring all that out. The easy bit is just going and turning up, you know? Same thing with learning a language, it's like, I'm cool to learn a language, it's like, I just don't know how to learn one. I've, I've never consciously had to learn one, I've just, I just learned English when I was a kid, like, it, you know, like everybody. Um, so... It's kind of like that. It's like if I knew, if I, if somebody came up to me and they said, right, you're going to do this for six weeks, you're going to do that for four weeks, you're going to do that for three months, like, boom. I could say, yep, cool, 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 cool. But it's like learning, it's like you could do something for three months and then find out that you could have just done it way more efficiently or like whatever. And then you go like, oh, well, I don't know how to, I don't know what I don't know here, you know, so... Uh, learning, uh, knowing how to learn things in general is a skill in its in and of itself. I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. All right, let's watch this. Examine the murals and take note of what events they may depict. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one, dude. Actually, I'm gonna start with this one because this one I think I know. The mural appears to be fairly old. A knight shields himself and their comrades from an encroaching darkness. The central figure is considerably faded. I can tell he's holding an axe though. You can see the axe here, and you can see him wielding it here. You can examine his dollar. Oh yeah. That's your friend. There's nothing to gain from staring at my backside. Now please, I need to concentrate. Damn, girl, you do be fine, though, you know what I'm saying? Shogunai. The mural appears to be very old. A ruler sits atop a throne, attended by their subjects. Allegan, bro. No, Crystal Tower. That dude. The mural appears to be ancient. A warrior in the middle stands triumphant over what appears to be a creature of shadow. Oh, yeah, there is, like, a... Yeah, that must be what that is. Other figures surround the warrior rejoicing in their victory. <laughs> yeah, Ishtal, if there's nothing to gain, then where did it? No. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, Lucia, 100%. I need to know context. I always need to know context. It's the only way I can learn. I have to know everything about These something paintings. before I can learn something. They seem familiar. Okay. Depictions of heroes throughout history. The Age of Gods. The Empire of Ronka. Empire of Ronka, yeah, makes Alice. sense. There was a man. A researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it. Slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was. But he had a good heart. I wonder if I know who the old man is. He oh, believed man. this first painting dated back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. Mm. The story went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka, who was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned. Commemorating the heroes of their day. One day you will all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself. I had a good laugh at that. We were only trying to make our way after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds. But it seems he actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Hmm. Oh, rather faded, isn't it? Compared to the others. Or did someone try to scrape it off the wall? Well, maybe the man himself once he came to his senses. Okay, so I'm one for three. It was them. Um. I knew this zone. I, I said at the beginning the zone was going to be all about history. And this is awesome. This is all about history, man. You know, save the chili to save the world. Go change the past to change the future, you know? Do 
you suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? Or some other kind of monument? There you are. I have everything I need. Let us quit this place. Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. Wait, what about the other two? What about the other two? I've been robbed. I believe I now have everything needed to finish deciphering the tablet. Tell me, Cybert, do the murals appear to be of any significance? Depictions of heroes from the Age of Gods, the Ronkin Empire, and immediately before the Flood. Very astute observations. Perhaps in another lifetime you could be a curator of antiquities. But it has no bearing on the task at hand. Perhaps that knowledge may prove to be of use in the future. Level 77, man. I'm such a absolute hunk. Let's go. Oh my god, Snuggle, you okay? You just got cannon shot into that tree. An unwanted proposal. Okay. Let us hurry to Slitherbow. The others are waiting. After we've returned, the two of you should rest a while. No doubt Runar will be eager to have you sample his cooking. As soon as I discover anything of import, you'll be the first to know. Mm. Oh, I tried to fly. Oh, man. Made it. I can always tell when we're about to get to something cool because the view count just, it, it starts to like, boop, boop, boop. Like, how do people know? How do we, I think what it must be is if you have Twitch on, but you're tabbed out or you have it muted. Like, people must mute the tab until something cool happens, and then they turn the volume up. So then the view, like, so they know when something's happening, and then they can... So, I'm like, how does everyone always know when something's happening? Or maybe it's just coincidental. Maybe the whole ride? Hell yeah. I don't know what you mean, shrug? Mm. Yeah, no, definitely nothing's happening. woke up. Oh yeah. A likely excuse. Mm. You guys can't fool me. I know we're building to something. I know we're building to something. Alright, I gotta pee though. I gotta pee though and there's literally nothing you can do to stop me. I pee on my own time. Once I got into this, oh my goodness. Well, that won't take long to finish.
Nice. You can practice talking Japanese phrases on Twitch too. Yeah, I tried to from 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 time to time. Like we were talking about it a bit today, right? Tried to, you know, here and there. If I learn like new things and I'm starting to get feel good, then I will I will for sure practice. Seems to be like a big overlap between FF14 and people wanting to learn Japanese. Say, aren't you Cyber? Master Matoya speaks quite highly of you. I'm sure you, you've more important things to concern yourself with, but I need help, and there's no one else I can turn to. It's my friend, Quinfort. Ever since he started playing Final Fantasy, he keeps complaining about how the MSQ is bad and why he's not getting any eels. Can you have a word with him? Ever since we were young, he's always excelled in the arcane arts. In fact, even now he's in training to become a priest of the Knights Blessed. Perhaps the greatest of his gifts is clairvoyance, but I fear it's taken a toll on his mind as of late. He's always been different, but not like this. He's changed. Frighteningly so. The others think him no stranger than usual, but they're wrong. And I mean to prove it. You don't know him like we do, which is precisely why I'd like you to talk with him, to get an objective opinion on the matter. Assuming... Sorry, I, got, I forgot to sigh. Hold on, sorry. Assuming we find out what ails him, I hope there's a way to cure it. Um, you know what's, uh, you know what's funny? Oh yeah, I was just thinking. How come Am Amarang has these people that are like being sort of like that that sort of be becoming like zombies and that's the only zone to like each zone like the problems that they have seem to be different from the other zones like the which is maybe just for variety right obviously rather than like a law reason it's probably just like otherwise if every zone it was the same problem you know It'd be like Stormblood. No, um, it would, it would, uh, it, just for, I guess, story technique's sake. <laughs> That's foretold by the will of the wood. We meet at last. I've been expecting you, Cyber. <laughs> Shh. No one else must hear of this. Not yet. My dreams are plagued with visions of the future. Calamity is upon us, and each night I witness our impending doom. But hope is not yet lost, for the dreams speak to me of a savior in the form of a great serpent. It was revered as a god in the days of the Ronkin Empire, and I believe it yet lives in the Greatwood, waiting to be roused from slumber. It has many names. Many would call it the Protector, some the Great Destroyer. The will of the wood demands I find this great serpent. It is our only hope of salvation. I have been chosen, Cybert. To be the savior of Slitherbow. So this is where you two have been hiding. Now that you've gotten to know one another, what do you think? Uh, he's kind of crazy. Ah, oh, true. Amarang was hit a bit hard. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's very very true, huh? Very very true. Yeah. I refuse to believe that. There has to be something we can do to help him. Have you not sought counsel with the priests? They are your mentors, after all. Uh, mentors, after all. There's no need to keep your troubles from them. Valen, please. We are in the midst of a most important discussion. When you first began talks of these dreams and delusions, I held my peace. But I won't let you drag anyone else into it. Into this. Such narrow-minded thinking is why only I have been chosen by the word, by the great serpent. Yes, Quinfort, whatever you say. You've mocked me for the last time, Valen. I will summon the Great Serpent this very day and prove to you the truth of my visions. Quinfort, wait, where are you going? I think to summon the Great Serpent. To meet with misfortune would likely bring him to his senses, but he's my friend and I can't stand the thought of him getting hurt out there. Will you help me look for him? If anything should happen to him, I'll never forgive myself.
Consider the British shipping prisoners to Australia. What? We didn't. That would... We wouldn't. That's... That's actually such a crazy... Like, that's actually kind of... Why, why did we do that? Does anyone have the lore on why the hell... Like, why did we do that? Oh, is it because we wanted Australia, right? Like, we wanted to call it... Because, like, we didn't just ship them there and go, oh, forget about it. Like, we shipped them there and went, like, we're in control of Australia. Like, Australia is ours. We need a work... Like, we just needed a workforce, right? Like, we needed people in Australia, right? Because why... That's such an incredible expense. Like, ships were not cheap back then. So you're using all these ships, potentially some of them are going to sink, going all the way to Australia. And what way did they even sail? Did they sail... Did they sail around South... Uh, South Africa? And then, like, a, like, how did they even get... Bro... What's the law dump, man? I understood they were convict. I, I get that, but I'm just saying, like, why not? Why would you do that? Part of the spice trade, maybe? I mean, like, maybe? Probably around, probably around Africa, southern tip of South America. The torch. Yeah, South America is dangerous, but I don't know what's closer. It's obviously a world map doesn't give you perspective and proportion, right? It just gives you where everything is roughly but like that's a long ass trip man like we could have just sent him to France you know what I mean the British government believed that Australia would be an ideal place to send the comics because it was so far away from Britain they also thought that yeah but like why why do we need to get him away from Britain so much that the climate would be a better for, better for their health the first week was a group of 11 ships that set sail from Portsmouth what? More than a... Wait, so between... Okay, so over the course of like 100 years, 160,000 comics were transported to Australia. These about 7,000 arrived in 1833 alone. Wow. Comics were transported as punishment for crimes committed in Britain and Ireland. In Australia, their lives were hard as they helped build the young colony. Okay. Okay. We sawed Central America in half just to avoid going around the bottom. Yeah, we we've created like two channels, right? There's one. There's the Suez Canal, right? Which I believe is man-made. And then there's one in South America, but I don't know where it is in South America. Isn't it around Mexico, roughly? Like Suez Canal is Egypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then you have the Panama Canal. Yeah, yeah. In Panama. That would make sense. I didn't realize the Panama Canal was that, though. But we just chopped through the land, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, I was right. Yeah, Panama's near, near-ish to Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, as in it's the top of South America. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Because of the American Revolution War, they used Australia's relief. Oh, okay. Ooh. Thunder, thank you, Chief. How was your raid today, my friend? Hopefully it was all good. We're just, uh, we're going through a lot of stuff today, but mainly, mainly MSQ, but also other things, apparently. Uh, New Zealand was fun too. They needed to get rid of people, but nobody wanted to move. So they lied to everyone and said that there were pre-built cities in New Zealand. Then they dumped all the settlers in an untamed wilderness and left. That's pretty fucked up, bro. Yeah, because, like, there were no pictures back then, bro. You Like, you just... Dude, imagine living in a time like that, where, they're, like, you just be like... They just be like, yeah, this country's sick, man. Yeah, it's really good. There's, like, cities. There's, like, there's pubs. Yeah, you can get fish and chips and everything. Yeah, full English. Yeah, it's awesome. You'll love it. You'll love it. You'll love it. And everyone's just like, well, okay, I guess so, if that's what they say. And then you just can't come home, so... You, Over there, I think I see him.
our Shadowbringers. Really good. Really liking it. Really, really liking it. Really liking it. Like, each zone has been really giving me some good... Some good content. Some good... Good stuff, you know. Yeah, save the content. Mmm. I'm trying not to rush through it, but I also want answers, you know. Enough, Quinfort. Even you should recognize the danger of wandering off alone in these woods. <laughs> you really have gone mad, haven't you? Mock me all you like, Val Valen. But now you will bear witness to the truth with your own eyes. Behold, the divine protector of Ronka, the great serpent of legend. No, it can't be. It's going to be a tiny one, isn't it? It's going to be a tiny little... Oh, I, th th I thought we were looking at his penis for a second. We kind of, the camera zoomed out. We were kind of like, whoa. That'd be outrageous. That'd be outrageous. Look at this guy. That's the Great Serpent? I see nothing great about that. that uh, what is it exactly? I refuse to believe that it's a serpent. Please tell me you're joking. <laughs> Do not be jealous, Valen. The will of the wood works in mysterious ways, and this serpent is the key to our deliverance. Great Deceiver. Ba, 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 ba. Praise him. Sorry. I feel like there's a... Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, Great Serpent, I beseech you, grant me the strength to defend the knights blessed, to stay the impending calamity that threatens the Great Wood. can't believe this is happening. Look, if you want to keep that thing as a pet, I won't stop you, but we really should return home. No, you're right. To remain here any longer could place a great serpent in danger. But the question is, how do we transport it? I will not stand to see the great serpent debase itself, crawling on its belly like a... like a... a snake? Just pick up the damn thing and let's go! By the abyss, Valen. Show some respect. I should, I should be the one to carry it, but I fear I'm yet unworthy of such a burden. But you, you could protect the Great Serpent from the threats of the Great Wood, be they beasts or sin eaters. Now you mean to drag Master Matoya's guests into your schemes, what will the others think when she walks into Slitherbow, hoisting that thing about? Here, put it in this sack. I will do no such thing. It's clean, dry, and most important, and most importantly, you can bring it in Slitherbow unnoticed. Fine. Listen, Cybert. The fate of the Great Greatwood quite literally rests in your hands. It goes without saying we can't afford any mishaps. I suppose we've no choice but to help him. I'll go ahead and find a place to keep his pet away from prying eyes. Love the snake fills sack to villain and still about. We'll have 150 seconds! Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Go, go, go. Why is this quest still there? Oh, receive the snake for- oh, okay. Alright, go, go, go. Look up Tsu Tsuchinoko. What is that? Is it the real Great Serpent? Sure, I must like to do some- yes, of course, of course, Linda. Of course, of course. Have a good day, my friend. Um, what did I admit that I'm missing? So there's somebody in chat I was going to say. No, someone typed to me. Oh, it was in YouTube. What do you say? Thank you, Destiny. Thank you. Do I 
know what tanky means? What is weather? Isn't weather or rain or something close to that? Where am I going with this sack? Quickly. Quickly. Oh god, is it in here? Go, go, go. Here is your worm, sir. Here should be safe for now, at least. Let's have another look at the Great Serpent, shall we? Scree. So, Tsuchinoko. Oh. Dude, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Are these real things, man? They're just fat snakes. Good work, you two. Oh, can you believe it? The divine pro protector of the Greatwood, uh, Greatwood, here in Slitherbow. Did a sack of burlap did the champion carry the divine beast? Beneath the slithering boughs of the Great Wood did they find shelter. Chapter 31, verse 5 in the Gospel of Quintfort. Pay no mind. He's merely referring to his dream diary. For the last time, it is not a diary. Have you forgotten how the Gospel foretold the events of that fateful day two years ago? How can I when you remind me of it every day? You continue to doubt me, but soon you'll see. Together, the Great Serpent and I will save this village and all of the Great Wood from oblivion. Ah, oh, good weather, isn't it? Damn, I knew it! I knew you were talking about weather. Man, maybe I am good at Japanese. I know what Destiny is, what was like, like, do you, like, it's like, like, to agree, I think it's like, ag agreeing? Like, so Destiny is like, I agree. Damn. Man, I'm learning. Scree! Scree! What have we gotten ourselves into? This man loves his hot snake. Okay. I don't know. Am I going to continue this? Guys, am I continuing this quest line? I thought it was going to conclude after that, but it's like... I'm like, hmm. Go for it. All right, I'll check it out. I hope you've satisfied satisfied now that your new pet is safe here in Slitherbow. Scree, scree. And thank you, Cyber. I now understand what's been troubling my friend all this time. I feared this might strain our friendship, but I don't believe this is something we can overcome. Take care and may the shadows keep you. Wait. I imagine the beast tribe dailies are like growing this thing and making it bigger and bigger and bigger. Please, Quintfort, there's no need to involve her in this any longer. Be giving thought to the great serpent's chosen form, and I think I now understand why it chose to present itself to us th in this way. Look closely at the pattern of its scales. I believe they represent the network of currents by which Aether flows through Raktika, the very life force of the Great Wood. And there, the scar that intersects them there on its belly, it's an omen of the coming calamity that would disrupt the flow of life in the Great Wood. Quinfort, stop! It's just a scratch, probably from a rock as it slithered, or rolled, or did whatever it does to make its way through the forest. All these signs and still here refuses to see, like all the others. If the Great Wood is to be saved, it's up to us. You can only assume you remain at my side in the hopes of receiving some generous compensation. That's what it takes. So be it. The scar on the Great Serpent's belly calls to mind lots of Lozatl's conquest. That is where you will find the source of this ill omen. Bring it to me and you will have the reward you seek. Yeah, what up, Pyro? Uh, Sparrow Dune's Shadowbringers? Yes, I'm like roughly halfway-ish through. I've, I've, I know Lahi. I know Lahi. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a sick expansion. 
I should remind you that he's still an, only an apprentice. I wouldn't expect much, if anything, for your troubles. This is what happens when you spend too much time around interesting individuals. Still, I can't deny that life would be boring without him. <laughs> Alright, we're going, dude. We're going. It seems like Shadowbringers is the expansion that really, like, gets people going, man. Like, that's the point where everyone's like... Like, ARR, people are a bit like, yo, that's cool that you're playing. Hopefully you're going to stick it out. Heaven's Ward is like... Heaven, Heaven's Ward, I think people don't care about as much. Same with Stormblood. But then you get into Shadowbringers, and then everyone's just like, oh, yes. This is it, man. I guess because as well, like, a lot of Sprouts don't make it this far. So when people do, you're like, oh, I know what you've been through. It was probably the, does this streamer get it or not expansion? Yeah. Like, as in the, the like, do they understand, like the, like, the story? Do they get what it's building up to kind of thing, you mean? Or, like, do they get the game? The stream bust through Heaven's Ward and hated it. A lot of viewers would leave. Hmm. Yeah. I think, I just think that's for me why, like, I'm not trying to play for the, the vamps, you know? Like, I love the fact that I get a mosquito vampire. I love it. I love it. It's awesome. But, like, I would never, like, specifically tailor for them because you don't, like, you don't want to stress about whether or not other, like, how other people feel about how you feel. You want to just feel the way that you feel and people either like it or don't, you know? So, you want to, like, a stress-free, you know, Shogunite. You should, you survey your surroundings, but find nothing out of the ordinary. Street for yourself? Yeah, like, to a degree, yes. Like, you obviously want to make things, like, entertaining and stuff for people and, and stuff like that. But, like, you should for sure, like, feel comfortable when you're streaming, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, relive our emotions from your reactions, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th there is definitely a pressure as a streamer to, like, sort of react. You know, you do, you are aware, like, ooh, I probably, you know. I always get really nervous with the with the moments where everyone's like, oh, sorry, this bit. Like, oh, it's about, you know, it's, it's happening. I always get really nervous because I'm like, I hope I have a good reaction here. Like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I hope whatever it is. I feel like I've had the worst reactions to shit. Like, shit happens, and I'm like telling a shit joke I'm laughing about something Ugh, yeah you cry already you haven't yet the stream look we'll see what happens with this snaky boy okay if he dies maybe that'll be the final blow that'll be the one that gets me did my headphones just cut Bro, what happened? My headphones just completely cut out. That was weird. Oh, that must be a teleport bug or some shit, right? Because it looked like my game sound cut as well. Oop, not you guys. I don't want you guys. I need to alienate them, but I need to overly... Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I would never want to alienate anyone. Like, I would never purposely try to alienate anyone. No, of course not. Of course not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course not. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm saying, like, I, I love I love people coming in. Love people coming in. Come, Cybear, show me what you found. Hmm, could it be a charm of some sort? It's exactly where you said it'd be. And that means your visions were... were... Now, do you believe in the Great Serpent? Fine, fine, the Great Serpent is real. More importantly, that charm seems familiar. I think I've seen the children use them for their incantations. Yes, I'm sure of it. My father once found one while hunting in the woods. If memory serves, it can be used to invoke powerful fire spells after absorbing enough aether. By the abyss, if they plan to use them to siphon the Great Wood's life force, my vision will at last come to pass. Ha 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 ha. Why are you laughing? Don't you realize how serious this is? That flow of aether you were talking about converges here at Slitherbow, doesn't it? It's why we have that large aether right outside. If the flow is disrupted, our crops could wither. The land would be rendered barren. Animals would die. It would mean the end of our village and all of Raktika would likely follow. Oh, 
O oh, great one, I beseech you once more, grant us the strength and the wisdom to avert this terrible crisis. Scree, scree, scree. <laughs> Worked on crafters and gathered? No, not yet. That's probably more of like an endgame thing for me, I think. Seeing them like this makes the whole thing seem like nonsense, but there's no denying Quinfort has been right about uh, what would happen thus far. We have to figure out what the children are up to before it's too late. I've been trying to like pace out a lot of the content in the sense of like, if I'm doing multiple jobs with multiple job quests and MSQ across multiple expansions and then doing crafting as well, and that also has quests, it's just like a lot, you know? It's a, lo a lot. Hmm. The will of the wood would see us bring Slitherbow and all of Raktika back from the brink. Oh, great serpent, show us the way. Show us how we might deliver our people from certain destruction. Uh, Cake, uh, hold on. Uh, you might be behind on the pod. Scree! Shh, if anyone sees that thing, they're going to kick it out of the village. Then where would we be? Be a precious little time to concern ourselves with the others. What's more, the great serpent has blessed us with another sign of what's to come. What is it this time? You hold the scales of its belly and you will see the scar that marked Lozazol's Loz conquest has vanished. However, a new scar has appeared closer to its tail. The children would threaten another sign of great power. And judging by the shape of the scar, I've no doubt it is near Dyer's Wash. They must be stopped. Agreed, though I fear only one of us is actually up to the task. Are you certain about that scar? I didn't see anything of the sort on its tail. At any rate, I think it'd be best for the uh, for the best if you went to investigate. We've already found proof that the children are up to something. It'd be foolish not to press further. Perhaps the will of the wood will give us another sign while you're away. I don't know. Why am I giving myself more chores here? Why am I... Is it because there's a little tiny snake? YouTube tends to be behind? Yeah, I think YouTube's a bit behind, yeah. Don't forget about leveling other roles too. I've leveled healer a smidge. I've got like a level 60 astrologian. I'm going to play a tank as well. Like I'm gonna play a tank, I'm gonna play a healer. I'm just kind of focusing on my melee. Like I really want samurai and monk present. I wanna do most of my savage content on them to begin with, all that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of like looking at being a melee guy. So I wanna focus heavily on my melee and then try and do tanking and healing as like an additive thing. Watching a man punch in through a chair in reaction to the end of ARR was not what I expected. That seems a bit aggressive. They punched and threw a chair. That sounds a little bit intense. I don't know, Snacky, maybe. I can look into that. Fool, you cannot stop us. Stop us. Oh, they're little spiders, man. Yo, why is this kangaroo getting involved? What the hell, bro? Respect the 2v1. Oh, you type, but it doesn't pop up. Probably just your internet. Ah, oh, KK. KK cats. Yeah, it might be a little internet thing. Hold up, so what's this? Bro, there's no... I don't believe it. Uh, there's no way this is going to be a real reaction. Surely not. Surely not. Hold on. Poison. Poison in her wine? You! You did this!
Spare us your denials. I see no other suspects, and the room has but the one entrance. Okay. I hereby accuse you of a right. What what chair is that? Hold on. It's a gamer chair. Ah, oh, I can't tell the brand, bro. I can't tell what brand it is. That that is uncool. You had you had me you had me thinking that this guy was like, what? Nanamo, no! Gah! And then just like bah, 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 and then just like throws it. Like I'm thinking he's You baited me. You baited me. You actually I can't believe I got actually like YouTube baited there by my own chat, man. Unbelievable. <sighs> She's defeated our spiders. Let us away. There is still work to be done. Children of the Everlasting Dark have escaped into the woods. Give chase that you might learn more of their schemes. They got, they got pretty far pretty fast, man. Surprised he threw it with as many expensive figures is it behind there. Yeah, it was it was a careful throw, wasn't it? It's kind of like a. Ooh. Could be getting baited with fart videos, like okay, mage. Yep. I've seen some of those. I think I was there for one like a few, probably like two months ago. And it was like a really in-depth fart one. It was like a whole YouTube video. It was like 30 seconds. It's like... Some machinima shit. Yeah. You guys' reaction to Joe Cat Crab Guys was great. He was taking notes. You need notes to, to follow Joe Cat, dude. You need notes. Are you kidding me? I have to watch Joe Cat in 0.5 speed. I actually got a compliment from Joe Cat one time. They commented on my reaction video and said, I think it was like a monk guide or something like that, like a melee guide or something. And they commented and said, you're the first person to understand what I'm saying. When he does like a little like rap thing. So that was, that was big. The peas, the peas. The peas. Yeah, we were speaking about Joe Cat the other day. That made me angry. It made me angry and like disappointed, but I hope like one day he can come back and no one will even No one will even remember. Find a scroll detailing the plans to cleanse the forest. Ooh. Like, the thing with the internet is, like, people forget shit real quick. Hey, Team Billy's win. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Your return, though that is no surprise. I entreated the gods of your protection with a hymn from the Gospel of Quinfort. They would not, could not deny my plea. Scree, scree, scree! Shadows give me strength. Cyber, were you able to find anything? Oh, she's like, shadows give me strength. A coordinated strike to cut off all flows of Aether to Slitherbow. Slitherbow. Beggars believe that they could love the forest so, yet be so blind to its needs. We need no further proof of what the children are up to. We have to tell the others. Defend the sites they mean to befoul and destroy those magic containers. Explaining how he, we came to know all this will prove difficult, of course, but I'll not see all your hard work wasted. We must always give thanks to the great serpent who first sensed the children's ill intent. 
the divine protector who thought us worthy vessels to carry out its work. My heart swells to know the will of the world at wood smiles upon us so. Thanks for that, friend. Your pet, I mean. The great serpent. It's gone. It was here just a moment ago. We should go look for it. No, my friend. The great serpent has, has fulfilled its duty in protecting the great wood. And so it returns to slumber. Is that so? Perhaps it really was the great serpent. If you truly mean that, Valen, then perhaps you are ready to learn the truth of its origins. And I would start from the very beginning. It begins with the sizable crystal in Lake Tusi Mekta. We know that is fruit of the protector. If the legends are true, it dates back to a time preceding the Empire of Ronka. There he goes. I suspect I'll be getting an earful for the rest of the day. But I think our work here is finally done. I wish there was some way I could repay you for all your help. Though I should probably go while he's still swept up in his lectures. Take care, Cyber. Hopefully we'll meet again soon. Cool. I, I must be enjoying this expansion because I've just gone and voluntarily done some chores, Andrew. Though this is largely an assumption based on my visions noted in Chapter 2, Verse 17 in the Gospel of... Come back here, Valen. I still have to tell you about the serpent's influence on the founding of Ronka. Bosh. Sick. This part of this quest line happens later. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I just wanted to see it like conclude. I was like, yeah, let's let's check it out. Um, but that's cool. We can continue on with the MSQ now. So what are you guys saying? Uh, you said Joe still plays at least people have signed him. Cool, that's nice. He does not make a protocol runs before he quit. That's good. Other content creators have done so much worse, and Joe's the one who gets the BS. Just the luck of the draw, I think. Like, it's just how it goes. As a content creator, it's like, it's, uh... I've never been in a situation to get hate the way that, apparently, uh, Joe Cat got hate. But, like... You gotta be careful, man. People will dox you. People will spread rumors and shit. People will... People will just go after you, man. They'll just hand, They'll try and find any dirt on you and just crucify you, dude. Because that's what they... Because they, that's what they want to do. They don't like seeing people happy. They don't like seeing people doing well. And, uh, and that's that. I think if I ever got caught up in any drama like that where someone was, like, coming after me, I'd just tell them to fuck off and I'd just, like, ignore it. Like, no matter what, no matter what it was, just be like, nah, fuck it. Because that's, like, that's, I think, probably, honestly, just the best way. Just ignore shit. You know? Oh, I just realized my camera's all... Oh, yeah, since that YouTube bit. Uh, right, let me go tinkle. People are just awful. Yep. Uh, but I hope, I hope Joe Cat comes back. I'm sure they will one day. I'm sure they will. Right, let me go tinkle.
Geek. The Manosphere. Men, 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 men. Yeah, men. Let's drink a beer and high five. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I don't think it's even like a Western thing. I'll be honest, like, I think this is a thing that gets like twisted where people think that like the rest of the world is so much better. And it's like, uh, there's a lot of countries you can go to and if you even say shit, you'll be put in jail or killed. So it's like, I think the West is actually pretty decent when you look at it in the grand scheme. But like, there's definitely some, yeah. There's some clown shit going on. I mean... Like, yeah, attacking people for being, like, gay and stuff is just, like, obviously outrageous. But, like, you know, it can be just as bad, if not worse, in other other locations. It's not like, it's not like America and Europe and stuff are, like, are, like, the worst, you know? Don't use social media? Yeah, I mean, I have to use social media for, like, my job, and I hate it. Because I see so much shit that's just like, I just don't even want to look at. And I'm like, I don't even know why it's up on my feed. Like, I don't, I'm not even interested in this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, though. It's like crazy stuff. I saw this tweet, like, like, like the most recent thing that I saw that was just like absolutely outrageous. Actually, you know, I'm not even going to get into it because there's no point. We'll just turn the conversation and just be like, it'll get, end up getting, getting weird. But yeah. You just stay in your own lane. That's why, like, I like streaming, because I can kind of just stick to my own thing. But then again, we do end up having a lot of conversations covering this topic. I mean, the thing about, about my stream is, like, I think I have a pretty nice stream, like... I don't care who, like, I don't care about... I don't care about anyone. I don't care about, like, I just care about us having a good time. Like, I'm not here to push, like, an agenda or anything. Like, some streams, that they, they, they also want to push an agenda. I don't have any political agenda. I don't, I don't care what political beliefs you have or religious beliefs or, like, uh, uh, sexual orientation. Like, any shit like that. Like, I don't care. It, it's, it's none of my business and I'm not bothered. You know? Um... So I think I have, like, a nice stream. Because if anyone ever came in and said some shit that was, like, I don't know, super far one of the directions of the political spectrum or super, you know, whatever, I'd just be like, ah, oh, fuck off. Um, so I think I have, like, a pretty good stream. Because I don't really, like, push an agenda. I think a lot of people do these days. But I, like, some streamers are just so political. And, it like, no one cares. Like, no one cares about a streamer's political view. Unless they also feel that same way. But then, like, no one cares. You know? Like, I think daylight savings is bullshit, man. We Give me back my hour or whatever the fuck. And it's like, no one cares, bro. Let's just... <laughs> That's the most intense political viewpoint I could get into. Um... Like, no one cares, bro. Hmm. No, but seriously though, yeah, DST is bullshit. Like, what the hell? We're just making this up, man. Joe, self-reflection. People believe they're in the right and good. Yep, of course they do. Of course, every human thinks that they're right, even when they're toxic. People can be in like a relationship where they're toxic, and then their partner will be like, "Yo, you're pretty toxic," and they're like, "What, what the fuck? No." 
I don't think it needs to be in our country is a worse, better than other situation. People being shit each other, people for nothing is bad regardless. Yeah, I was just trying to make the point that, like, people seem to, like, vilify the West as being, like, really bad. And I'm saying, like, the West is pretty damn good, man, like, when you think about it. I think a lot of people act like, oh, like, it's, like, so terrible trying to express yourself in the West or something. And it's like, uh, have you tried doing that in, like, the Middle East or, like, the East, like, China and Russia and shit? Like... It's, it's a little bit worse than people yelling at you on Twitter. It's like, you'll get killed and shit. So yeah, I actually don't think the West is as bad as people kind of try and make it out to to sound, you know? Sorry, the God told me uh, the God told me you left with Master Matoya to wove an oath. And no sooner do you return than she locks herself away in her chambers without so much as a word. She knows how I worry when she leaves without telling me. But she is safe, and that is all that matters. You must be hungry after such a journey. When I have a seat there by the fire, the stew will soon be ready. Oh, nice, bro. This guy got me a meal. But yeah, I like to think I have a pretty good damn stream, man, when it comes to all that kind of stuff. Like... I don't care about anyone's... Anyone's opinions on anything, honestly. That's good. I think that's good. Wait, you get it? Showing their dirty laundry? Yeah, we like to tweet, man. Sorry, Japanese gay guy talking about being in Japan. He's like, well, in this part of the country, we probably won't be beaten in the street for uh, in the street, so that's not bad. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, the West ain't that bad, man. Comparably to some places. Strange. The others on patrol should have returned by now. Our food will be overcooked if we wait any longer. We will just have to start without them. Would you call Master Matoya and the others? We don't have the technology for that, Snacku. Things could always be better. I these games, Orionje. Why do you pretend you cannot see it? <gasps> the blessing may spare her the fate of becoming a Light Warden. But you cannot be blind to the nascent corruption. She is not as she was in the source. Ooh. Though I have no proof, I fear that the light which poured forth from the wardens was not negated at all. I'm going to become a light br uh, light bringer, light warden. Hell yeah, bro. I fear it was absorbed. That she has been suffused with their light. Okay, I knew we'd like absorbed it, but I didn't know we like are gonna become one. Though I have given thought to this possibility, I dare not speak until more is known. By the time you deign to enlighten us, it may be too late, if it is not already. Mm. Orianger, I know full well, after all these years, that you have only the best of intentions. But that does not make it any easier to put my faith in a man so infatuated with secrecy. I have had my suspicions ever since the Exarch bade you speak that day. But now I must ask. The Eighth Umbral Calamity and all that followed. 
everything you claim to have seen. Did you? Or did he make it up? Help! Someone help! The Umorans are come for us! We're under attack! We didn't even know where the Light Warden is yet. Meanwhile, in Yulmore. Big boy, big boy. Lord Forthree, how good it is to see you. How long has it been? Not since your inauguration, unless I'm mistaken. Too long, at any rate. May I say how humbled I am to be invited not only into your city, but your home. You are as generous as ever. Hmm. What if these guys are working together? And you as disingenuous. I don't think so. Let us dispense with the pleasantries. This merry band of dissidents people are calling warriors of darkness, they have slain Sin Eaters, and by all accounts, the Crystarium is complicit in their villainy. And now I hear reports of your people obstructing my soldiers, so I must ask, what exactly do you think you are doing? I might ask you the same thing. It should be clear, even to you, that defeating the Light Wardens represents the world's only hope of survival. Even now, the people of Lakeland and Ilmeg rejoice in the return of night. For a hundred years, they yearned for a means to fight back against the Sin Eaters, and at last they have found one. Yet you choose to stand idly by and do nothing. Why? Why? Because this hope you cling to is nothing more than a fever dream, an exercise in futility. Even should you slay the Sin Eaters, the world as we know it is beyond salvation. With what little land and resources remain, the people would be free only to starve. They would turn to violence, then to war, and ultimately usher themselves unto oblivion. They require a firm hand to shepherd them from the edge. The hand of a king. Nay, a god. This is their god. I will see their dreams fulfilled. Their wishes granted. I will give them peace, order, and they shall never want for bliss. Men are fickle creatures who entertain vague ideals without the faintest notion what they cost. But a little fear can go a long way towards helping them realize what it is they truly need. Oh, he's got a long little bit of hair. Oh, what a lovely, what a lovely little bit of hair. Sanctuary. And they shall find none in this world save that which I afford them. That is why the Sin Eaters exist. To unite the world under my dominion. I get that, like, these... Sin Eaters are like kind of his allies, but they're like he's using one of them as a bed or a chair or a throne. It's like two co it's like more than just like, oh I'm gonna 
give you, like, I'm gonna sacrifice people to you. So, like, we're cool, right? Like, get it on him. Jesus. Oh, Lord. It's like, it's, it's more than that. He seems like... Uh, hmm. You wouldn't sacrifice people for a co cozy bed? Well, it seems like he's, like, in control of them as well, you know? It doesn't seem like an alliance. It seems more like he's in control of them. But why? A paradise fit to grace the eighth umbral era. Unless he's an Asian. When in doubt, Asian or okay, either he's an Asian or he's Allegan. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Paradise fit to grace the eighth umbral era. What was that? A minor epiphany, nothing more. You have always held sway over those around you. Those who defy you must submit or die. What sits before me is the inevitable result of bloated privilege and unchecked power. But man is more resilient than you think. His achievements are not the product of violence and bloodshed, but compassion and understanding. This calamity is but another crisis to be overcome, and we will, once we eliminate the Sin Eaters. You poor deluded fool. These people care not for the morrow. They care only for the now, and the contentment they lack. What good is a paradise to them if it is a thousand years in the making, or even a hundred? Oh, such a good VA, dude. You underestimate them, Lord Forthry. They see further than you think. I have beheld it in the blood and sweat and tears of those who would sacrifice everything for a future they may never know. That their children may never know. I have this conversation with people in life where, like, I see life as, like, um... I care about preserving things. Like, I have- I I know people where I'll be like, Oh, we should, like, stop the polar bears from dying. And then I have people who's like, fuck it, who cares? Who cares if the, they die? Like, doesn't affect me, who cares? And I'm like, but then your kids won't have polar bears, man. And they're like, fuck it, who cares? I'm like, but on a practical sense, they're probably pretty right, right? Because, like, I've never even seen a polar bear. Apart from in a zoo. But, like, it's like, oh. I kind of look at stuff in that way. Where I'm like, oh, what about the, the world my children inherit? But I've realized not everyone looks at the world like that. Like, some people look at the world and they're like, no, nah, like, once I'm dead, like, don't care. You know? The fact you eventually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the whole idea of, like, oh, who cares, because I'll be dead by then. I've never had that idea. Like, I've never, I've never, I, I don't think like that. But some people, a lot of people do. And I'm not saying they're wrong. I mean, why, who's to say they're wrong, right? But, like, it's just interesting. You know? One sees you. Well, I hopefully won't be caught out by a polar bear anywhere. So they being around those people is a bummer? Nah, not 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 necessarily. Not necessarily. It's just it's just a different view way way of view in the world, right? Um You study permaculture. Hmm. What is permaculture? I mean I can kind of work it out a, a little bit, but like, what exactly are you doing? Looking at maintaining Places and spaces and habitats and things. My grandparents had to fight polar bears when they were going to school as a kid. God damn. Okay. I have. 
beheld it in the hopes and dreams of those who came before, which we bequeath to those who come after, that they might in turn build upon the foundations laid by our forebears. These are the bonds which hold man and his world together, not your gilded chains, and I will resist your every effort to shackle him. In summary, you will continue to support the villains hunting my Sin Eaters? I'm pretty sure it's like mosquitoes and like wasps. It's just like, yeah, they could both go and nobody would care. <laughs> Taking engineering principles and applying it to natural systems. Ah, oh, cool. Self sustaining food production. Ah, oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I know it's his baby boob. What the hell is that about, dude? Why has he got a face on his boob? With tremendous enthusiasm, for I have faith in the future they would build. Oh, why do I even bother? Fools, the lot of you. So naive, so painfully predictable. Did you imagine I did not know your mind? That I would wait until after this meeting to dispatch my forces? Even as we speak, they march to the Sin Eater's defense. Insurrection will not be tolerated. The people of this world are mine to rule, mine to command. Magic. And you are no exception. What the fuck is that? What? How did he? Insolent swine! I will not stand for this. I don't think you stand for anything, bud. Hey, <laughs> we got him. We got him. Good one, me lord. Ah, uh, Ranjit. for the night's blessed? I do. I presume that is your doing. If you'll come to parley, I must insist that you first return him to us. You're in no position to make demands. By Lord Vorsri's decree, Raktika now falls under the governance of Yulmor. You will henceforth answer to us. These guys are bullies, man. I don't like them. Is that so? And the children of the Everlasting Dark have acquiesced to this madness. We have reached an accord, yes. Too many times have the Knights Blessed shunned Yulmore's overtures of friendship. The risk that you harbor hostile intentions has grown too great to ignore. Therefore, his lordship has claimed dominion over this forest and bestowed executive authority upon the children of the Everlasting Dark. Why would they group with them, though? They're, they're literally... The children of the Everlasting Dark are siding with the people that are called, like, that, that are called Light Wardens and Sin Eaters and, like, the ones that are for the light. In his wisdom, 
Lord Vorthry has agreed to recognize ours as the only permissible expression of dark worship. It's one true faith. Yeah, until he then defeats us and then he would kill you. Why do people never see this coming? They never see the, 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 the double cross. You bro. and your false creed are a blight on these woods. A foul, unholy corruption that must be cleansed. Little wonder the warrior of darkness visits both Lakeland and Ilmeg, yet shuns Raktika. Your perverted teachings hold blessed shadow. Oh, bay. buddy, I'm actually here already. You have accepted the yoke of Yulmor to spite us, then. Fools. Darkness will never return to these skies while they hold sway. Those of you minded to obey his lordship are to make for woven oath with all haste. We will leave you, that you may have time to prepare. Woven oath? Are you suggesting we abandon our fate to join those salads? What has your faith afforded you thus far? Nothing! We will guide you along the righteous path. And should we refuse? Anyone found here upon our return will be considered a traitor to you more, and dealt with as such. Appreciate you letting us let us have a chance to think of a plan, bud. I like the Yulmor and Alma. Filthy rats! We will discuss these developments after I have tended to our casualty. Couple cool cutscenes, man. Couple cool cutscenes, and it was on the back of. Uh, they try and distract you in this game. They try and hit you with a uh, with a law reveal, and then they immediately try and distract you. So don't think I forgot about the whole. I'm absorbing all this light and turning into a light warden, bro. Don't think I forgot, and I haven't. I was kicked all this shit off, man. Um. So I'm, I'm assuming we're going to have to try and avoid that somehow with, like, avoid me turning into one. Um, yo, look at this little octopus going go in sicko mode, bro. Look at him go. He's going to go bonkers, man. Oh, I can add an emote. Yeah, sure, let me add that. The Lord? <laughs> sure. How do I add it? Yo, look at him go. He's going nuts. Oh, I need to sign in. That's why. Hold on. Use emote. Boom. Bosh. Any other 7TV emotes I need to add? I can, Snacky. Yes, yeah, sorry. I think you asked me to do one earlier, didn't you? Bam. Bam. Loading. Hold on. Scree wobble. Bro, it's taking forever to. Oh, there it is. Oh, apparently it's already. Apparently it's already in. Apparently I already have it. <sighs> yeah, there you go. Somebody must have added it. I don't know who. Coggers, sure. I still don't understand what the Coggers one is. 
You might have to refresh. Oh, it takes it takes a minute. It takes a minute. Hold on. It takes a minute. Oh wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you might have to. You might have to give it five. You might have to give it five. <laughs> well, maybe I need to add. Hold on. Let me try refreshing this. Okay. Now you can try cogas. Okay. Let me see. Cogas. There you go. Bosh. Bosh. There you go, guys. You got your screen wobbles. I got you. <laughs> now you guys have distracted me from my light water and cooking. Yeah, I think we're going to have to try and prevent us from becoming one. Uh, we got to probably sucker. Be, be sucked up. Probably got to suck suck the life out of us. You know what I mean? The, sorry, the suck the light out of us. Yes. We need the light to be sucked from our very bones. Our very veins. Um, eat some void scent for balance. Ooh. I think that would be good. Uh, because otherwise we're going to become one. Maybe we can use the Aether, Aether, Aether site? What's it called? Aether... Aether site? Aether site, right? Aura site. Aura site. Oh god, yes. Thank god we need that one, drummer. Oh my lord. Guys, if you have any other emotes you want me to add, just let me know. <laughs> okay, let me refresh and then... Oh man, I love that one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> um, see how hot that Sinita Vortria had next to him was? Was that could be you? That could be could be me. Uh, yeah, that's another thing as well with Vortri. Like I've noticed, like I'm starting to look at it, and like it doesn't even seem like he's working with the Sinitas. It seems like he's controlling them. You know, like he's there, like he's like leading them. But that would only make sense. I mean, that would only make sense if he... Okay, either he's Asian and somehow the Asians can control them, or, like, he is a Light Warden, but that wouldn't make sense because he's a person. Like, the Light Wardens are, like... You know what I mean? So... I'm wondering what... I, I need to figure out... I need to find out more what's going on with, like, the disappearing people and stuff like that, and... Um, what if he was really, really rich to bribe them? But, like, I don't know. It depends. I, I don't know. I need to see, like, because they're, like, so docile around him as well, you know? I think something, one of the funniest things uh, which had to bring us came out is we got our new launcher and it was bright white, so everyone patched early morning was instantly blinded. Oh, man. That's hilarious because it's Shadowbringers and they flashbang you. This is actually the most flashbang, uh, this is the most flashbang heavy expansion. What up, Silver Node? How you doing? Hold on. I want to see if this work now. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't work. Wait, why not? Hold on. Hold on. Where is it? Come on, Flashbang. Why don't you work yet? Do you work on my Twitch? You do work on my Twitch. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. But right now, he seems to be, like, in control, like, controlling them and stuff. So either he has something that they want, he's an Asian, or he's a Light Warden. But, I don't know. Because there's flaws with all of those. I'm wondering what he's doing with the people. I think that's gonna be the crux of it. Whatever he's doing with the people, the poor people, that's gonna be what it is. Drug them into my. He's using. He's using the black rose. He's using the black rose, man. Hmm. 
or he's arrogant. The god has been afflicted with the most terrible and uh, efficacious poison. Do you guys know what that word means? And you cannot Google. I understand you will know probably how to use it, but what is the exact meaning? Efficacious. Effective, yes. An effective poison. Who the hell talks like that? Come on, bro. We have attempted all manner of healing incantations. Alas, his condition remains unchanged. At present, we can but slow the poison's advance. I pray it will afford us sufficient time to find a cure. Unfortunate I talk like that. That is unfortunate. No, that was actually a shit word, yeah, because I, I actually, like, I read it, and I was just like, what? And then I, like, obviously knew what it meant, and then I was like, oh, I bet you guys don't know, and then I'm like, wait, okay, actually, that's a really easy guess, right? It, like, literally is in the word. Shut up, don't care. Alright, next time Orange says some cringe shit, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test you guys, okay? That was a bad pop quiz, okay? That was an easy one, okay? Warming you up. How fair is the young god? The poison spread throughout his system long before he was brought here. At present, there is naught we can do but try to ease his pain. Do not blame yourselves, my friends. All that can be done has been done. Even had we reached him sooner, it would have made little difference. The children employ countless poisons. Finding a suitable antidote is a nigh-impossible task. What of the rest of the blessed? How have they taken the news of Yulmor's generous pro proposition? With anger and dismay, I cannot hope to oppose both them and the children. I considered a convocation of all the knights blessed, that we might consider their ultimatum, but I know how they will answer. Master Matoya, I am truly sorry. We will not, cannot, abandon our faith. But there is no reason for you to suffer our decision. Your work here is not yet done. You still have time to flee. Flee. I am not one to run from my troubles. In fact, with Saiba's arrival, I am minded to take the offensive. Your Moran's presence here plainly stems from a desire to protect the Light Warden. I say we seek it out and slay the creature before they return. Yet why are they letting us do this? With darkness to fall over Raktika, they would have no cause to remain. All of which is rather easier said than done. Unless, of course, you finally deciphered that tablet. I have, as a matter of fact, and with it we can prepare everything we need to enter Yixma. May Yixmea. What say you all? We will need to act quickly, but I believe it can be done. We cannot deny our fate, but one course lieth before us. Slay the light water, baby. Where even is it? It's gotta be in uh, Yank, Sh Yank Shmi. Thanks, Shmeya. Is it gonna be a... Okay, it's either gonna be a dungeon or it's gonna be in a trial. Good, I leave the blessed in your capable hands, Runar. Very well. I see there is no changing your mind. By all that is dark, I swear to keep the blessed safe. By all that is holy. According to the tablet, we will first need to obtain a seal used to identify the allies of Ronker in times past. One such seal should be waiting for us in a complex of underwater ruins not far from here. You have some experience with subaquatic excursions, do you not? Then this should prove a simple task for you. The ruins we seek are at the bottom of Lake Tusimekta. While you see to that, Benfilia and I will remain here to help shore up Slitherbow's defenses. Your aid would be greatly appreciated. The light one is a feral druid. Oh, imagine. Rawr. Meow. Imagine, dude. Don't, because I'll get excited. I mean, if there was going to be a feral druid, this would be one of the zones to put it. Playing an AR uh, job quest right now, and it had the same freaking BGM. 
Spooky, spooky. It's very about from the time where they went boomkin form to do their burst. No! At least, uh, do, have you seen Snuggles in the new expansion? We're gonna have to, to go fucking bear form to do our burst, bro. No, not, not, not quite the truth, but still. There you are, ready for a swim. The seal we seek should be stored in a chamber somewhere inside the ruins beneath the lake. However, the entrance is seemingly protected by a subtle locking mechanism, rooted in the symbolism of Ronkin culture. The Ronkin sought to live in harmony with nature, and considered certain animals to be sacred. Foremost in their pantheon was the snake, portrayed as the protector, protector of the wood, and the arbiter of life and death. Below it were four others, each equal in rank. Quell, Koal, the Calibri, the Oppo Oppo, and the Wolf. Characterizes the bringers of liberty, words, enlightenment, and harmony, respectively. To open the chamber containing the seal, the tablet states one must pay due deference to three of these beasts by placing one's palm on monuments wrought in their image, and that this must be done in a specific sequence. If my interpretation is correct, the order can be discerned from the three commandments which follow. Give praise unto the snake, by its strength do our lands prosper. Be as, as the oppo oppo rival thy kin, as all parts seek betterment, so too does the whole. And be as the wolf, move as one, peace comes to all who seek harmony with their kin. But it just told me to be better than my kin. The tablet says not of the placement, size or appearance of the monuments, alas. Hopefully all will become clear when you reach the bottom of the lake. Go safely. Clearly intended for Guardian? Yeah, it's, it's for Guardian during raids so that they can go feral and still DPS when they're off tanking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I was just, you know, funny to meme. <laughs> <laughs> Snake, Oppo, and Wolf. Yes. Oh, here we are. Hello. Oh, Snake. Find a statue of a snake. Yes. You said something stir elsewhere in the lake. Oh, we're gonna summon a giant goddamn monster. I can feel it, bro. Oh, bro. You're trying to catch me out, game. You're trying to. You think I'm stupid. Find a statue of the Napo Oppo. Yes. You said something stir elsewhere in the lake. So this whole thing is underwater. Why is everything underwater, man? All these cities just underwater. It must be, must be raining. Wait, what? That's a dead body. Oh, snack. Oh, snacky. Do you need a res? I thought you meant there was like an MSQ mob, like someone's there, and I'm supposed to go and click them for extra law. Oh man. Lahi, dee 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 dee. Lahi, dee 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 dee. Wait, no, 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 no. Let me back. Wolf. There's potential extra lore and you instinctively avoided it. I'm proud of you. Wait, shit. Was there? Shit. You find a statue of a wolf. I'm going back, man. Once more, you send something sterile elsewhere in the lake. Perhaps the chamber containing the seal is open. I'm going back. I want my lore. I saw Snuggle. Sorry, I... Sometimes... I, you guys just blend in with the environment. Oh, it was just like okay. Sometimes you just, well, like I saw you, but I just like I just, you know. 
you just weren't worthy of my attention, you know? That was it. That's all it is. It's nothing personal, but just like, do better. Yeah, you should have given me a pop quiz. Door opens to reveal a pedestal upon which rests a medallion. You take it and secure it inside your clothing. Thank you. Tell I play a name. <laughs> Cool, bro. Running on the shade. Oh man. I didn't know it dismounts you. Oh no. That was crazy. I like ran on. Wait, I ran on top of the wolf, dude. Did you see that? What the hell even was that? Yeah, look. Did like a little circus trick. Yeah, he did. Alright, lady, what do you got for me? Did you find it? This medallion bears the owl insignia of the Empire. There could be no doubt. This is the seal of Ronka. Well done, Cybert. We can bring our preparations to enter Yix Mea in earnest. Into the wood. Bearing the seal, it should be possible to enter Ixmea unmolested by its guardians. Oh, well, that's nice. I will go ahead to Slitherbow uh, bow, and inform the others. When you have recovered from your exertions, meet us. Uh, meet with us in the cavern leading east of the village. How to enter... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my lord. Okay, this is it, man. The wild peat. Oh, the wild, the wild feet. The wild peat. time. It's pee, pee time, then we go. Oh. Look at this beautiful view. Quick pee pee.
one out of the anxiety music. Shit. What's going to happen? Okay. Good, you're here. You're not know, open the gate for us, but moments ago. Beyond lies the Ixmaya, and presumably the Light Warden. It did not take long for the woods protectors to find me when I last came here, and I expect them to fall upon us just as quickly this time. Though we carry the seal, that is no reason for us to let down our guard. Now, let us seek out the warden and put an end to this ra its reign over the woods. <gasps> This zone was... Was this zone pretty quick, question mark? Like, I feel like the previous zone we did was quite long in comparison. But we still have tons more Light Wardens. I feel like we've only we've only killed one so far. No, 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 we've killed two. We didn't kill the one in Emerang. We killed... Oh, no, we did the one in the dungeon. We did one in the dungeon, and then we did the one in the zone. But where was that dungeon? What zone was that in? I can't remember. Um, hmm. The dungeon was Lakeland. There. Oh, so we did kill the light one in there. Oh, okay. that theory um so we have this one in emerang i think left Ooh, these are lovely flowers Acted. Let the rebels begin! It would seem we have found them. Nice, yes. Ooh, bunny girls. You trespass upon sacred ground. Be gone! spin stop we mean you no harm sister is that Yeah, Orange's like, well, I mean, I guess you sure didn't take any damage. We are allies of the Empire of Ronka. As is customary, we come bearing the seal of the Emperor. Hmm. <laughs> <gasps> it appears to be genuine. Then perhaps there is yet hope. Perhaps. We acknowledge your seal, but we must be certain of its authenticity. Okay, I thought we finished the zone. Nope. We're, we, we're the starting the zone. Follow the assured flowers to our village. There we will judge if you are friend or foe. Try not to stray from the path. All right? Follow the flowers. Would it kill them to escort us? But if it affords us an opportunity to investigate Ixmaya, fine. 
Yeah, but there's tons of zones where you finish, like, you finish them in the MSQ and they're still undiscovered, and then you come back to them in patch content, you know? So there's, like, a, a regular... Regular thing. It's normal for Psy. Yeah. I, hey, I get my I get my flying. I get my Aether Currents. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Speaking of... Hold on. Hold on. There's a little blighter. You don't wait? Yeah, but you're playing the game on release. That's not fair. Buddy. Oh, this guy's got my hairline. Wait, no. That isn't my hairline. Yep, look at the look at that gamer man. Look at that look at that gamer gaming. I max out fates before I continue MSQ. What does that even mean? I can't wait to do Dawn Trail when it's like on release and I do every quest and I explore all the zones, I get my fly in. It's like a nuts. Means they're sick, but not the good kind of sick, like the, the unstable kind of sick, right? Not the like, yo, that's sick, man, that's cool. It's like the, I'm worried about you. Yeah, okay. I would have the seal that we may continue it, uh, confirm its authenticity. Straight to the point, I see. Very well. Hmm. There is no mistake in the crest of the royal family. It is of proper size, and by its weight it is plain it was made from gold. The seal is indeed genuine. For 3,000 years we have waited for this moment, and now you are finally here. I bid you welcome, allies of Ronka. I am Almet, chieftain chieftainess of Fano. I didn't know that was actually a word. Chieftainess. I didn't know that was a word. Umit, her younger sister. Simit, a pleasure. We were beginning to lose hope that you would come. I beg your pardon? These are troubled times for my people. Though I can but imagine what has compelled you to venture into our woods. You must be tired after your journey. Come, take your ease. If you'd like, I will show you about the village. Though I must warn you, it is a long way down to the forest floor, so do watch your step. I'll jump, lady. Don't test me. Don't think that I won't. I've done it before. I'll do it again. This way, um, what is your name? Don't say Cyber Kawhi, I swear to God. Cyber, and this is a common name nowadays. How times change. Well, I'm a tw I mean, the thing is, I'm a Twitch streamer, so the name, it gets around. People name their kids after me. Don't worry about it. But I digress. Come and be sure to watch your step. Do you think anybody's named their kid after a streamer? I guess if they were Mexican and uh, they could call their kid Speed Gonzales. The Asmund Gold man. Imagine naming your kid. Naming your kid Asmund. Asmund Gold. I mean, Asmund actually is not a bad name. I like the name Asmund. But it's kind of like Osmond.
Osmo 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 Osmosis Jones. Should have a kid and call him KSI. Hell yeah. Dude, didn't KSI get? Uh, you know what? Actually, it's probably not appropriate to talk about on stream. As bearers of the seal, you have a right to know what became of the empire and my people's purpose here. We are descendants of the palace guard which served under the last emperor. To this day, we carry on the duty of our forebears, the final decree of his eminence before Ronka's fall. By the wisdom of our people, was Ronka made... <sighs> By the wisdom of our people, was Ronka made to thrive. Such knowledge must never be forgotten, and may be suffered to fall into the hands of the wicked. Ah, Descent of the Past Guard. And they are still protecting something. Carry on the duty for our forebears. But the wisdom of our people is wrong and made to thrive. Such knowledge must never be forgotten. Or may it be suffered to fall into the hands of the wicked. Keep it safe, keep it safe. Uh, keep it secret, keep it safe. And look to the coming of our allies. Unto them you shall bequeath our all. And thus will Ronka live on. By his command, we have remained in the Raktika Greatwood, guardians of Ronka, uh, Ronka's ruins, and the wisdom held within. Uh, okay, my theory is that the uh, Emperor... Emperor? Emperor. Was uh, an Asian, and... No, the Asians don't want this. This is bad. He was not an Asian. Never mind. By his command, we have remained in the Raktika Greatwood, guardians of Ronka's ruins, and the wisdom held within. I hope thou would not think the question imper impertinent, but did thy people's famed longevity perchance play a part in the Emperor's decision to entrust this mission unto thee and thine? What? That was one reason, yes. We Viz would easily live to see three of your eleven lifetimes. What? Are they trying... Wait, what? We were also the fierce... Oh, three of your elven. <laughs> Math, bro. I was like, three of your eleven? That doesn't even make any sense. We were also the fiercest fighters. I mean, I suppose if I was a cat, then it would be three of my nine lives, perhaps. Uh, we were also the fiercest fighters. There are none more fit than us to stand watch over the remains of Ronka. <sighs> but our duty has grown ever more perilous in the wake of the flood. Settlements such as this one were plentiful before the light claimed dominion over the land, but now, Fano is all that remains. Our numbers dwindled year, uh, dwindle year by year. Before long, there will be no one left to honor the Emperor's wish. Do you believe we are the allies of whom you have, uh, uh, have waited? You have the seal, do you not? After three millennia of waiting, that alone is nothing short of a miracle. Truth be told, I'd begun to think you would never come. Sister. We are glad of your presence here in the Great Wood. The wisdom of Ronka is yours, should you wish it. You need only ask. Oh, that's nice. We don't even have to do... They, they're not even saying, hey, do some chores for us first. They're like, nah, man, you've done enough chores. We got you. I was in like 100 to 120, a bit longer than humans. Okay. So they'll live like 300 years, yeah? You come in such with the light warden. My apologies, but I do not know where it makes its lair. You met. Do you recall any sightings of this creature? Hmm. Not these past 30 summers. 30? But that would mean. How old are you exactly? Oh, uh, well, conveniently, I am. A hundred years. I'm a hundred year old trapped in a. 18 year old's body, so it's okay. Young enough to remember. With age comes knowledge. There may yet be one among us who has seen or heard of the abomination you seek. We have leave to speak with the other V's then. But of course. Then we should split up and inquire individually. If someone knows something, I would hear it while there is yet time to act. Man wants to learn Japanese. You put 
His man wants to learn Japanese, but he struggles to read English. You didn't put this man. Boom. Everything you've said is now void. Hello, Snaku. I'm glad you survived the, the great... The, I'm glad you survived the flood. Though this was perhaps a different flood. Snaku, what would you do if I pushed you off here right now? What would you do? What would, what would be your response? I die, I guess. Fair. Yeah, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Oh, it's you. <laughs> that was a funny card. You said Asman is too close to Assman, which would mean bullying in school. I don't think you get bully bully for being an ass man. It was not my intention to pry, but I'll, uh, your voices carry far. I know what it is you would ask of me. Unfortunately, the answer is no. I have not seen the light warden. I patrol the ruins perimeter regularly. And if it were hiding nearby, I would know about it. Okay. Oh, these guys are efficient. They waste no time. This way. Into the aetherite. I got this, man. said for being an ass man an ass man if your name was ass man yeah that's like a shitty superhero yeah exactly many that is exactly it I'm doing it so like anyone can come and hang you know when we're doing stuff dungeons and whatnot the light water no I've not seen it but I've witnessed the horrors of the lesser eaters they are wont to hunt in packs and carry off their victims rather than consuming them on the spot. I suspect the warden is... Okay, I don't think they're eating them. I think they're, they're doing something with them. I suspect the warden is a grotesque, corpulent thing, waiting patiently for its minions to bring its next meal. Oh, okay. Maybe they're feeding up the light wardens. Okay, maybe it's just that. Can I jump? Nah, come on, bro. Then they will be a death sentence for OCE and waste all their hardware. Um, yeah, there could be some issues. There could be some issues. Like, it's really cool that we can do this, but also I'm aware that like there are going to be some issues that might not creep up immediately, but with long term. You know. An outsider? But how? By the gods, allies of the Empire. My sincerest apologies for failing to note your arrival. There's the warden who wished to know about uh, you wish to know about, yes? My mother, may she rest in peace, told me once its appearance in these woods. Before settling here in Fano, she lived in a village near Raktika Falls until it was destroyed by the Sin Eaters. While out on patrol one day, she spotted a swarm of, of the abominations, one of which was different from the rest. It was larger for one thing. What struck her was the way its fellows seemed to revere it. She was convinced that she had seen uh, what she had seen was the Light Warden. Exchange with Koril? I thought you something about the Light Warden's possible rare whereabouts. You get sent back to Limsa? Yeah, I would have gotten sent back and I wouldn't have even had the eighth right. Had thou fallen. Ooh, down here. Oh, this is a confusing, uh, confusing town. You search for the Light Warden. I cannot say I've ever laid eyes on it. Our duty is to protect the ruins, nothing more. We have no need to strike out in such of such, such a foe. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, y you have to be careful with those kinds of things, because, like, I think it's awesome that we can do it, but I also know that, like, long term, would it be good? I don't know. Like, it has pros and cons, so that's it, right? So I can focus on the pros and go, oh, it's really cool, but it's also going to have cons. Like, when we were watching that Lomitod video yesterday, and I was like, oh, some of this is good, but like, oh, some of these kind of like, wow, these like, wow desires could potentially backfire, you know? I pray the others were able to provide what I could not.
near Ragtika Falls. Why was I not told of this? I think I see now why it has never been spotted on our patrols. I've never heard of this Ragtika Falls. I can but assume it lies deep beneath the woods of Yix Ma uh, Mayor. Just so, but the tunnel which leads there collapsed after a rather bloody battle with the Eaters and has not been passable for many years. We made several attempts to clear away the rubble, but each time we were driven back. In the end, we were forced to give up, it, uh, give it up as lost. Ah, so they're protecting it, thereby making it a suitable place for the warden to take sanctuary. There is perhaps one way to enter. It would be a great peril to you and your companions. The Katana Rabble, a temple to the northeast, has been sealed for centuries, but within it is a path that leads to the falls. Can it be opened? For the allies of Ronka, it can. First, we must go to the Kimmel uh, Astropolis. Once the flow of magic is restored there, the path through the Katana Ravel can be opened. This may sound a simple task, but there are certain obstacles which prevent us from attending it, uh, to it ourselves, and we know not how to overcome them. The Emperor never granted our forebears leave to look upon the secrets that we are charged with protecting, that we might not be tempted. Um, the means to do so were withheld from us. We can but show you the way. The rest will be up to you. Okay. We see we have our work cut out for us then, shall we? We've no time to waste. Let's we'll be about it then. If that is your wish, it is my duty to escort you. While we attend to the matters at the Kimul Astropolis, I would ask that your sister assistance accompany Orange and Thancred and share with them all they can of these woods. While we have every intention of investigating Rectica Falls, it is yet possible the light water dwells elsewhere. With that in mind, it would behoove us to prepare an alternative course of action. Umet, Simet, I leave them to you. Yes, sister. Should you, our present course prove false, Doubt not, but that Thancred and I shall find any and all possible paths forward. This is my first time in RuneScape, where all the worlds are freely traversed, but that is actually the benefit. Uh, what is actually the benefit to server identity as opposed to freely traveling and communicating and PFing between them? So, what's happened in World of Warcraft is back in the day when servers were locked, you didn't have phasing, you didn't have sharding, the players that were on your server were on your server, you didn't have cross-server grouping for dungeons and raid content and stuff, right? What happened is that the social structure was better, where... Okay, better is probably perhaps subjective, but it was in a, in a way that... You recognize people, you knew people, you would see, you know, you had the server enchanter, you had the server leather worker, like, you had, like, people that you would recognize, there were people that, you you know, that one guy who's farming this one dungeon, like, a bunch, and, like, is always there doing that, and you just get to know them. Um, you could be level 15, and you could do a quest, and someone's nearby, and you group up with each other and do that quest. And then you go, and then you both go your separate ways. You go, okay, cool, like, see ya, thanks for the help with the quest. And then maybe in, like, seven levels time, you know, four days has gone past. You're seven levels higher. You're out in a zone, and that same person's there, and you see him, and you're like, oh, my God, it's them again. Ah, oh, cool. And maybe you go, you run into each other, you go, oh, you're here. Oh, oh, wow, we're both on the same quest again. Oh, amazing. And then you group, and then maybe that creates, like, more of a long-term friendship or something, you know? Um... That kind of stuff is what would happen, and then also, if somebody was a dick, if somebody ninja looted, or was just terrible to play with, or was, like, rude, or anything, racist or something, like, you could just, you just knew, you could, you could coordinate that to people, you could, um, identify people that you did want to play with, people that you didn't want to play with, and, like, it, that was, you know, that was, that was beautiful. Now in World of Warcraft, it's anonymous. You're never going to see the people again. Like, once you group with them, you can act however you want. You can do whatever you want because you're never going to see them again. So you kind of just, like, there's no consequence to anything. There's, it breaks down the social structure. Um, there's way less sort of, like, you know, you don't get the server enchanter. You just get enchanters and, like, okay, well, I didn't have that, like, 
rapport with that person. You know, like every every interaction with the person is a new person. So you never get like like you never get sort of compounding interaction with the same individuals, and the community breaks down. Um, then that uh, that this only happened because social media weren't big then. Uh, yeah, I mean, and that's why MMOs aren't as big these days as they used to be because. MMOs were social media. That was their main driving thing, really. You don't feel that's happened to 14? No, but it can do. The more you sort of strip servers away and, and kind of just put everyone in together, the more that stuff can strip away. So, um, I'm just saying this is a consequence. I'm not saying, I mean, it's an, FF is a different game than WoW. It's got a different audience, etc. Like, it's not going to be carbon copy the same as what's like happened with WoW, but I'm just saying it's something to heed, you know. And maybe this is the uh, this is elitist, but I don't put much put much value in people recognizing each other questing versus the pain of cross realm restrictions on mythic raiding. Um, I think that's subjective, though, right? For you personally, I agree, and like for me. For me, honestly, like, yeah, cross, cross, world, uh, cross, cross world raiding, or cross realm even, is, um, for me, is, is definitely, like, worthwhile, right? But that's because people like you and me probably care more about getting into a raid when we want to raid. So, for sure. But there's going to be a lot of people, in fact, most people that play MMOs are not really raiders, right? So, so for them, they would want that sort of more complete community experience. So, of course, we're all going to individually have our own, you know, it's all a spectrum of spectrum of what areas of content you enjoy and by how much you enjoy them or, or, or don't enjoy them and stuff, you know. Um, so I don't think that's an elitist take, but it is definitely a subjective one. Seeing a vast majority of the play base unsubscribe when they're done with the MSQ, there was a good chance you won't see many people again anyway. Yeah, I mean, if it's not a problem for people, then it's not a problem. I'm just, I'm just saying this is something that can potentially become an issue. I'm not saying, uh, like, if you got, you know, you guys are sitting here saying, oh, that's probably not a big deal. Fair enough. Fair enough. But I just know it was an issue in WoW, so I would hate to be that, uh, see that be an issue in FF, uh, when community is your biggest driving point in in FF. Like, community is the reason that I love playing this game so much. Yeah. Uh, that said, when you oh yeah, you had no choice but to uh, uh, you had no choice but to get on and talk to people pretty much. Yeah, that said, when you do ultimates in PF, it's kind of similar, as in you start seeing a lot of the same names. Yeah, same with when you do really high level Mythic Plus, you you see the same names. You recognize like that there's probably only a hundred of you guys, and you're all roughly on at the same time of day. Like you're all roughly on at your like normal schedule, right? So some people like you'll see because they're always on when you're on in the day. So you're both pushing keys in the day, like, consistently. Um, so there's definitely, like, that. But you have to get to the very high level to see that, which most people don't, obviously. Yeah. Um, let, me, let me just put the kettle on one sec. I'm not going anywhere. Let me just throw the kettle on. Yeah, that kind of stuff then that's yeah, fine again it makes it easier to get raid groups and stuff which can be nice like like i think cross realm raiding in wow is like a god a, a godsend because like if you want to play with a new guild and then you're like oh they're on a different server you don't want to pay to transfer over to that realm because it costs you 20 bucks and then you find out that actually, like, you trial with them for two weeks, you find out that they're not for you, and then you leave, and then it's like, well, you've just had to spend 20 bucks to trial with a guild, and then if you want to trial with another guild, you got to spend another 20 bucks, potentially, and it's like, you don't want to do that, so cross-realm stuff can actually be really, really good, and then once you lock in on a, on a, on a guild you want to play with, then you can pay and be like, yes, I'm definitely going to 
you know, do that. Um, uh, what up, Darkwing? New to FF, came from WoW, really liking the game, level 35 Warrior, look forward to watching you possibly play you, uh, with some of you. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a great community over here, it's a really good community. We, we're actually, well, we're, funnily enough, we're talking about comparisons of WoW and FF, and we're literally talking about how nice the, uh, um, how nice the community is. You know, I haven't put in my title enough, actually, I haven't baited in my title enough yet, uh, recently about how I'm an, like, a WoW refugee. I've not had that in my title in a while. I really should. Wild Refugee in Shadowbringers. I mean, hold, bro, I'm going to update my title right now. Are you kidding me? That's crazy not to do that. That's like... We got a bait, man. That's like Twitch 101. Okay, I got this. I got this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to get the clickbait. Well, it's not, even, it's not even clickbait. It's true. I am a wild refugee and I'm playing FF. I'm a sprout. Look. I am a sprout. I don't know why you zooming in. You, it, it gets it. Mm, damn. Mm. Okay. Wow. Refugee. Shadowbringers MSQ. Big. Nice. Ooh, plumes of the void. Oh, lovely rogue item. Okay, cool. Let me look at that. Thank you. Ponkatsu. That sounds like a delicious dish. What is Ponkatsu? Ooh, those are nice for Rogue. Ooh, I'll put those on when I... Well, for Ninja, when I get there. Bro, missing out on MSQ Vampires without the title? Well, the thing is, is like, I speak about WoW a lot, so it's not even a bait. I think it's actually really good to have WoW Refugee in my title because of how much I talk about WoW. Like, I'm literally comparing making comparisons between WoW and FF, like, hourly. So, you know. Oh, we can already put them on. Oh, sick. So I think it's already, like, good for me to, uh, to do that. Oh, sick. Thank you. Nice. Getting boosted, bro. Let's go. Endangered Feral Druid main, last of his dying specs, plays FF. No. Uh, the new season of WoW starts later this month. I am going to absolutely hammer it, kind of, technically, when I'm not on stream. I'm going to, like, absolutely blitz it when not streaming or doing anything else that's important. So I'll play, like, a little bit. Um, and I'm going to get rank 1 Feral. And then I'm going to ride off into the sunset. It's going to be beautiful. Everyone's going to be like, man, size wash, size done. Sai never had it. He doesn't have it. He will never have it. I'm going to go back in. Ba, 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 ba. Meow, meow, meow. Arr. I'm going to fuck shit up. It's going to be sick. Do you see a lot of the same names in Savage when the tier is still locked and people get on uh, got to get on and reset like 2 a.m. to get your free clears going? Yeah, then that's awesome. If that's not an issue for you guys, then awesome. I'm just saying, just be careful about how much of that stuff that you want, because it can event, like, you never know. Like, sometimes there's the straw that breaks the camel's back. You know? I, for one, welcome the WoW Refugee title. Thank you, M96. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think Asmund said the same thing just before he completely quit the game on his last mount off. Wait, what did he say? What do you mean? Here, one sec, let me grab my tea.
I'll get the mounts I'm missing and weapons farm 24-7. Get them in a few weeks. Easy. I think, you know, the funny thing is, I think in, uh, I think in life, like, you can, like, I don't mind someone saying something and not following through, depending on what it is. If it's something, like, serious. If someone's like, yeah, man, I'll be your best man. And then you're like, awesome, I can count on you. And then, like, a week before you get married, they're like, oh, no, nah, I'm not going to do that anymore. And you're like, okay, cool, thanks, bud. That, like, that's pretty fucked. But, um, unless they have their reasons, you know, whatever. Um, but, uh, not targeting anyone specifically there. Billy, you were supposed to be there for me, Billy. You had all the best stories. Um, I'll show you your next wedding. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the next one. But, like, if someone's like, oh, yeah, man, I really want to get, like, uh, you know, this, I want to clear this old, like, I'm going to clear this ultimate. And then they don't. I don't really think that's like, like who cares if they didn't, you know. But maybe that's because I say shit all the time and then don't end up doing it, and then it's like, probably makes me look shit. But like, eh, it is what it is. Sometimes you want a lot of stuff in life, but you can't always get it, get it all done, you know. But as streamers, I know you're a RFG, same with Rust too. Ah, okay, Reggie. Yeah, I guess the title works. I mean, yeah, there you go. There you go. Some people like seeing the WoW perspective. They like the WoW FF like crossover, and I, and that's like part of my that, that's that's my that's my specialty. A lot of like that's my specialty is that I know WoW so well, so incredibly well. I've been playing it for twenty years, and I played it at a very high level, and then uh, and then coming into FF, and then like seeing see how things go. You know, don't want PFs co consolidated into one per data center. For me, it's mainly that Crystal has its own wacky strats for alts. They allegedly do stuff really differently in T, and I'm afraid. <laughs> Yeah, but you learn that stuff. You pick it up, you know. Makes me exotic. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Probably, probably in this day and age. Probably, yeah. Maybe not like a year ago, but now I think it's kind of, kind of good. Right. I need to get into a VA cutscene so I can eat my little, my little chalky bar. Oh wait, this is not a VA. As I live and breathe an ally of Ronka, it just so happens I have a vital task I would entrust to none other. Uh, these on patrol require new raiments, and I uh, raiments, raiments, and I would have you deliver uh, deliver that to them, and I would have you deliver them to them at bow a bow rest. They should be expecting you. I pray there will not be a repeat of your incident with Chieftainess Almond. You know, I'm at this point in the MSQ where, like, if I just read something approximately correct, I'm happy. I'm like, yeah, close enough. You know, that'll do. I don't need to get things word for word, okay? Get the gist. Maybe I should change my title to Men Don't Read So Good. What do you seek lies in the heart of the Kemal Astropolis? Unfortunately, it too was sealed shut by order of his eminence. If we were to open it, we must first look to the morning stars. Come, I will show you the way. You like your men a little stupid? I mean, men dumb? I mean, men are dumb. Men are kind of stupid. Like, the smartest men you know, still dumb. Did I say the smartest men you know? The smartest man you know, still dumb. Add Dench? If you can link it to me, I'll, I'll add it. Link it and I'll add. Uh. Yo, dudes. Oh, what a sight. It is not often we see so vaunted a hero as yourself in this remote area. What do you need from me? I'm giving you this. A new attire. Wonderful. Did the fabric and designer everything Hamid made them out to be. It's laid us greatly. The leather is made from the skin of rails. It is unsurpassed in quality. They have bestowed upon all who come of age and complete the rites. Particular of said rites, well, I'll save that for another time, unless I give you nightmares. An outsider, come from the village. How did you... Don't worry about it. 
Ah, hey, Mr. Bookview. An ally of Ronke, yes? Welcome to Bowrest. This outpost serves dual purposes. It would keep watch for any who would intrude on our home, and also for the beast that would feed it. We must stay ever alert so that our arrows strike true. Bro, my voice is gone. My throat is fried, man. Oh, I got you with the dench. It's added. It's been added. You might need to give it a minute to, like, update. guys I think in life you can't have it all I'm already handsome jacked one of the best monk players in the world easily the best samurai player in the world I can't also be able to read good too I can't also be intelligent come on now come on I gotta drop the ball somewhere mm-hmm I did not expect an ally of Ronka to come to bow rest. What brings you here? Uh, I need the f I need flying. I'm trying to get flying for the zone. Ah, uh, of course. Hamid said someone would be delivering these to us. They are made specially for archers and will not impede our movement as stiffer material does. Every so often, invaders will come clad in steel from head to toe. However, their overconfidence makes them blind. Every defense has an opening, and that is where we take aim. My husband was an accomplished cryptologist in the Navy, yet is somehow also dumb enough to stab himself in the arm because he used a knife to remove a clock. He glued it to a table because it kept falling over. Men dumb. Men do be dumb. If you get to rest your voice tomorrow and enjoy your Formula One, oh, yes, that'll be nice. I mean, I'll probably, I mean, I'm not going to be yelling. I don't, I don't, I think I'll be watching the Formula One and just go like, whoa, and I'll just sit here cars and go, meow, meow. If I remember correctly, if you have a bioengineering degree, your insight is already 100 plus. Would you guys believe, okay, those that you already know, those that you are, those of you that already know don't say anything, but for those of you that don't know what degree I have, what do you, what, what do you think I have a degree in? For those of you that have maybe been on the channel for a while and think, wow, size an idiot. Art? That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Dump truck. Wait, dumb truck all it, or dump truck. Because you put dumb truck. I hope that you meant to put dump truck. Okay? I'll get up right now. I'll show you my ass cheeks. I swear to God. You better check. Yeah, there we go. There's the asterisk. Yeah, dump truck. Thank you. Thank you. Yapping? It's not an official degree, actually. Fuck. Fuck. Computer science or programming? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you haven't. Okay, you haven't been watching the stream long. Okay, uh, if you guys say anything in IT, you don't know me. Okay, you do not know me, bruh. To get history major or something? Oh, I, I mean, I do like my history, and I have played a lot of Civ Five. I'm, I, I, I'm fairly knowledgeable about history. Um, I am not Texas. Okay, you didn't need to say it, Denki. I think they understood what I was implying. You didn't need to put capital not, okay? Had it before, but forgot. Circus entertainer? Well, I keep, I keep you kids, I keep you kids happy. Uh, so we said biology, chemistry, physics. Oh, man. You think if I knew physics, I would be doing this as a job? I would be 
building bombs or something. You know what I mean? Lucrative. Um, no, uh, I, I have a degree in biochemistry and microbiology, a dual honors. I thought one is not enough. Yeah, so those that said biology, yeah, you guys, you guys got it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I will add biology is the dumbest science of the true sciences, you know, of the pure sciences. Biology is for the dumb ones. Because, like, you don't have to do any math in biology. Okay? And also, I mean, it's all. Eh, some of it's theoretical, but. Come on. Come on now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Seems like a sports science guy. Maybe it's the guns. Bam. You would be mistaken. You would be mistaken for thinking that. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, I got these outside of school. All science is applied math? Yeah, but biology is for people that can't do the math. Mm, Any, I was like that. I, I was really, sh I got uh, shafted with my stuff. Like in my GCSEs, I got like CC... B for science or something. I think I got like CCB. And I couldn't get into a college for science. Like I remember going around to a bunch of different colleges and I had this one lady tell me she was in admissions, like on the admissions staff. And she looked me in the face. I was 16 years old. She looked me in the face. She jeeth stared me, bro. She jeeth stared me and she said, You will never be accepted for a science course it will not happen and then she said something along the lines of like you need to give up it's like that's a pretty fucked up thing to say to a 16 year old man so then what I did in response is I went and got accepted for all three sciences and then I passed my A-levels, and then I got a degree at 2-1 two, uh, two in biochemistry and microbiology, and I wish I knew where that lady lived, because I'd go around to her house and I'd say, how about them apples, you know what I mean? You know, you know that, you come on, you know. Why did she say that? I don't know, because she's she was a bitch, I guess. Yeah, I'd be better off as a Twitch streamer. I wish as a kid I knew that Twitch streaming was like... I remember watching Soda Poppin' when I was 16. Which is kind of crazy when I think about it. I remember watching Soda Poppin' when I was 16. I just never thought about like, hey, I'd be good at that. And then like, and then I did it one day. I was like, wait, what if I just tried doing it? And then I did it, and then like... And then I realized after six long years, like, damn, I'm not good at it. You know what I mean? Like, wow. Young me was right. That kid was... That kid had his head screwed on. He knew. What's the powerhouse of the cell? The, the mitochondria. Mm. That's what everybody knows. That's what everybody knows. It's a classic. Mm. My brother, who lives in America, keeps trying to get me to go and get a job in science, like in biology over there, because he says, like... He says, like, it's easy, and people don't know anything and you like he's like yeah there are really stupid people here who are in really good jobs you should just come over here and get a really good job so if the streaming thing doesn't work out then that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go retrain as an astrobiologist probably i really like viruses though i have like so many of them mostly venereal but um I I want to uh yeah, I want to uh maybe maybe do that. Something in virology. 
or uh, something in astrobiology. I think it'd be cool. Astrobiology is really cool because like 10 years ago it was a super new field, but I feel like nowadays it's probably established enough where I could go get a decent like like degree in it or something. Big bombs and viruses. The viruses are the are the big bombs of the microbial world. Okay, viruses are insane. The more you learn about viruses, the more you just don't understand anything that's happening in the world. Oh, and Denki, yeah, what what is your degree in? I bet you have a degree in like physics or some shit. I just feel it. Hmm. Virology is your field. Where do you um? Where do you live? Electronic engineering. Hmm. Do you do that now, Denki? Hmm. Astrobiology is sick. There's a um, Boulder, Colorado, does a course on it, and so does um somewhere else. Seattle. Both of them do really good courses in astrobiology. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Silva. That's very sweet of you. No matter what game I play, you'll always support. Thank you. Hmm. What if I play, um... Damn, I can't remember the name of the game. Never mind. What's that game? Like, something, something... Doki Doki Lit Club or something? No, I almost got another degree in computer science. But I left the university for multiple reasons. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Is it because you were found climbing through the window as a ninja, dressed as a ninja one night? Do you know what to do in my life? I think everyone's like that, man. I don't think you're alone in that. I think there's many people that have no fucking clue what they're doing. Some some people never find out, I think, you know? What am I going to stream that game? Doki Doki Lit, Lit Club? We'll see. Maybe I can make a little goal, you know? It's a sick game. I've seen it a bit. I've seen a smidge of it. Can I play as like the Warrior of Light in Doki 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 Lit Club? And like, when I make decisions, like, does it impact? Yo, what the hell? You're eat you're riding a sun eater, a sin a sin eater. What are you doing? Those are the bad guys, bro. What are you doing on that thing? I'm a virtual personal assistant. To do a little bit of everything. Oh, that's kind of cool. You should look into getting into the streaming th the streaming game. There are a lot of uh, there are a lot of streamers that don't have their shit together. I promise you that. You should try and get into uh, working with streamers. Uh, I actually don't work with streamers. They're horrible. They're so unreliable. The amount of e emails I need to like reply to. Unless you have kept one for yourself, I see your deliveries are complete. Thank you. Although I told them you were coming, I imagine it was an entirely different thing to actually speak with you. It should not be long until you're accepted as one of our own. May we work together again, Ally of Ronka. Damn, already. That, that quickly, bro. Hold on, how many the currents looking? Okay, I need two more, and then I need three Aethers. Mm, not bad. Not bad, man. Not bad. Not bad. Yo, where do you get this? Actually, maybe it might be a spoilery kind of thing to tell me, maybe? I don't know. It's like not a lion. It's like a lion and a frog or some shit. And, uh, wi and wings. Oh, it's hunts? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's cool. I didn't know if it was like, oh, well, when you defeat the last 
light water and then you do a thing, then you fight this guy and then you get it. And then I'm like, oh, okay. And then... Spoilers. Spoilers. You need 3,200 nut sacks. Okay, that's a lot of nut sacks. That's a lot. I see. Well done. I had like the morning stars. Four monuments built in tribute to the guardians of Raktika. Beyond them is a great pyramid of Uxna, where the flow of magic must be restored. It is said that the monuments are themselves the keys to opening the pyramid. Though I know not how, that is for you to discover. Another puzzle. Wonderful. I would have a closer look. Oh, that was really good to find out in the story of like the reason that like the source is being sort of drained of aether is because of what's happening here that was kind of cool by the way we have not checked in with like any like tataru like if i go speak to her now in fact what happens if i go speak to tataru now is she gonna be like yo what up player or is she gonna be like oh my god you're back that's amazing The answer, how do I get this mount is D's nut. Go find out. I will. I will. Where is she? I'll go right now. What's she gonna say to me? Where the hell is she? She's a Moderna? Of course she is. Yeah, little Tataru. Ta Tataru. Pray return. What is she gonna say to me? Let's see. Cyber, I was going about my business the other day when a feisty little pixie suddenly appeared and gave me a report about your doings. It suddenly sounds like you have your work cut out for you, so just leave things here to me and focus on getting things done in the first. Wow, so she's not like, what the fuck? She's like, oh, hey, man. You working? Yeah, you working? Okay, good. Yeah, keep that up. Keep that up. Keep that up. All right, Tatari, well, okay. All right. Is that little boy still in my room? In the, um, in the main office. That little boy's just chilling there, bro. That was the- I thought that was the little boy in the cutscene. In the trailer. That's why I called Minfilia a little boy. Because I was like, oh my god, is that the little boy? Yeah, the WTF was when she met Feoul. She's like, oh my god, you're Scottish. U ukulele? Yeah, uk ukulele. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's indeed another puzzle, but for a blessing it appears to be similar to the one we encountered at the lake. She got Gaelic jump scan. The statues are all depictions of the divine beast mentioned on the tablet. No doubt they will open the way into the pyramid in like manner. We have but to discern the correct order. Let's split up in such the area for clues. These ruins are covered in ancient inscriptions. The answers may well be hidden among them. Indeed, it may be best to transcribe them. They are some, uh, as numerous as you say, 
Better that than risk overlooking something. Your transcription would prove it, uh, though transcription would improve pra impractical for you. Not being versed in wrong and script, no matter. You'll employ a different approach. Impressions. Yeah, I thought to use these clay tablets to record any significant imagery we discovered. They will serve you just as well. Take impressions of any inscriptions you find. We will start at the base of the pyramids. You begin at the top. When you have finished, return here and I will translate your findings. Great, I'm already trying to learn Japanese. Now I gotta learn this shit? Alright. Oh god, you're alive. Come on then, big lad. Oh, this guy's cracked. Not cracked enough. There's so many NPC lines are off things like this. Yeah. I think this kind of stuff is important for your world immersion. So you know people are going to go looking for it. You know people are going to be like, ooh, I wonder what the scions are doing. Mazilla, you can't get me like that. I don't know kanji. I know the first uh, kanji is like day. It can be day. The others, I don't know. Oh, I can go up these. Hold on. Whee! Wow, what a jump puzzle. I actually don't know the second one. I've not been studying much. Bit shit of me. Bit shit of me. Oh, hello, Snacky. You take an impression of the writing inscribed on the monument. Oh, okay. I don't need to read these. Whee! I can't believe some of you guys thought I had a degree in IT related stuff. Probably just you guys being nice. It's a decent guess. Yeah, I guess if you're a streamer and stuff as well, like. That, that is the thing. A lot of streamers that are, like, IT savvy, like, a lot of them come from, like, I don't know, like, media and film and stuff, which I guess is related, or, like, um, uh, they're, like, you know, video editors or some shit, or they were in, like, like, they're really good with IT, like, they've worked in IT, uh, in, like, I don't know, like, for a PC company, or they've worked in actual just, like, IT itself, like, whatever IT jobs there are, like programming and shit, and like, and they have just like a big advantage, because they actually understand all the stuff going on. Me, I got no goddamn clue. Oh my god, skill shot up a mountain. Technologically incompetent, that's a nice way, of, yeah, that's a good way of putting it, thank you. Look, my skills lay elsewhere, okay? Oh, I bet the question that you asked, Mozilla, is are you having a good day? No, damn it. Trust you made a good use of those play tablets. I have. Tech I'm done whose friends are all computer scientists and physicists. I appreciate what other people can tell CPU from a GPU. I actually can now, but I couldn't a few years ago, but I can now. Mm hmm But yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's humbling. It's nice. 
Uh, not humbling. It's, um, it's wholesome. It's nice. Well done. A moment while I decipher what you found. Apologies for the delay. Nothing we saw at the base of the pyramids gave any hint as to the solution of the puzzle. Focusing instead on how to, uh, to proceed, having solved it. Your findings, on the other hand, appear to form a riddle. Once assembled, it reads as follows. Come together, share despair. Go thy ways, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call. Avert thy gaze, forever fall. We fall. I'd assume that the puzzle would involve a sequence, but from what Almet and I were able to gather, it is but a matter of suffusing one of the statues with Aether. The answer to the question is no. Yeah. Mm, mm. Oh, wait, sorry. Mm, mm. The question being which one? Dude, that's so I can't speak. I'm going to just have to say yeah. Do you have any thoughts? Did I do the Great Deceiver earlier? Y yes, I think so? That quest rings a bell. Given your talent for a, uh, finding a solution to vexatious problems, I think it best that you choose the statue. What say you, Cyber? Sure. Right then, after you have selected a statue, I'll imbue it with the required aether. Should it prove to be your trap, I'm more than capable of warding off any malign magics it may contain. Now, which statue will it be? Oh. Give me the riddle. Come together, share despair. Go thy ways, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call, avert thy gaze forever fall. So come together, listen, but look away. I'm gonna go for the wolf. She's fine. She says she's fine. She's fine. Next time, choose more carefully. Ah, uh, the question is, can I read Japanese? I thought it was that. As soon as you said, uh, as soon as you guessed the answer, I was like, oh, okay, we'll see that. Um, the answer, the, the problem with the question was that I don't speak Japanese. That was my problem with the question. Same thing the upper statue knows facing towards the wolf statue. Okay. Facing towards the upper upper statue, okay. North toward the Great Pyramid. South toward the woods. Away from the serpent. Okay, I'm going for Owl. Why owl? Because it's facing towards the pyramid. Two of them are looking at each other. Oh, actually, maybe... Ah, oh, but it said about looking away, all shall fall. Yeah. I'm gonna go owl. I'm gonna go owl. Facing towards the pyramid. Bosh. Aether has been absorbed. Ugh. You really do have a talent for these things. Yeah, two of them, it, it, it was... Two of them, it was like nondescript. It just said, oh, they're looking away from each other. That's not helpful. The other two were looking at each other. One was looking south. One was looking at the temple. So I was like, right. Gonna be the one that's looking at the temple, surely. 
The way should be clear now. Come, let us... Someone approach us. Sister. Sister. Sister, sister. Simon. What are you doing here? What has happened? Yorman soldiers. They've entered Ix Maya. Yorman soldiers. And what of the blessed? Nothing specific, but it seems the Yormans had little interest in Slitherbow uh, or his people. According to our scouts, the general and his men made all haste for the gate of Ix Maya upon finding it. Together with Thancred, we met and some few others have engaged them at the border. You are to, you are to return and assist you. We met at once. They are not to set foot near the ruins of Fano. We will see to the mountains here and return as quickly as we can. Understood? Yes, sister. Be careful. Though I knew this uh, time was short, I did not expect the Yomorans to move so swiftly. We have come too far to turn back now. Is Yamaru, is that Reed? Is that to Reed? Yamaru Is that like, can you read? Yeah, to be able to read. Ah. Mm, like reading comprehension, okay. Dekimaska. What's Dekimaska? Would you just ask. Would you. Would it be. Nihongo. Nihongo de. Yamaru. Dekimaska? Do you need to re oh, but you need to rephrase it. Interest, intrans, intransitive. So, to to do. Ah, okay. Right, but in that context, you don't have to use it. Okay. Form of Yamu. Yamu. Maybe like saying, are you able to be able to read Japanese? Well, are you? Time is against us, friend. Quickly into the pyramid. I've been finding like, anytime I use like flashcards, say I use like Anki for flashcards, it's really boring just looking at a word. I need to like try and do it in a more fun way. Yeah, Nihongo Yamaru. And then you could include, would you include, you wouldn't even include Deska at the end, would you? De like Deska, you wouldn't even include that at the end, or would you, would you not need to? Because you'd be able to, you'd be, you'd be asking, like the, the context would be there, right? The context of, like, can, like, to be able to, like, you're basically asking, like, to be able to read Japanese, like, can you read Japanese, I guess, right? Yeah, rule of thumb, you can omit a lot of stuff, yeah. Yeah, just raise the intonation. Imply the question, yeah. Yomi Maska? It's very formal, familiar company. That was very optional. Question pitch, we didn't the question. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, if I need to this question. Mm. So how do you say I don't speak Japanese? You'd say you'd say you wouldn't even need to say like Watashi, you'd just be like you they'd know. And then you'd say I don't know how to say I like I can't. Nihongo wo hanasem hanasemasen? Or Nihongo Hanasanai? Hmm. I'm gonna have to learn those. I'm gonna have to learn those, man. 
Because, like, I... Uh, I can speak enough Japanese to ask for things and, like, order things and stuff. But I guess because I start speaking Japanese, they'll then reply to me in Japanese, but then I don't know what they're saying. So I have to just literally Pikachu face them and be like... Unless I do, to be able to speak. Unless I to be unable to speak. You guys have all given me a different way to say that, so thank you. Yeah, you're just asking people for sentences you can repeat, but that's not a replacement for actually. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course, it's not a replacement, but it gets you by whilst you're learning. Yeah. Oh, uh, I know Yukuri is, uh, slowly. Yeah. Oh, the word Choto, I recognize that. Must be, it must be little. Choto. Don't ask how I know. Just people have said it to me. For various reasons. You can be talking about anything. The switch should be through these doors, in the confessional of Tupasa, the Elder. But why is it not open? Ah, oh, Mikasa Tupasa, I get it now. <laughs> the switch should be through these doors, in the confessional of Tupasa, the Elder. But why is it not open? Hmm. Magic appears to be flowing through the walls, but it's being obstructed as, as it approaches the door. Hmm, is it not strange that only one of these pedestals bears an owl statue? Oh, we gotta go get it. We gotta go. We gotta go get it. We gotta go get an owl, boys. Let's go get an owl. Strange indeed. The second such was likely hidden to keep the door sealed. We can come. We can cover more ground if we split up. Almet, take the chamber to the south. Cyber, the one to the east. I will search the chamber to the west. Whichever way they send me is always the place that it's at. Are they ever shocked that I get it right every time? Yeah, there's like just a various different ways of saying it, different forms, yeah. Oh, where's it gonna be, bro? complicated what Japanese apparently Japanese is the hardest language to learn for an English speaker now oh, snack you how'd you beat me I've looked everywhere and wait is that the statue you found it It looks like light enough. We need to return it to the other altar, no? One might assume so, but nothing about these ruins has ever been quite so simple. Oh, I've seen this in Indiana Jones. We've got to switch it with something equally heavy. I sense a strange energy emanating from the eyes of the statues in the corridors of this place. Should this figure be moved, it would not surprise me for them to suddenly stir to life. A trap, then. For the unsuspecting as they attempt to return this to its rightful place. Precisely. Caution would serve us well here. What if the trick is that we've got to take the other owl off? That would be, dude, that would be so much better than than this. This shit, like, if you had one of them already in position, then you, like, anyone that comes in would assume not to touch that one, and they go, oh, i got to bring the other one here. But then that triggers the trap. What if he's like, oh, we got to take this one off? That would be the big brain. That's like the trap reversal, man. Which is why I would ask you to deliver the statue to the main chamber. An abundance of magic, yet courses through these walls. For my eyes, distractingly so. I believe yours, on the other hand, would more aptly perceive the traps for what they are. Alright then. We will meet you at the door to the confessional of Tupasa, the Elder. Yeah, English is like kind of a shit one to learn, I think. Oh, I got two minutes. Uh-oh. 
English is like a shit one to learn. There's so many just like exceptions and rules, but like exception to the rules and then shit that just doesn't really make sense and inconsistencies and stuff. It's like, okay. Don't mind me. Oh, you shitbag. Alright. Okay, I see. I see what games you're getting up to here, game. You know, I was walking down the stairs and I saw those eyes and not those ones. And for a minute I thought, I bet they're going to get me. Japanese is fun though, man. I just need to get better at it. I just need to get better at it. I really like that you guys like talking about Japanese here. It's like really cool because it like calms me, it like chills me out where I'm like, oh no, I can, I can talk about, actually I have a big brain strat. Hold on. I got a big brain strat. They want me to go that way? No, no, no. This is the biggest brain strat. That, that place is full of traps, man. This is actually the strat. Yep. You think I was born yesterday? I'm not stupid, man. Oh god. I'm kind of stupid. Oh. Oh, I'm stupid. Ah! Run! You know, I haven't found any good apps so far. Wani Kani is great. Uh, uh, maybe I'll try that one. I don't like any good apps so far. With your dumb southern accent, you're afraid, afraid to learn other languages. I think that's good that you have that fear, though. I think that sounds... Okay, I'm not going that way. I think that sounds about right. You probably should have that fear. Arigato! You know, uh, it just wouldn't, just wouldn't work, would it, Snacku, you know? I gotta stop bullying. You know what? I gotta stop bullying the mods. Snacku's a new mod. I gotta stop being mean. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At least it's better than. Oh no! It disappeared. Oh no! Can I turn these? No. God damn it! Took too long. Shit. Oh, man. No, um... My Japanese sounds Italian, so figure that one out, because I don't speak Italian, so... Hold on, I have an idea. What if I kill these before I... Yeah, here we go. So bad. Y'all nasty, you know that? Y'all really do be nasty. I'm actually built so goddamn different. But seriously, these things are kicking my ass. Oh my god, help me. Oh my god. Oh my god, help me. Snacku, help me! Oh my god, you actually did help me. <laughs> you shouldn't have helped me. I made fun of you a moment ago. He's just done. It was... Watch the VOD, it was on cooldown, I'd already used it. I actually made a six stun, actually, if you look at the... Go watch... You know what? I'm, no, go watch the VOD. That's your punishment. You're gonna go watch the VOD, okay? Because if you look, I actually outplayed these things for real, for real, okay? I got this puzzle under control, don't worry about it. 
This is all me, baby. This is all me. This is all me. Look at this. Not using arm's length for the slow. Yeah, I want him to be fast, man. I want you to show how capable I am. Yo, what up, Skeletus? How you doing, Chief? I have a weird mix of Midwest and Southern accent. I actually don't know what Midwest sounds like, I don't think. Plenty about lack of utility. Doesn't use utility. Yep. Because the game doesn't need you to use it. Boop. You successfully delivered the statue. I want you to read that, chat. You successfully delivered the statuette to the altar. That's your streamer. The statue is returned, but was that enough? Oh, bro, the Emmett music's playing. Okay. Okay. He's in there, isn't he? I believe it was. I can see Aether flowing to the door now. Come on out. Come on. Come on. I pray this means an end to the tricks and traps of these ruins. Well done. Come on. All right, but seriously, I got to tinkle, and if, if, okay, if it's actually sussy time, then I actually need to tinkle. Canonically, in the first attempt, uh, my character is canon. One sec. Okay, little sausages. Take it easy, Kimura. Take it easy, my friend. All right, we're going in. You are but one step from entering the Kitana Ra Ravel, but I must warn you, this last step is without question the most perilous. Overcome this final trial, and the path forward will open to you. Ooh, another, okay. Path laden with more puzzles and traps, I'm sure. But the Emperor always takes such pleasure in wasting the time of his allies. <sighs> Let us end this, Cyber. The time is yet on our side. Legend of the Not So Hidden Temple. Before we enter, I would tell you of the trial that awaits you. The chamber is said to be filled with all manner of devices to keep trespassers away from the switch. Uh uh. The most potent being wards of displacement, that may very well force you into danger. Should we become separated, please use these. Whisper weeds, they will allow you, us to communicate no matter where we may find ourselves. Think Cyber and I can work out how to use these well enough. Thank you. All right, Cyber. The sooner we finish here, the sooner we can return to the others. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Shall we get this over with? Wish me luck. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Wish me luck, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Those sentinels, yes. They made to cast any who enter the pyramid. It's said to be seen by them, seen by death. Okay. Okay, are they gonna turn around? No. They're gonna go around, okay. Easy for me, easy for your streamer. Let's deal with them quickly before the curse can take No, I'm good! What the hell? What the hell? I did everything right! Away with you! I did everything right. This ends now. Oh no. Seven stacks. Oh god. Ten stacks. Oh, eleven stacks. Okay, just kill him. Stun. Twenty nine minutes. Why did that happen? I did everything right. Sister, sister, can you hear me? Two soldiers have broken through our defenses. Follow them, they are not to reach this temple, understood? A pair of soldiers somehow made it past my sisters, no doubt on their way on their way here. All the more reason we should hurry then. He's coming this way! Oh, no, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, okay, okay. Shh, 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 shh. Go, 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 go. Okay, shh, 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 shh. Oh, go! Go, go, go! We're up good, we're up good, we're up good. Why did they? They have massive, how do we get around them? So I imagine how people talk about me when I'm out in public. They're like, damn, he's, damn, he's massive. I will, t t I will draw their attention with a glamour. Ooh. She's gonna show... She's going to show cleavage. Look at my glamour. Go, go, go. Draw him out, draw him out. Go! Run! Run! Nice, good job, guys. I'm worried that I'm going to get through this and I'm going to have to do it a second time because I'm on 12 stacks. And 12 does not seem like a good amount of stacks to be on. Ooh. Okay, slidey thing. So I want to go here. Nah, I got this. I'm good at these, man. Already up, good. I played Pokemon. Aw, oh, easy for me, man. I wish I did stuff like this that was like really difficult. But they always make it really easy, which bums me out. Cause like they're really fun to do, but then it's just like super simple. Long corridor. I'm sure this is fine. It was not fine. Oh, you jewel! Remember when you said Indiana Jones? Surely not. 
Run! No, seriously though, you should run. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Go, 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 go. Can I do two? Let's see if we can do two. Go, 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 go. Quickly. Oh, you guys pussied out. Ah! The snapshot. Go, 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 go. Run! We have to jump! Okay. Whee! Yay. In event. <laughs> oh, I had to wait for them. Who's the sprout now? This is cool. This is fun. I hope there's more stuff like this in the future. Anyone who, what is this man? Could it be Ranjit? Oh, it could be. It's not. It's not Emmett because he could just teleport wherever he wants. So Ren, it sounds like it's got to be Ranjit. Is this game worth a try? Depends what kind of games you like. It depends if you, if you like Final Fantasy, if you like MMOs, if you like like raiding, if you like uh, story games. Like, it depends what kind of games you like. I'm, I think for me, it's definitely been worth a try, but. Um, it kind of depends what kind of stuff you like, you know? I don't think this game is for everyone. Oh, here he is. Bro, how did he... How did he pierce here? What's wrong with this dude? Here I come. Two of them. No holding back! This is the kind of stuff, like, they could put this kind of stuff in. Like, all this kind of stuff, I think, is fantastic for putting in, like, early game as well. You know? Yeah, you can play a free trial of this game. I've been playing this game for about, uh, almost a year. And I only, last week, finished the free trial. That's how extensive the free trial is. Off work for bad cold. I'm off, off work with a bad cold. Sorry to hear that, but a nice day off work is also pretty good. Um, enjoy the YouTube stuff a lot. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kaka. I really appreciate that. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad I could do YouTube and Twitch and, like, just, uh... Sorry, I'm not allowed to say which platforms I'm streaming on. Um, I'm glad that I can multi-stream. Yes. Go, go, go. It's all on me, baby. Working. Voice acted. Oh boy. I think not. Silly bugger. <laughs> nice little detail is that no one that came into this room ran on that as well. We both went out to the side and then Renji flies. Oh, you're gone, bud. Oh. Nah, you're gone. Done. How was 
I to know that that would happen? It looked like any other part of the floor. Might now be an opportune time to strike a bargain? <laughs> we poisoned a number of villagers in Slitherbow with a toxin brewed for us by the children. This doesn't sound like a good start to a bargain, my friend. This sounds a bit like... I don't know. Not even blackmail, but kind of... It's kind of threatening. This is the antidote. I dare say you know how potent their concoctions are, and the futility of trying to counteract their effects. Now, now. Try anything here, and we're all likely to fall. Eventually, someone will come to our rescue. Or yours. Promise us safe passage, and we'll give you the antidote. Do we have a deal? We do not negotiate with the enemy. The villagers' lives are forfeit. As is yours. Kick him. Kick him. Ah, oh, see ya. General? Do not fail. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Come on. I think she had a typo. She is supposed to say, do not fall. Maybe this expansion isn't about Shadowbringers. It's about falling. How noble and pointless. Everyone's always talking about... Like in the song. Like, we fall... We fall, you know? So many people have fallen in this is, expansion. Think about it. Is everyone all right? Oh, Minfilia, you're not going to like this. I got bad news, what? but... Yeah. Orioge! At once! Oh, he's caught him in a Pokeball. We fall. Who's next? Who's next? Who goes next? Who would like to fall? Step right up. Step right up. Where is Ustola? That was sick. Yeah, that was a sick slice, man. He seems cooler as a gun bl uh, gunblade than he did as a like a rogue, you know. I like him as a gunblade. He's just sick, man. Full guys event came back sooner than expected. But um bum. Uh okay, so they're in all are we not going after we we've left. Okay, I thought we were gonna go in after them. Okay. Thankfully, Ranjit's cohorts had the good sense to fall back. Fall. We met should be here soon with word from Fanel. We should hold our position here until she arrives. With the poison. Almond, please tell me you know if that hole might lead onto the uh, lead out into the woods somewhere. Were there another means of exiting the temple? There is no question that we would know of it. But I fear that is of little consequence, for we have tried to mock the depth of the pit and failed. To fall from such a height. Luckily, it was Final Fantasy XIV characters that fell into the hole, so they should still be alive. If it was any other game franchise, they might be dead. 
but uh, as we know, there was no way they were going to kill the Yulmoran adjutant like that, whatever the fuck his name was. They wouldn't just kill him off like that. Sister, I come bearing news. The Yomoran soldiers and the children have fled. Ixmea. They abandoned Slitherbow as well. Though they yet remain in the swamps near Lakeland. Unfortunately, a number of the blessed were poisoned while fending off the soldiers. One we believe to be of their order was found lost in Ixmea, feverish and badly wounded. He was taken to Fano for treatment. But I fear there is little we can do for him. He and the other blessed will not last long without an antidote. And we must act quickly. If you've a, if, if you've a spare vial, Mephilia and I can deliver it to the blessed at Slitherbow. You and Orange should return to Fano and tend to the wounded villager there. What about Ishtala? I know it seems callous of us to leave, but she leapt into that hole for a reason. We have to save the Blessed, whatever it takes. Alright. My sisters and I will remain here. We must be certain no soldiers are still lurking about. I've just noticed they have they have heels on with little cat claws. Come, Cybert, let not Ishtala's sacrifice be in vain. Maybe they're bunny claws, actually. Paws. Tefano. I love that every time you come out of a cutscene, they smash you with the lahi. Like, it's not even like sometimes it's halfway through. It's not like just they start out with like a beat and then there's just like the cutscene fit. Lahi! And you're like, okay, yep, I'm, yes, I'm, okay. I hear you. Ishtala's maybe dead. We know she's not dead. There's gonna be one day where the, a character's gonna have an off-screen death like that, where they sort of like, okay, I say, I mean, does that count as an off-screen death? You know what I mean? Like, they fall down a hole, we don't know 100% they're dead, but like, they could be. A character, like a major character, is going to die in that way, and I'm just not going to react. Because I'm going to go, nah, man, don't worry about it. They'll come back in like 20 minutes. And then they'll just, and then they'll just, they'll just be dead. Heavens for Fend. Runa. Twas he who forestalled the Yomoran's procession. In so doing, afforded three, uh, the time to traverse the temple. Quickly, the antidote. I got you, bud. Runostal appears visibly pained. Perhaps he requires another dose of medicine. Okay. The medicine seems to take effect as the color slowly creeps back to his cheeks. <laughs> Which ones? <laughs> it appears the worst hath passed, though his wounds yet want for mending. I shall minister to him forthwith. For this. I shall take some green paint, thank you. Are any of these worth holding on to? Like, are these all, are any of these gonna be like, valuable or hard to acquire later down the line or something? Honestly, ever since Gosetsu and Yatsu appeared on an island, basically fine after a castle fell on them. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Gosetsu got shot several times, had a building collapse on him, the building then set on fire and exploded and he fell into the water where he then washed up on a beach, okay? I haven't believed a character death in, the, death in this game, game, even when characters have actually died. Yeah, they could, they, I watched Yosetsu, Yotsu, uh, Yosetsu, huh, uh, Yotsuyu get shot in the head, and she still didn't die, you know what I mean? So I just don't, 
I need to really see it. I need to really see it. Let's see, he's still alive. Well, I'm sure she can probably be resummoned. It's not on the head. I'm pretty sure when she was laying on the floor, she got shot in the head. I swear she got shot in the head, dude. Yeah, I need I need the character I need to see the will. I need to see their will. I need to see the uh reacquisition of their possessions and like redistribute or, or the the acquisition and distribution of their possessions, okay? I need to see little Billy, their kid, like inheriting the chessboard, you know? And then I'll believe that they're dead. Uh, that was, okay. Um, normal dies, just maybe hold on to them for DT. They're all normal. Oh, okay. Get the money. That's fine, then. That'll go towards my money collection. Rest, Cyber. I pretty... I shall attend to Runa's ministrations. Jet Black and Snow White. Okay. It's cool that those are both the most expensive dyes because in real life they would be the most expensive. Like pure white, pure black, really hard to get. Did we have. Sorry, I now have memory loss. I've been... I've been men in blacked. Runa, thank goodness. We delivered the antidote to Slitherbow, and from what we could gather on the way here, the Ulmorans have had the good manners to withdraw. Thank the gods they did. We would never have made it here in time. I'm told we have Runar and his comrades to thank for keeping the soldiers occupied prior to their retreat. They were preparing to come for you and Yishtola, it seems, when Runar rallied the villagers and pursued them out of Slitherbow. Safe now, friend. Pray, rest thee a while longer. No. No, I am all right. Somewhat heavy of limb, perhaps, but otherwise well, I assure you. I am glad to see you are all safe. When we realized where the soldiers were headed, we knew something had to be done. I like this character. He's a nice boy. Got a good voice actor as well. Do not see Master Matoya. She was with you, yes? What happened to her? The good news is she's still alive. The bad news is we don't know where. Spare me your riddles and speak plain. Where is Master Matoya? <laughs> well, so there's this cave, right? It's back it's back on what we call the source, right? But don't worry, she's hot, okay? Don't worry. No. No. No, oh, that cannot be. Why would she do such a thing? There are no other way. I... I cannot believe she... 
Is she? We must begin the search immediately. I will come with you. No, we've given up, buddy. What are you waiting for? We must find her. She could be trapped or hurt or. She is alive. She is alive, damn you. <laughs> this is me. This is me right now tr trying to talk to you guys. <laughs> Chat's like, rip. Bye, Stala. She is alive, right? Like, she is... Forgive me for interrupting, but our scouts have apprehended an intruder. We thought perhaps he might be an associate of yours. Go on. Show him in. Show him in. Oh, look who it is. He caught her, he caught her looking, bro. Wow, well, this is embarrassing. In my defense, they are surprisingly tenacious. So, what trouble have you gotten yourselves into this time? Remember, I must talk to him after the cutscene, if possible. Well, well. What an intriguing turn of events. If you link it to me, uh... My condolences, you... by the way. It is never easy to lose the ones we love. Well, she is dead, isn't she? Wishing it were otherwise will not make it so. Nah, bro, she's not dead. Sorry about it. She's fine. That you should be indifferent to her loss is no surprise. But to us, she was a friend. The best of friends. You have something on your mind. What is it? I'm beginning to wonder what hap uh, what really happened when she fell. After she fell, there was a powerful gust of wind as if from nowhere. Mm. I wonder if she's had the Minfilia treatment. Or somebody guffed down there. Pray recount to us again that which thou witnessed in the ruins, omitting not the slightest detail. Flow. Teleportation magic she used to spirit us away from Uldar after the bloody banquet. Ooh. I recall a similar gale in the tunnel before it took effect. Interesting. I thought I sensed a brief disturbance in the live stream. How reassuring to know it was not my imagination. Hmm. I felt it only once, I should mention. Which would suggest she is still adrift on its currents. Then I fear she may yet be lost to us. 
for it was only by the grace of the elementals that she was plucked from that great ethereal river. Ah, very well. I'll go and fetch her. <laughs> I was gonna say, can he go grab her? What ailment will she have this time? Is she going full Helen Keller? Perhaps a clear and unambiguous act of kindness will serve to win the trust you seem so determined to deny me. Hmm. Should be a dog girl? Better than being a horse girl. Oh man, they're the worst. <laughs> Just kidding, chat. I don't know how many horse girls- You know what? I probably don't have many horse girls watching my chat. I'm- I'm-, I'm I'm probably okay. That's probably a that's probably a group of people that I can probably offend and it'd be okay. Um, you know, <sighs> by then, Madge. Now then, if I'm to fetch her for you, I will require a suitable place to work. We must find somewhere that resonates strongly with the live stream. And by we, I mean you. To that end, I give you this, an ethereal lamp of my own design. Keep it close as you venture, uh, close as you venture out into the woods. The brighter the glow, the stronger the location's resonance with the live stream. Once you've found a likely spot, all you need to do is whistle. You do not know how to whistle. Uh, you do know how to whistle, don't you, hero? Just put your lips together and blow. Find a location that resonates with your li uh, the live stream. You will need to search the area marked on your map. Use your ethereal lamp to pinpoint an ideal location and call for Emmett Self. Does anyone call him Emmett, S Emmett Selch? I feel like that would stress a lot of people out and I kind of want to start, you know... My, my my good old friend Emmett Selch. Hold on, I added the emote. Let me refresh. Yes, they do. It upsets everyone, and we all leave. Good one job. One job. <gasps> Guys, I gotta get back to Emmett Selch. Where is he? Where is he? Shit, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Imagine forgetting someone when you're literally saying their name a thousand times in a minute. Well, what are you standing around here for? Get searching. You do want to save her, don't you? I, I swear to God, I'm quitting this game. I'm not even going to get to Endwalker. I don't care. You got... Uh... <sighs> World building, chat. World building. You know what, Emmett? At this point, I don't want to save her. No. What am I cooking from that? I think he wants me to hurry up. It's not about what he says, it's about committing. <laughs> that's like, uh... That's like, uh, you know, dress for the job you want, not the job you have, you know? <laughs> play for the voice... Play for the voice line you, you hope for. Wait, did I get it? Oh, I got it. Wait. Bro, I'm fucking busted, dude. Holy shit. Bro, I'm actually fucking cracked. Bro, I'm actually fucking cracked. Nah, come on now. Come on now. That's actually pre- That's- Oh. Holy. Alright, I'm gonna buy a lottery ticket and your streamer- Guys, this is- your streamer, man. It's the the power of Emmett. I'll never betray his name. 
Holy shit. Oh my god. Emmett. Thank you. <laughs> I did it five times. Well, I only did it once. I'm not stalling. The Karakuzi? Yes. Perfect. This place should serve well enough. Might I have a little space? I need to concentrate. I need... Was her soul again? Ah, there you are. Bump -ba -na -bump -ba -na -na. <laughs> Did anyone else get a? Shiva vibes from that? <laughs> no, not not you. Unless, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nice, polite, very polite, very polite. That's good. I'm glad he did that. I was worried for a second. I was like, man, this is so. Oh, this would be horrible. Ishtola, are you all right? What a gentleman. Yeah, chat. That's disgusting. No, I cannot imagine how. What happened? If you... Guys, if you want to look at your stroller naked, then you need to send a letter to Square Enix headquarters, and you need to request that the designer of your stroller allow such things. Okay? You must get their express consent okay and she's back guys she didn't die thou didst invoke the power of flow which thence did usher thy soul unto the life stream they did what I wanted to save the antidote and after that <laughs> I did something exceedingly reckless for which you will just have to forgive me. <gasps> Master Matoya, oh, thank the heavens, you're all right. This is gamer guys and their girlfriends. I had nearly given up hope. Please, Renard, dry your tears. What would the others think if they saw you like this? Come now. 
Did you really think I would go gently into that dark night with so much left undone? So many mysteries left unsolved. He has a boy wife? I think we have a word for that. I think it's called a husband. What's a boy wife? <laughs> What's... Yeah, he's like a wife, but he's like, uh, like a man. And like... A male wife. A boy who is a wife. Wait, what? I'm a boy wife. Oh, like, oh, okay, okay. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Is there aught you wish to say to me? A word of thanks, perhaps? A man who performs traditional wife duties cleaning the house? I mean, isn't that still just, like, don't we already, like, but we still already have, like, isn't that still just a husband? What defines, what defines a husband? What defines a... I think that's just called a husband, right? <laughs> you look like a Barbie, great job on the character customization. Thank you. My character is cute as hell. Mm -hmm. I can't keep up with Zuma talk, man. They're always saying shit like Riz and uh, uh, Cap. You know? You know what I mean? It's a word for thirsty girls who want subby boyfriends. Damn. I want subby Twitch viewers. You know what I'm saying? Like primies, tier oneies. You know what I'm saying? Like, bam. You know? Yo, what up, Todd? What up? What up? What's good, Chief? Yo, we, we are, guys, spoilers, but we're in Shadowbringers, okay? We are in shadow bringers and we are bringing the shade i am cooking i'm burning the things that i'm cooking um it's happening it's happening yeah that was actually what that was actually really good timing that was actually a insane raid timing based on convo um <laughs> Let the rebels <laughs> you know, begin! Perfect! I got my subbies, man. Uh, Todd, how was your stream? I, I watched your, uh, I, I hope it was good. I hope it was good. I hope you had a good one. We've been slamming MSQ today and also leveling Ninja. My Ninja is level 50 right now, guys. So that's kind of what I've been doing a lot of the last couple days is hitting Shadowbringer. So like all of Todd's new viewers um, that have just come in. I've been doing a lot of, um, uh, Ninja leveling and Shadowbringer's MSQ. I'm... I am uh, a WoW refugee. I don't know why I'm doing that, because I actually am. I don't know why I'm doing that as if I'm like not, because I am one. Um, so uh, so yeah, I'm like f first time MSQ, Sprouty Boy, going through all the content and stuff. Uh, so if you like that kind of stuff, then this will be a good stream for you. Um, but yeah, I hope you had a good one, Todd. Um, and uh, we watched your video yesterday, actually. We watched your video, which was really interesting. It's very interesting. It's kind of being a refugee if you still play WoW. I think if you play WoW a lot less, I think if you, yeah, like I play WoW in the sense that like, I am not in the top 10 of Ferals right now. That, that, uh, that shows you I'm in refugee mode. The last time I wasn't top 10 Ferals, I think I was four years old, okay? That, that'll tell you. Uh, are you still a refugee? I think it's still good to put in. Some people get attracted to the whole, like, wow thing, you know? I, 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 it's like, what, what I'm trying to... The, the refugee thing is... That's just semantics. What I'm trying to get at is, like, I'm an ex-wow player, or, like, I'm a wow player that also does a bunch of FF. FF's my mainstream game and stuff. And that's, that's more so the point that I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's, necess uh, like, a necessity to, like, have quit wow per se, but, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the video was interesting, Todd. I, I liked it, man. I liked it. I don't know whether to post, like, my, like, reaction to it on YouTube or something, or, or like, I I'd love to see, 
sit down with you and talk about some of your thoughts about because i think you see wow and ff like it's very interesting how you see it because i think i i look at i mean you've been playing wow for like a long time but i'd love to talk talk to you uh at length about ff one day it'd be very nice it'd be very nice uh so what you say is you play multiple games uh yeah but you gotta word it you gotta word it diff you know You can't just have in your title, like, multi-game athlete. Well, you could try. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get through this cutscene and see what's happening. Um. Ahem. Is there aught you wish to say to me? A word of thanks, perhaps? I'd love to get Todd uh, on the podcast. Me and Russell got to start it back up again. Mm. Emmett Selk, the Asian of whom I spoke. Twas he who plucked thee from the live stream. Oh yeah, your stroller's not met him yet, has she? This will be the first time. I see. Thank you. Differences notwithstanding, you saved my life, and for that I am grateful. <laughs> but let us turn our attention to more important matters, such as the katana ravel. Flashbang. Flashbang. You had better not have explored its depths without me. Oh my god, it dude, you do you understand how difficult it is to have a podcast with Russ? Because every two weeks he's further behind me than he was two weeks prior. You know what I mean? Like every Like, I can't talk about any of the content that's in fresh in my mind. Like, I can't talk about any of it when it's in the moment. I have to think back. Like, Russell gets to talk about shit, and he gets to sound, like, so smart because he's like, yeah, well, like, this mechanic with da 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 and, like, this, this, and then this happened with this. And then I just have to be like, ah, oh, shit. I, yeah, maybe you're right about that, I think. It's so hard. I have to like go and do homework. I have to go play New Game Plus. If I want to do a podcast for us, I got to do New Game Plus, man. I'm going to start an alt just so I know what the fuck is going on, okay? He's in like Heaven's Ward patch 3.1. Uh, he like has almost beat his first extreme. You know, you know, it's like. I'm going to. I started the game two weeks after Russ. I'm going to be able to do. Be able, I'm going to be able to be an MSQ vampire for a guy who started the game the same week as me. How does that even make any sense? It doesn't. It doesn't, chat. It doesn't make any sense. You figure it out. No, it's a good time, though. I'm just memeing. It's a good time. Uh, where is he in the MSQ? I don't know. He's like punch three points. I think he's in the. I, I know he's on AAS. And I think he's in, like, post-patch. You know. Remember when we thought he might catch up because you were playing WoW? Yeah, because I was doing, like, one day a week of WoW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just finished 3.3. .3. Okay. Okay. Good to say about that. I didn't play Shadowbring. So oh, yes, yes. Sure, Kujo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. We are still doing the podcast, but it's been a bit on hiatus since I came to Japan because, like, the time difference, and I just needed time to, like, get to Japan and get set up and everything like that. But we are planning on doing, I think, an episode, like, next week, I think we want to try and do. Um, we're not doing this uh, one this week because I've got the Formula One tomorrow, and I didn't want to stay up till 1 a.m. doing a podcast uh, if I'm if I got Formula One to go to. Uh, so we're going to try and do it next week, but we got to see because I'd have to do it at like my midnight, my 1 a.m., which kind of fucks me for like the Saturday. And then also it's like really potentially loud for my neighbors. So I got to see, like, I'll probably, if I do do a podcast, it'll be me being very like quiet whilst I'm doing it. It'll be me sort of like, like my energy might be a bit different when I do it, but yeah. 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 Logan Sergeant crash in practice. Oh shit. Wait. Bro, wait, hold on. Didn't he just... 
didn't he just... Didn't he just swap chassis with Albin? I'm just saying, they're on the same team, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just... So he crashed, then Albin crashed, then they fixed Al... Uh, they fixed Sergeant's car, which they then gave to Albin, which... Then they... When they fixed Albin's car, they didn't swap the chassis back. They just let Albin keep... Albin keep the better chassis. And then now... Sergeant's crashed his anyway. Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Poor Logie Bear. Unlucky, dude. Um, right. Where am I going with this cutscene? So, heavens no. In fact, I was awaiting your return. Uh, I'll tell you after you've got some rest. Uh, sure. I mean, none of it really matters. I guess. I mean, I don't think is is Ranjit gonna be well, dead? Almas and the others should be pleased to see you in such uncharacteristically high spirits. Let us return to Fanoff then and discuss the coming expedition. I bet he's still alive. He seems insanely like OP. But isn't S Sergeant's replacement like Latifi? <laughs> no, no, no. Latifi's out, isn't he? Who's their replacement driver? No, Latifi was prior, huh? What a touching reunion that was. It fair brought a tear to the eye. But as we both know, such tender moments are nothing if not momentary. Before long, they will remember their many differences and return to squabbling. Says the Archbringer of Chaos. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, my dear. But seriously, we Asians do what we do for the greater good. For the rejoining. Ooh. Though we may sow the seeds of chaos, it is men who tends them. He who reaps their bountiful harvest. But I grow tired of these arguments. If you would kindly refrain from retorting and return to your customary brooding silence, I would take it as thanks, thanks for rescuing your companion and leave it at that. Now we mustn't keep your friends waiting. He just seems like very, uh... What's the word? How would you describe Emmett? Like, not confrontational, perhaps, but sort of like, he doesn't... He doesn't really, like, back down. I talked to him. He, he, he made me talk to him. he didn't know where he was on the track when he crashed god damn poor kid man i mean how long has he been in formula one now is this his first season or is this is, he, is this his rookie season or is this his second second year oh eh. self-indicate he definitely i don't know feels like justified or something like feels like his actions are, are right so you know Oh. I told you, I tire of these inane arguments. Shouldn't you be getting ready to slay the next Light Warden or something? Oh, okay. Ooh. My apologies for having put you all through such an ordeal. I could see no other way to save the Knights blessed. Or blessed. Happily, both they and I yet live, thanks to you. But our work here is not yet done. We must make ready to enter the Katana, uh, Katana Ravel and put the Light Warden to the sword. Oh, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Conviction. Yes. With the, Ilmur with the Ilmorans gone and your companion now returned, I think it's best you go now before they can regroup. 
with magic flowing once more through the Great Pyramid of Uxna, the entrance to the Katana Ravel should now open. Ravel? 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 Before we leave, Orion J, did you discover anything that may suggest the Light Warden hides elsewhere? Nay. We had but little time before the Omorans' most unwelcome arrival. We scoured the nearby environs and spoke once more with the one called Coril. Coril. Cor Coril. Having hearkened to her tale, it is my judgment that the Sin Eater, which her late mother did a spy, uh, did a spy, is indeed the being we seek, and that is most likely resided in the vicinity of Raktika Falls. In the absence of any subsequent sighting, I have no reason to believe our quarry hath sought out a new sanctuary. Given the considerable difficulty we face in reaching it, he could have been like, nah, bro, I think it's there. Given the considerable difficulty we face in reaching the falls, we may be certain it hath not been disturbed by man. But our course is clear. We must navigate the uh, Katana Ravel and make for Raktika Falls. Or Ravel? Ravel, Ravel, Ravel. Now you see it as but another obstacle to be navigated. Katana Ravel is the oldest and most sacred of our temples, and the accumulated knowledge of the Empire is said to reside within. Knowledge which is rightly yours as allies of Ronka, you are welcome to explore. We fully intend to survey every elm of it once our mission is complete. Were the Emperor still alive, he would be overjoyed to hear you say so. But I must warn you, that the way is open, it will still be heavily guarded. Discourage trespassers and test the worth of our allies. It had, uh, it had to be so. Be careful in there. Yo, wait, what? Grinding Gear Garrett said he'd like to have you on the podcast since Kyle just got baby number three born. Yo, that'd be awesome. Wait, would it just be me and him? That's kind of romantic. Um, yeah, that'd be awesome. I've been saying I'd love to go on their podcast. Like, they seem like cool dudes. And they've... I didn't realize they'd only just finished Endwalker. Hmm. Oh, we knew of my WoW stuff. Oh, that's cool. No way. Nice. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I, I, I'm always down for a podcast. I'm always down. Anytime. Always. That seems so well like Russ, they have an excuse. Well, it's probably hard, like, getting together and... Then again, they've got their... Have they got their... Have they got their new office now where they're, like, together, right? Head east and you will find the path of as your flowers leading to the... Ravel. I wish you safe passage through its halls. How many babies does one need? I mean, you gotta have even teams. I'm one of six. You can have two and two, three on three, you know? Master Matoya, I know I cannot dissuade you from going, so please promise me you will return safely. The Knights Blessed need you. You need not worry, Renan. I shall return and bring with me a long-awaited gift, one the Knights Blessed will treasure now and forevermore. The nighttime sky, baby. Now, let us away. Speak to Emmett. Speak to Emmett. Speak to. E He's gonna tell me to piss off again. Lest you doubt, I won't be helping you do battle with the Light Warden. To accompany you thus is quite taxing enough. Now, if you no further questions. So, what's interesting for me is that Emmett is fine with us killing the Light Wardens. He doesn't care, and he's just staying close by. But Voth, Voth, Voth 3, he does not like us killing the Light Wardens. He is against it. So this idea that I had of, like, is he an Asian? I don't know, because sometimes the Asians disagree with each other. But I don't, I don't know, that wanes a little bit because Emmett doesn't care. But why doesn't he care? Surely he should be stopping us, unless he thinks us doing this is going to lead to a calamity anyway, right? 
or almost as if you're being manipulated. I mean, potentially, but what is the manipulation? That's what I need to uncover, because maybe he thinks that this is going to lead to a calamity anyway. I mean, one thing I'm aware of is, like, us absorbing all this aether from these Lightbringers when we kill them. So maybe that could cause us some problems, and then maybe that will be good for him. Um... Like, obviously, like, we won't turn into one, because then our character, the story ends. But, like, maybe that's what they want to happen. From us absorbing all this, all this power from them. Are there any other Astians here in the first? This is what I want to know. Not a single one. I mean, we can't really trust him. Happily, I'm quite content to mingle with the masses, and even if I did crave the company of my own kind, one might say we're understaffed at present. There are no strict rules governing how we work, though that has not been without its consequences. In the beginning, we were each responsible for a shard, and free to do as we wish. So originally there was 14... Uh, ooh, originally there was 13? And free to do as we wished. Ooh... So, this, okay, so this is a big question, is like, or something I need to think on, is like, if the Asians are working for Zodiac, or if Zodiac is working with them equally, like, whether it's a partnership, or whether they are servants to Zodiac, I, I'm curious as to, like, where the Asians, like, how they come to be, right? And I'm also curious about how the Warriors of Light come to be, right? I imagine that it's, like, again, Splatoon, a chessboard, like, Zodiac, Hydra, and they get to put their chess pieces down wherever they want. Like, it's Battleship, right? They get to put their pieces wherever they want, and then it's, like, play game. So, it's the question of, like, wherever the Asians are coming from, if there's one of them for each world, that seems a little bit too perfect. Did they create the Reflections? And they wanted that many, so each of them could have a world i mean why would they create the reflections to then cause a calamity that wouldn't really make any sense um maybe it just i mean i don't know maybe it just is easy that way maybe there was like 15 of them but they killed two and they were like nah <laughs> we actually we're actually good for subs this week we don't need any subs i think we're good man and they're like Are you sure i can like tap in if one of you guys is tired and they're like nah man <laughs> just kill them see ya Okay, so all these all these questions are swirling around. These are all swirling around, baby. Let's find out. A stork brings Asians after they have some. Oh, oh. There are no strict rules governing how we work. Though that has not been without its consequences. In the beginning, we were each responsible for a shard and free to do as we wished. But Igiyom's impetuous temperament showed us the folly in that. In light of her failings, we took to working in tandem as the situation demanded. Mitrin and Logriff were supposed to take care of the first, of course. Alas, they were slain by the champions of this realm shortly before the flood. Expendable though they were, I found them quite useful. But that is a tale for another time. You blue baller. Okay, so this is why I need to talk to Emmett a lot. What if I say, actually I don't? Run along to your friends and leave me be. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of lore in that, man. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Annie. <laughs> That's perfect. First on chatter with a shrug? Giga chat. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I did. Yes, I did get the climb armor, Pringles. Mm hmm. Do I have any theories on my questions? I don't know. I'm really bad with cooking, like, that kind of stuff, right? Like, I, it's so hard because it's like... It could be anything. It could be magic. It could be just cuz. It could be... Like, so, for example, like, why is there one Asian per world? Because Zodiac created the Asians and he decided that one on each world was, like, good. Or it could be that, uh, shit, I'm trying to think of what the lore is in Kingdom Hearts, where they've got the, like, they've got the council. 
What are they called? Like the thir they're called the Thirteen, aren't they? Funnily enough. Maybe it's something like that. Maybe it's similar to um, Kingdom Hearts. Though I can't remember the Kingdom Hearts lore. Because <laughs> nobody knows. Nobody knows Kingdom Hearts lore. Not even the creator. Um, yeah, Organization 13. Exactly right. Like, I get very similar vibes between... I mean, they literally wear the same robes and shit. Um, why that would be... Again, like, okay. So my, my initial cook is like, oh, cool. Maybe they created the reflections. But why would they create the reflections? We know. Do I know why the reflections were created? In that Minfilia cutscene? Do I know why they were created? Why were they created? I mean, something must have happened. It, it, I'll take a reminder, Snacky. I'll take a reminder if I should already know what, why they were created. Cyber Kawaii, the esteemed guest of whom I have heard so much. My name is Lanil, Master of Rites. It is an honor to meet you. I understand that you will soon be leaving to the Katana Ravel. Is that right? Then the Emperor's wishes will soon be fulfilled. Okay. Comforting thought. With each passing year, more and more of our hunters are lost to the Eaters. They were never a particularly... F uh, Feeson, 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 people. Now it is not impossible to sustain our numbers. Feckend, but we will not be driven from our homes, our way of living. So long as the trees of the great wood stand, so too shall the bees. And to renew our union with the forest, we are holding a small ceremony wherein we offer prayers to the gods. Would you honor us by serving us as witness to this petition to the gods. Feckend, Feckend, yep. I, knew, I was like, it was on the tip of my tongue. Very good. I should mention the ceremony is not a formal affair. In fact, it can be quite lively. But for a hard warrior such as you, it should prove no trouble at all. When you are ready, travel north to the Morning Star and speak with student Fina. She will explain the rites. Gotta get my currents on the way, baby. Oh, I'm only one off. And I get one from Miss MSQ as well, I believe. So this is the last one I need to do. Hold on. That's... And on ceremony. Let me go do that. Yeah, we never were fruit, fruitful and fertile. Mm. Right, I'm getting the exact quote, so I don't have any of my bias or knowledge. Yeah, sure, 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 Snacku. Yeah, perfect, perfect. That's amazing. Organization 13 needed 13 members because the founder wanted to recreate a prophecy where 13 shards of darkness and 7 shards of light would clash to make some super MacGuffin. Huh. Wow. Huh. Boy, that sure doesn't sound familiar. Huh. That just sounds... Hmm. Hmm. Is this game just Kingdom Hearts? It's Kingdom Hearts, isn't it? Business brings you to the morning stars. Okay, I'll read all that stuff in a guy in a sec, guys. And you accepted. This is such an honor. Thank you for coming. Nice one. No, what's wrong with that? I was asking about Kingdom Hearts law. That's fine. Different games. I think. Goodness, where are my manners? My name is Fina. A pleasure to meet you. And this is my sister. Siuna, how do you do? Are you said this is wise. I realize she is an ally of our people, but the ceremony is not meant for outsiders. We cannot go against Master Lanil's wishes. Besides, we may never again have an opportunity. Or such an opportunity. If you insist. Now, let me tell you about the ceremony. I mean, dude, the, 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 the amount of similarities between Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy XIV is insane. Both have, like, this organization of shadowy figures. They both wear the robes. There's people that wear white robes and people that wear black robes. They are conspiring about something. 
you fucking spell your name backwards and it's the other guy like uh, there's the literally there's like the heartless there's the soul eaters right like dude there's so many similarities between kingdom hearts and F ff14 it's insane as Master Lanil has likely already explained, we will renew our bond with the Great Wood through prayer. To ensure our prayers reach to the gods, however, we must first beseech the spirits of the forest for aid. Luckily, the good thing with Kingdom Hearts is as to why me having played Kingdom Hearts doesn't spoil this game is that nobody actually knows Kingdom Hearts. So, even if you play it, you still don't understand what's going on. Once summoned, we must prove ourselves worthy through combat. Only then will our prayers be delivered unto the heavens. As witness to the rites, it is up to you to do battle with the spirits. If you are still willing, of course, I will fight. Wonderful. This will be a ceremony to be remembered. Shall we begin then? Close your eyes and we will attempt to draw forth a spirit with our prayers. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts lore is like where you don't even cook. You just go like, okay, yeah, sure, okay. Oh, gods of the Great Wood, bring us a bounty and wisdom. We call to you now to renew our vows. For the strength to protect these lands, to be the shield that guards against the accursed light, we seek combat with your children, the spirit of the woods, or spirits of the wood, to prove you our worth. <gasps> By the gods! <sighs> the spirits are of opposing forces, fire and ice, a terrible omen. Our prayers are enough to suppress their strength. We cannot cast them out alone. Please, you must strike them down before they wander off into the woods. Dark the line monster from another dimension? I mean, I didn't say that it was exclusive to Kingdom Hearts. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that it just has a lot of... I'm not saying the story is Kingdom Hearts. I'm obviously joking with that, but like... I'm just saying there's a lot of similarities. Bush. Thank you for your help. In light of what we have witnessed, I think it best if we call off the ceremony for now. Spirits of opposing elements is the most dire of omens. The discord between them would prevent our play uh, prayers from reaching to the gods. And this would not have happened, was she not here. We may try again on the morrow, but she cannot be allowed to attend. Sister, please, she is our guest, and picked by Master Lanil. My apologies, it seems your attendance would not meant to be. But you go and inform Master Lanil of what happened. You must remain here and clear the altar. Damn, what dicks. What dicks, bro? Let's just go here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're doing, man. Okay, what was this? So, Snacky, you said, Before there was life, in the depth of the ethereal sea, light and dark did once dwell as one. But the darkness coveted power, and the balance was broken. Ah, the darkness coveted power. Thus was I forced to banish him unto the distant heavens. Now, that sounds to me like a tale of um, history as written by the victor. Thus I was forced to banish him unto the distant heavens, to forever remain apart. <clears throat> a moon bound. In sundering the star, did we cry out? Hmm. Made a part of moon bound. Does that mean a measure of distance? In sundering the star, did we cry out, and the barriers twixt planes chanced to falter. Across ten and three, were we then divided? Reflections of the source, each possessed of a shard. So during the start, did we cry out, and the barriers to explain the chance of falter across ten and three were we then divided? We. I mean, they call the planet Zodiac, don't they? Uh, sorry, they call the planet Hydaelyn, don't they? So, like. Okay. Nah, no, don't clarify any of it, that's fine. Don't clarify it. Zodiac Long is to be made whole for his re restoration for his resurrection. His servants labor without cease. So the rejoining... I, 
I mean, I don't even understand how the rejoining could even would give him power. You know what I mean? Like the planet being whole. Why would that even give him? Why would that even give him power? Back so soon? What of the ceremony? Fire and ice. Thank goodness they were not hurt. Never too late to begin the ceremony anew, but I fear the source of our troubles was not to do with spirits. Bosh. Yeah, cross it. Yes, yes, yes. Turn three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're, they're basically saying Zodiac wanted power. I banned him. I banished him. Um, and in doing so. In doing so the planet was sundered into 14. 13 reflections of the source. I mean, that just sounds like some cooked shit to me. Like, what I... I feel like I could cook for 100 years and just come up with, like, a bunch of just bonkers reasons as to, like, why that would... that all makes sense, you know? Um... They cooked more than, than me? What, who? The, the writers of the game? I hope so. Ooh, hello. Well, you know when, like, a story can have, like, a bunch of different narratives, and, like, some of them can, can, can come down to just, like, well, just because, like, Shogunai. Shogunai. Things can come down to, it is what it is. They can come down to, like, magic is why this happened, or the... Aether caused a surge of power to then do the thing and da -da 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 -da. So I miss based on that quote, it makes me think that Heidelin is stronger when the planets are uh, reflections. So wait, there was balance when it was one planet. But then Zodiac wanted power power over what? If there's already only one planet, what does he want power over? And then by banishing him, it ruptures the planet, which then causes 14, which then makes... Dude, what if we have this all wrong, okay? What if we have this all wrong? What if, okay, because I don't think Hydaelyn is necessarily good. I think it's morally gray. I think both sides are just wanting power. But uh, what if we have it wrong? What if, what if, what if, what if the 14 planets is the chaos? And the Astians are not causing chaos. They're restoring the balance, dude. What if we have it the wrong way? Now that's a fucking cook right there, man. I need to find out more information about Zodiac and... I think I need to find out more information about Zodiac and... Um, and Hydaelyn and like what... Because like... Heimland's like, hey, yo, this guy's bad. He wanted power. I didn't want power. Trust me, he wanted power. It was him. I was just chilling. And it's like, okay, but what if she wanted power and he, you know, like, what if he was chilling? What if she's the bad guy and he's the good guy? Or what if they're both the bad guy? Like I say, history is written by the victor, right? And then also on top of that, um... This is where I want to go and re-watch. To learn more about this game, I want to go watch The Legend of Korra. Okay? Because, um... That has a very Hydaelyn Zodiac-esque dynamic to it. And I'm just going off of that dynamic. Because this reminds me so much of that. The what? The legend of, uh, or, um, Korra? I don't know if it's the legend of Korra, but it's, it's, it's... Do you know Avatar, The Last Airbender? Korra is, like, the spin-off of that, right? Like, the next one? But in that, there's, like, this really... There's, like, this yin and yang, like, light and dark 
literally as one gets stronger, the other one gets weaker. And the whole thing is that if one gets too strong, then they become like all powerful and then it's really bad. So the whole point is that neither of them can get too strong. And one of them was in prison. Literally, one of them, the dark one, is imprisoned. And then like breaks free or starts to get power. I can't remember. So that's why I want to go watch that again. Because that is going to that is going to channel my cook for this game. Because I think it's very similar. So in too deep, lost in the source. Yeah, Rava and Vatu. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. If you're interested in that lore and you're wondering how much it might relate to this, just go Google Rava Vatu, like Cora, and you can read all about it. Uh, right, I'm gonna go tinkle and put the kettle on for tea. And then, but I think we have a trial coming up, right, don't we? So we're gonna get people in for a trial, man. You can feel the aether flowing through the door. A gentle push may be all that's required. Our earlier efforts were not in vain, it seems. Stay on your guard, Cyber. We know not what awaits us inside. Bam. Yeah, by the way, sorry if that was like, I don't know if that's like, that's like not necessarily like, okay, there's kind of maybe spoilery stuff for that show, I apologize, but like, I don't know. I wanted to express how that relates to this, so I, I had to talk about it, but. Um, what am I doing? I can enter, I need to sign up this. There we go, there we go. So. Oh wait, is it only four player? Oh, it's a dungeon. Oh, I thought it was a trial. Okay. Oh, sick. Okay. Um, password is two 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 two. I'm gonna be just be super fair to everyone and just like sign it up. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna just sign up and then I'm gonna AFK for like two minutes and then we're gonna come smash. Okay. One of the best dungeons in the game. You guys say that every dungeon. I love it. I love it. They can't all be the best, but I love that they keep getting better, baby. <laughs> Okay, give me two seconds. Let's get going. Uh, we have a group? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. We go mine, we go silent, yeah, mine. The Empire of Ronka was a place of magic and enlightenment, peace and prosperity. Sadly, it was not meant to last. Though naught but ruins remains. They remain heavily guarded nonetheless. Tanner Ravel, uh, Ravel, what did I say? Ravel? Ravel. 
It's perhaps the most sacred of these sites, home to the ancient wisdom of the past. For the advent of the flood, however, the reason to believe something more sinister now resides here is what? It's the void. Oh no, it's the light. The light. The light. Dude, every time I get it's the void, man. It's, it's the void. It's the void, bro. No, I know why we're here. It's the light warden. It's the thing we've been building up to for the last four days. It's the void. Okay, it's the void. It's Asian. Or it's Sid's dad. Those are that's those are the three. Are there gonna be puzzles in this dungeon as well? That'd be pretty sick. We're also probably annoying. I really wonder if the uh, if the Asians built this empire as well, like they did with what I assume they did with all the others. Yeah, so I, I think I've got like some cook guys, but I think I need to wait and see. Um... Is this a bomb? No, this is not close. Yeah. Okay. I can't, I, I feel like I can't cook more about like the Asian, because I don't know if the Asians are working for Zodiac or if they're working like for him or with him or they're his boss or what, or they're completely just like nothing even to do with him. And I feel like I need to see more about them, like Zodiac and stuff in Heidelin, to figure out like who's the bad guy, who's the good guy, are they both good, are they both bad or what? Or I can really like more on what's what exactly is going on, you know? Because I need some hunters here. Oh, the music is one of the most exciting reasons to look forward to a new MMO. I love it. That'll be great. That's a really good point. That'll be great. The, how they uh, remix their own themes into funky dungeon songs. Yeah. Since Void Asian Father. Oh. Now that, now that would be something special. Uh, hold, hold one sec. Can you guys hold one sec? Hold on, I'm gonna wait. Oh, oh yeah, okay, we're going, we're going, it's fine. I'll pause after this, it's fine. I just need to get my drink, it's no, no sweat. Oh shit, uh, 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 this one, this one, this one. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, no worries. This is a bit loud, isn't it? Uh, oh, it's okay. Uh, it's crazy that it's like the lowest one, and yet it's still so loud. Okay, give me one sec. Please. Don't. up at least uh, okay my throat I've been doing so much reading for MSQ and like reading MSQ is different from reading uh, twitch chat or just like normal messages like just be speaking speaking normally is just it's just different right 
And, um... At the end of a heavy week of MSQ of, like, 10-hour long streams, my throat is butchered, man. Got my little tea and honey. <laughs> no, thank you, Lux. Please, no. Please, no, no, no. Oh, what's that? Okay, that side of the map. Yeah. Aw, yeah. oh, do you guys remember when I first started playing this game? How cute I was. How unaware I was. But luckily, I've improved. Bro, I hate whenever I start. I gotta stop doing that in combat, man. I, I gotta stop doing that in combat. Because every time I do. Oh, wait, it's right side. Oh, left side. Wait, no. Now he's doing that. Bro, I'm so dead. Please help me. Please help me. Why is he meant to be a mod check? I don't, uh, let me see. Oh, Snaku's probably on it, right? Oh no, they're in the dungeon. Hold up. Hold up, because I, I have to look at... Oh, because you... You put Goy. And apparently that's offensive or something. You can say that in my channel, whatever it means. Yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that okay. thing. Oh. I hate opening my stupid fat mouth. I hate it so much. I just, I, it was DPS greed. You saw me hard casting. Like, just grow up. Whatever. Don't care. Get the loot. Boss drop loot. Let's see. It's an upgrade. Moving on, chat. Moving on. Let's focus on ourselves. Focus a little bit less on the streamer, okay? I'm second monitor content, okay? All right. Let's keep it that way, all right? Go back to whatever you're doing, okay? Go back to your Honkai, Honkai Star Rail dailies, okay? Your Honk Shmi dailies, baby. Rank 1 Feral, by the way. Uh, I think you'll note that I'm not playing Feral right now, so it doesn't count. Not a Rank 1 Samurai. Not yet. What did Ayrton Senna say? Ayrton Senna said a, a driver, a rate, a, a driver who no longer goes for a, a gap. Oh, I need to get this exact quote. Hold on. Hold on. I need this exact quote. If you no longer go for a gap that exists, you're no longer a racing driver, okay? That's what Ayrton Senna said. One of the, the best Formula 1 drivers to ever exist, okay? Who may have potentially died in a Formula 1 racing incident. But, 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 he's right. Gotta go for that gap, baby. Tab, 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 tab. There we go. Wasn't his fault. I oh, know. If you're, if you no longer go for the hard cast, you're no longer a passer. Okay. It is poorly, boy. It is. It's tomorrow. I'm going. I'm going up to Suzuka tomorrow. Um. I'm. I'm, it's going to be my first long trip solo excursion in Japan. Three hours of public transport to get there. 
Then I, I'm going to watch some of the practice sessions uh, and the quali. And then I'm going to uh, chill for the evening a little bit in Suzuka, see what's going on. And then go to my hotel, grab some grub, make some, make some TikToks and stuff. And then uh, wake up in the morning Sunday, ready for the race, baby. Yeah. Have you got a brolly? I actually do. Is it going to rain? Forecast the rain, yeah? Normally, Suzuka always rains. It did last year. Here the cars go. I'm stoked, man. I'm really excited. Really excited. I actually, um, I really want to get, when I move back to, to England, if I, if I move back, right, wherever I go, I want to get a racing sim. I want to build my own sim at home. I really want to do, like, iRacing. It looks fun as shit. And I think I'd actually be a good racing driver, okay? I think I'd actually be good at that shit. You guys know me. What am I known for? What am I known for in Final Fantasy already? Reflexes. Check. Awareness. Check. Mental fortitude. Check. Okay? What else? I got a fat neck. Right? I'm just saying. I'm not sure about awareness. Look, I let you know. I let you know what I want you to know about my awareness. These clips aren't going to make themselves. You guys should be expecting to act it out. <laughs> oh, that actually be sick. Yeah, no, I want to. I want to make a sim, bro. And then, <laughs> bless me, I'm blessed. I was sneezing. I was sneezing. I was sneezing. I was sneezing. That was a chemical. That was chem. That was that was a chemical. That was a chemical distraction. Biological. Nothing I could do. Nothing I could do. The zero outplay. Zero outplay. Black rose. <laughs> Black rose bongo drums. Chemical bomb stack. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Mhm. Mm Oh, what if you are driving a Formula One car and you do have to sneeze? I've been driving before and I have to sneeze, and oh my god, it's so scary. Because you're just like, it's, it. it's the ugliest sneezes you'll ever get in your life. Because you're like, your eyeballs and shit are all beady, like, that's it. You can't even move, you sneeze, you have to sneeze all over, you sneeze, you sneeze all over your forearms. Horrible. Because you can't, you can't, like, a chew, you gotta be like, I mean, you have your hands 10, 10 and 2, right? No, what is it? 7 and 2? What is it? What do you have your hands? 10 and 2. 10 and 2, baby. 10 and 2. 10 and 2. Uh, 2. <laughs> uh, it's horrible. Horrible. Hmm. <laughs> But no, I used to do casting. I did, I did casting as a guest. Well, I did guest hosting for iRacing one time. I'd really love to get back into it. I really want to get back into it. But I want to get a sim and play the game. And who knows? Maybe end up at a Formula One racetrack one day interviewing people. Who knows? Who knows, man? Let your dreams, let your dreams flow forth. Pretty dungeon? Yeah, lovely. I was gonna take a screenshot. Looks beautiful. Why aren't I getting all these dungeons as part of my roulettes when I'm doing it, man? Click on all loot options, pass on everything. Why is there no pass on everything option? Worn out. Yeah, I've gotta do them before I can unlock them, but I mean like. I always end up with, like, Tamtara Deep Croft. I mean, obviously, if you do low-level dungeons and shit, right? But, like... That's funny. 
Uh, somebody said something about somebody being a professional driver. What was that about? Or a racer or something? Ask Jesus. Oh, wait. Hold on. Ask Jesus to take the wheel. Yeah. Do you, don't you think FF14 is slow compared to WoW? It is until you get to a high... Like, it, it is, yes. But... That doesn't mean that the combat is bad. It just is different, right? The Yes. Final Fantasy, early stage, like early levels, the combat is way slower. But when you get higher level, it speeds up a smidge because you start to get GCDs and OGCDs and you're weaving the OGCDs with the GCDs. And depending on what class you play, some things are faster than others. Um, but the, the mechanics are harder than WoW. So you want a, a longer GCD doesn't feel as bad because you're committing more brain power to mechanical execution. So if you were doing WoW level mechanics with a slow GCD and no OGCDs, it would feel a bit weird. But in FF it works. You just need to get to a high enough level for it to really work. Yeah. But low level, yeah. When you're level 20, 30, 40, 50, you're just like... Wait, Nups races pro? He races pro? Oh, does he? Oh, Nup Nups is in Preacher's, like, dude. I gotta stop calling him Preach. He always tells me to stop calling him Preach. He always tells me off about that. Ah, oh, sick. I'll speak to him, actually. Does he have a... I'll have to see if he's got, like, a sim and stuff. Uh, sorry, like a, like a rig. Can't wait for the level 19 month gameplay from Sai. I'm excited. We'll see. Okay, this guy looks pretty cool. So yeah, the, the, the combat in this game is just like different, right? So... I know, it's a common complaint. It was definitely a complaint that I had early on, and it's still a complaint that I have for, like, low-level... Okay. Oh, he's gonna inhale all these. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh... Oh, no, I get it, I get it, I get it. Was that what I had to do? Maybe? Maybe I didn't even need to do that, because I just... I arm... I, um... Arm's length. Maybe I didn't even need to do that. Uh, yeah, it's still a complaint I have for, like, early level... Um... Gameplay of this game. I still think they should look at improving, like, the speed at which you get abilities, and the types of abilities you get. You should get quicker rotations. You should get more complete rotations quicker in this game. It's still an issue with me, but it's like, um... It gets better, so... Yeah. I thought that was going to be like prevent the knockback. I thought I thought standing on it was like the idea. I thought, but I don't think I needed to. I think I could have just. I think you want to avoid getting knocked back into the goo. FF is very much like it's either option A or option B kind of thing. It's like now I want to be here. No, uh, you son of a bitch. That's a ping diff, bro. Go and him this monk. Yeah, monk is really cool. Monk has taken me a long time to get even like decent at to play and do mechanics and talk to stream. See if I could get someone else chunked, but I was too slow. No, that was it. Chat, that was an intentional troll gone wrong. Wait, hold on. Somebody told me the uh, Light Warden was a Feral Druid. You weren't lying. It actually is a Feral Druid. 
Oh, I'm gonna play Viper when it comes out. Yeah, lowest GCD. I'm playing Viper when it comes out. 100%. Toe beans. <laughs> Bracelet? Yeah, I'll take it. I actually probably should have taken that. Yo, I like when their bodies don't disappear, man. Oh yeah, let me even be in the middle. Yeah, thanks. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Dude, I thought he disappeared for a second. Hold on, that's pretty cool. guys I didn't think you'd believe me when I was telling the truth <laughs> well I mean we're in a we're in a forest right so part of me was like hmm I wonder if he's telling the truth it's like I wonder if it's like a wolf or a dog or something or a Oh yeah? If I ever get any red ones, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna suck up suck up the juice. What time is it for you guys? Like 4 a.m., yeah? 4 a.m.? Six twenty. Okay. Two p.m. Oh, okay. You guys are fine. Four a.m. Oh, get shit on Orion. Enjoy the flashbang, my friend. Dude, I am absolutely full of this, this light stuff, man. It's ironic that you start getting called the Warrior of Darkness as soon as you start absorbing like metric shit tons of light <laughs> and then everyone starts calling you the warrior of darkness hilarious <gasps> night time the light warden is dead the blessed's prayers have been answered i that they have Her condition yet troubleth thee? <laughs> it does. Though she shows no immediate signs of corruption, the danger remains. She must be told. Why can they detect this about me, but I can't detect it about me? I guess... Would you describe it to me, Marie-Ange? Paint for me a picture with your words. Oh, you want him to describe it? Come on, bro. Really? I, there's a big tree in the middle. There's lots of little trees. Um, verily. A sea of shimmering stars. Diamonds strewn across a raven gown. Boundless and beautiful. Is an exquisite sight, not unlike that of the source. Calm and gentle and forgiving. I can see it. <laughs> you guys looking, yeah? Look up. <laughs> Dude, that's my favorite thing about Twitch chat is when people use emotes. Okay, I'm gonna say the dumbest shit. When people use emotes to react, like... <laughs> okay. I'm basically just describing what an emote is right now, but like... <laughs> I love it when people, like, pretend that they're fucking here right now, you know? Uh, it's so good.
for however deep the void or wide the expanse, there is no shore so distant as to be beyond the reach of light. Ominous though that may sound, given our present travails. Oh, she gave him a little ass slap, dude. Well fought. Let us return home. Noted. Use emotes to react. Yeah. <laughs> Void, void. <gasps> okay, yes, yes. Oh, she stepped on him. The murals. If I am not mistaken, they predate the Empire. Oh, it's cook time, baby. How can you tell? A peculiarity of the paint. Most are made from mineral-based pigments. But whatever was used here is older than anything I have ever seen. She's talking about me. I just hit 30 this year, and it's pretty, been pretty tough, actually. So. According to Almut, this sanctuary was built to preserve the wisdom of the ancients. What events do these murals commemorate, I wonder? Here he is. Must you always linger after defeating your enemies? Navigating these halls on foot is exhausting. <laughs> Come to lead us to safety, have you? I was bored. But how is the hero of the hour? I look so good. Hmm. Fighting fit, I see. Keep up the good work. You're plotting something. Hmm. Bro, he wants me to keep absorbing light, bro. He wants it. That's what he's checking. He's checking every if, hour how my vitals every are. Every day. But <laughs> never you mind about that. As I have told you a thousand times before, I like to watch. Nothing more. Yeah. Okay. I think he's just switching, man. I think like the light was close to winning, and then he's like, "All right, fuck it. We'll let, we'll let this shit pan out. See what happens." Well, I would quit this place, and I suggest you do the same. There is yet work to be done. Ah, oh, there is a sight to bring a tear to the eye. Filthy, what are you saying? I'm honest because I love you, but your glam looks like a wow twink who just has random gear that is best for him at that time, but none of it matches. Do, have you even seen what my character... Like, what are you even saying, dude? Do you have eyeballs in your head? He's not wrong. Oh, do you want me to wear jeans? Jeans? What are jeans? You want me to wear jeans, bro? And a fucking leather jacket. Um, you know what? You guys are gonna piss me off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you off today because I'm feeling nice, and I'm gonna continue the cutscene. Okay. You recognize these scenes? That I do. Indeed, there was a time when anyone and everyone would. Okay. Heidelin Zodiac and whatever this is. That must be our planet. No, it can't be because in there. Until one calamitous day when the world was divided across ten and three reflections, sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. 
Okay, shut the hell up, chat. This is this is law dump time. Everyone shut the hell up. It's one point to stay when the world was divided across ten and three reflections, sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. Okay. And the worst part? No one could remember it. Not really. Just fragments and fleeting memories of an achingly familiar world. A vision shared of a paradise lost. Preserved only in song and scripture and paint. Once upon a time. Yet here we find ourselves again. To look, learn, and remember. So... I can't tell if he's talking in, like, from an onlooker's perspective, or if he's talking about his own experience, right? Because it seems very personal, but he uses language to make it seem like, like he's just an onlooker. <laughs> Let's see what else he says. Then share with us the stories you know so well. We are listening. We are listening. We are checking. Before the great sundering, there was one world. Shh, a shut world up. that knew shh, naught shh, but shh, peace shh, and prosperity. Shh. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Until it was faced with a crisis. Unprecedented. Terrifying. Civilization found itself perched upon a precipice, staring into oblivion. But through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. Zodiac was his name, and by his grace was the calamity averted. Shut the, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shh. Zodiac was his name, and by his grace was the calamity averted. Oh, this just made things clearer, but more complicated. So, he's saying that Zodiac prevented the calamity. Which resulted in the world still having a, a, a catastrophic event which turned it into 13 shards that doesn't sound like he did a very good job um and they're saying zodiac save saved everyone zodiac. sounds like a pr hold on through prayer and sacrifice a Zodiac, a Zodiac and Heidelin just primals? This was a question I had ages ago. Ages ago in like ARR, like are they primals? Pri it's primals all the way down, baby. A savior mighty and magnificent. Deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought, yet some thought otherwise. Hmm. From the fears of these naysayers would rise Hydalin. She who was to serve as his shackles. To bind him and hold him in check. Wait, what the fuck? So they, okay, hold on, hold on. So if I'm understanding this correctly, so they... They summon Zodiac to stop a calamity. And then these other dudes... These other dudes are like, no, that guy's... Don't do that. We got our own imaginary friend. That's like kind of the whole like... 
two kids are about to have a fight, and then they're like, well, I'm going to get my brother on you. And they're like, well, yeah, I'm going to get my dad on you. So they then summon Hydaelyn. She also serve as his shackles to bind him and hold him in check. So they fought, and they fought, and they fought, and in the end, Hydaelyn was victorious. With all her strength, she smote him, dealing a blow so devastating that it split the very fabric of reality. And thus was Zodiac banished and his being divided. That concludes today's lesson on long-forgotten history. Though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account. Don't talk about my fucking mom, moment. bro. Don't, don't, don't talk about my mother. Okay, so this is very pertinent, right? Because he's saying like, like he's biased, right? He's biased about this, but there's cave paintings. So, but I guess they're open. These cave paintings you could interpret as Heidelin being the good one. So, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I can only assume I misheard, but it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Heidelin are not gods. But yes, thank Rid. Mm-hmm. What? Not gods of the first? Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or... Oh... Oh... Oh, he's just realized we're stupid, bro. This is Twitch chat when they think I'm cooking in the right direction, and then... Our streamer, bro. Our streamer. They are gods after a fashion, yes. But no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. They're primals. Formed of faith and prayer, of conviction and devotion. The eldest and most powerful of primals. You have spun quite a tale. Funny that he didn't say icons and he's the creator of the Empire. Would have been a nice touch. Actually, I think him saying primals is even better because it shows that he isn't truly Empire. Which is an even better touch. Oh, yeah, this line was in the launch trailer, which is why we suge su suggested not watching it. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, okay, I definitely shouldn't have watched that then, yeah. But, I mean, they say I definitely shouldn't have, like... This is a pretty sick reveal, but I think it's this whole cutscene in general that I'm kind of more interested in, you know? Like, that one reveal is, like, not, like, such a ma- Like, that's- That one reveal of them being primals is actually, like, pretty reasonable. Like, that was one of my theories pretty early on. Yet you have not explained the role of the Asians in all of this. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? Buckle in, buckle in, chap, buckle in. Everyone got your, your juice box? You got your juice box? You got your chicken nuggies? Let's go. Okay, do I cook? Shall I, shall I try and pre-cook what I think the Asians are? No, I don't know. Bro, I got no clue, bro. Bro, I got no clue, bro. Nah, I think I need to just eat, man. I think... I don't know. In all of this, I still don't know. Like... They just seem like disciples of Zodiac. They just seem like disciples of Zodiac. That's all I know. They seem like the they seem like this the Scions, but for Zodiac, right? Nah, I, I I don't even have a cook. I like nothing of this has helped my cook of them. You know what I mean? Like this has helped me understand more about the Source, the Asians, uh, the Source, Hydaelyn, Zodiac, but it's not helped me learn more of 
the Astians yet. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let the cutscene do its thing. <laughs> finally, finally, you ask the right question. And shrewd questions warrant honest answers. Yeah, don't worry about the launch trailer, guys. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's chill. It's chill. Because if you keep talking about that, you're going to miss the big reveal, alright? I know you guys have never played this game before, and I don't want you to miss out. We Asians know because it is our history. Our story. I fucking knew it, dude. I knew it. Wait, did people just get hit with an ad? Oh my god, Twitch, that is hilarious. Twitch has got no chill, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. Get Twitch Turbo or Sub or something. I don't know. Unlucky. Unlucky. That is hilarious timing, though. <laughs> Kek, you didn't cook it? I know, far, Dude, that makes... Okay. So they're the... I mean, I said they're disciples of Zodiac, right? That's close enough. That's close enough, man. It was we who summoned Zodiac. We natives of that sundered paradise. Uh. Damn. Okay, so that whole idea, like, when we were talking earlier about like, the whole, like, whether Zodiac, like, whether there were 13 of them and he created one for each or something like that, like, no. This is just, the Asians are just, well, yeah, his, well, I mean, I guess, I guess like, yeah, his disciples, but, like, more specifically, his, cre his creator. Ooh, so that answers my question of, like, whether they're working for him or he's working for them or whether they're in a partnership. I get what 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 are we what are we what are we what are we saying? Is this a partnership? Should we call it call it even? It's a smidge of a partnership. Hmm. You hinted at it, but doubled yourself on that. But oh, doubted myself on that. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? Right, so they think the rejoining is going to restore everything back. But that doesn't make any sense, because we're on the source. So, if they... Like, we're on the source, so how does that actually make any sense? Unless when the... When it happens... Wait, didn't he say some shit about, like... Everybody forgot, like nobody knows. So then, how do they know? There was a time when everyone and anyone would, till one claimed to stay, when the world was divided across ten and three reflections, sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. And the worst part, no one could remember it, not really, just fragments and fleeting memories of the achingly familiar world. Vision shared of a paradise lost, preserved only in song and scripture and paint. So the source is their world, but... But they don't... But no one remembers it? And then I guess a bunch of time has passed, because they created the Empire. So they've been on... Okay, so they didn't come from another planet. That also answers my uh, question. Like, are they from a... Are they a cosmic entity? But... They're not... So they're not aliens. They are actually the OGs, man. But they live forever? Yeah, don't answer my cooks, guy. I'm not gonna look at chat just in case anyone has said anything in the last, like, 30 seconds or something. Yeah, just shrug, man, just shrug. Don't worry, I've not looked at chat if, if, if there were any reveals there. For our world. For our people. 
for all creation to be made whole again. Right, so they want to sort of... They want to restore it to how it was, but how it truly was in time, in space, not just having the source. Okay. And this makes sense why they're kind of on board with Varys, and Varys wants the same thing, but like... Does Varys know this? Because surely he doesn't know this, right? Because, okay, obviously don't answer shrug, 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 shrug. But, like, I'm assuming Varys doesn't know this, because Varys is pushing for, like, the Empire to rule everything. But if a calamity happens, then he's going to disappear, bro. So, oh, dude, my brain is, oh, I'm going to be so tired after the stream. So, if they want to restore back to how everything was on their world. Ah, uh, well, he just says for it to be made whole again. No, well, let me see. The Great Rejoining. For our world, for our people, for all creation to be made whole again. So, would it restore everyone, or would it just... Like, there's two scenarios. It restores the world to how it was, or it restores... And, like, and all the people, and, like, it reverses the time, and, and none of this ever happened, and we all disappeared, none of us, none of us ever existed, and, it like, rewinds time and everything and it puts everything back to where it was or the other scenario is that it recreates the whole world but doesn't affect the time so people don't come back it doesn't restore the like sort of um it wouldn't restore the yeah like where it was like it wouldn't go back in history it would just be the planet and then they could try and rebuild as Asians. And, like, try and rebuild their life. But then, what's the point in that if there's only... It's, like, four of them left, bro. Hmm. Okay. Wouldn't you wish for the same? Snacky, you can actually do that these days. If somebody does post a spoiler, you can actually... I mean, the problem is, is it'll pop up here, right? Spicy, old up, Josh. Oh my goodness, holy shit, that was so much information. So we know where the Asians are from, we know where Zodiac and Heidelin are from. Yo, guys, Shadowbringer is a pretty good expansion, huh? Pretty good expansion. I can't believe I had to go and deal with some Scottish fairies just for this reveal, you know? Oh, uh, that's going to be like a weekend cook, man. This is going to be something I'm going to need to keep revisiting. Um... <clears throat> But, uh, this is completely new information. I mean, it is for me. It is for me. This will be on the test. Oh, god damn. Um, yeah, I'm going to be watching that. So this is, okay, I'm pretty happy, though. I'm pretty happy. Because a lot of this stuff where I've been saying this whole time, like, is Zodiac truly bad? Mor you know, talking about things being morally gray. Who's bad? Who's good? Are we the good guys? Are we not? Is light good? Is dark good? Etc. And this kind of answers a lot of that. Assuming that he's telling the whole truth. Right? Um... <laughs> yeah, Gregorius. Yeah, you will. You will. Um... Uh, so... Okay. Okay. So they want to rejoin because they want to like return the world to where it was. They want to, they want to, I'm assuming like bring everybody back. Yeah. Which let me just think about that as a question, right? If that's the, the, the case of it for our world, for our people, for all of creation to be made whole again. Cause the whole thing Varys said about like when, when the, What's it called again? The not the shattering? The shattering? What's it called? The fact the what's it called? The shattering? 
Sundering, Sundering. He doesn't even know, bro. He doesn't even know that it's called the Sundering. Um, when the Sundering occurred, that's what, like, Varys mentioned about all the races being created then. All the races were created, and then, like, he's talking about this, like, perfect race and stuff, because he's all, he got, a, he got a little bit Nazi on us. Um, but he's talking about, like, the, the, like, pure races and stuff like that. So, I guess when all the, I'm just confused. I don't really get that, though, because if you have one planet and then it splits into 14, do you insta-spawn a whole population on a planet? Or does, like, life have to evolve? Like, I, I assume there's, like, some kind of... I mean, it's a reflection of the world, so it's, like, not a perfect copy. Kind of like in science, when you're... Uh, with, uh, with genes, DNA, when you're transcribing, translating, you get errors. Right? You get mutations. Maybe that's kind of what these reflections are. Where, like, you know... I look like a normal human, but actually, on a different planet, I'm a bunny girl, okay? Uh, so maybe it's kind of like that, where it's like, they're seeing like an impure, impure recreation of their world, and they're like, let's just scrap it all, rejoin it all, go back to how things were. Because I guess to them, like, none of this, none of this is real, you know? Like, we're just reflections, none of this is real. But what about the source, though? That's where I'm confused, is like with the source and it being their planet, but it's my planet. I'm confused, man. Uh, Perfect Race seems a little bit Aryan. Yeah, the Empire in this game, Josh, is like very, they're, they're like, they're basically carbon copy Nazi ideology and everything. They have, their, their fashion sense is on point. Their political viewpoints, you know, leave you wanting. Um, but yeah, they're very much like, uh, very much like that. Yeah, kind of like Rome plus Nazi ideology. Well, Rome, Rome style Nazi uh, ideology. Um, yeah, that is exactly the issue. What about the source? But that's my planet. Well, the Asians are like, but no, it's their planet. But it's my planet though. That that one's confusing for me. I get the reflections. The reflections are like not a pure copy. Of, they're, they're like a, they're an impure copy of the source. So that's fine. And they want to just scrap. They want to just start again. They don't think any of that is like. Well, I'm not going to say they don't think any of the other, but I guess in theory, technically, the reflections aren't real. So they don't care about people. Because he's like, wouldn't you want the same? Like, wouldn't you want to restore everything? So... That's what I'm cooking? That's what I'm... That's what I'm kind of getting? But... Yeah... Mustache Man had some pretty big designers. Yeah, dude. They 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 they, they could make a uniform. It's, the first feels pretty real right now. Yeah, I mean it feels real to me. It feels it feels right to me. And yeah, Josh, you're saying there's probably gonna be rain for Suzuka? Yeah, probably. It always rains in Suzuka, man. It always rains. I'm gonna take my brolly with me. I'll be set. Imagine the source is the original bowl, and then you poured the contents evenly across 13 other small containers, but the Asians are trying to put them all back in one bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm, yeah, and then I'm stressing the point of, like, this sort of mutated version, you know? Because it's like a reflection, it's not perfect, right? So fun to watch you cook and enjoy. It's been a, uh, such a nostalgic, awesome trip. I hope you had an amazing weekend. Be safe. Thank you, Duskia. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. And you're heading off. Good night. Good night. Take it easy, my friend. Keep an eye out for a rip British dude with a WoW umbrella. I actually, okay, I'm gonna have my WoW backpack. I'm gonna have my BlizzCon backpack. But I'll have a normal umbrella, but I will be the six foot one white guy in a crowd of five foot six Japanese dudes. I might stick out a smidge. I'm gonna be on like the D um, section. Uh, let me see if I can find it, actually. Let me see Suzuka as a track. Let me see if I can show you, a. Uh... Okay. This looks right. This looks correct. I am sat 
like here somewhere. It must not be there because I think that's like, I think there is like, there is seating, seating here along here. But I'm going to be like here, I think. Or here, something like that. So there's the start. Though I'll probably hopefully be able to, I mean, it's a long, like obviously it's like really like a lot bigger in real life, right? This is merely a model. Um, but, uh, I might hopefully be able to have a view of the, of the start. And as I come through, they, they'll probably be going a decent speed. So you pay for watching a car speed by for you for one second. There should be screens as well. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's like, it's like anything like I've never been bothered about going to a race before in my life, but the fact that, um, the fact that, like, this is the only time in my life I'm ever going to be able to go to one in Japan. It's just like, yeah, I'm going to do it. That's what I'm in Japan for, is to go and experience things. I think it's a fun, like, it's a fun day out. Like, you, you're watching, you're watching the cars going past. You're there with the fans and everything, getting into it. Have a beer or two, you know? Have some food. Like, it's, chill. it's just like a nice day out, you know? Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. You won't see the start finish line, but you've got some nice corners. Yeah, I think it should be. I think it should be good. I mean, like the thing is, is like you can to get the really nice seats. You're looking at, you're looking at over a grand, and I'm not gonna pay a grand for a two-hour sporting event. You know, it's like crazy. You know, sounds like it'll be fun. I hope so. I, I think it'll be fun. It's the thing for me is it's gonna be me traveling. It's gives me a reason to go travel somewhere in Japan and experience something. So I think that's really important to me. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, is like I'll be honest. Even though I go, the race itself will be way better on TV. Hundred um, percent. I think football is one thing where it's actually better live. F football is for sure better live. It's it's so especially if you're behind the goal. And like up the stands and you can just see like it looks so good can i enjoy the brain blasting again or keep getting all right awesome ryan thank you so much thanks for hanging out today you have a great night yeah it's an atmosphere sport when you're viewing yeah 100 percent. yeah 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 but formula one's a hard one when you're live viewing because you don't get to see the full thing right which that that's gonna make it a bit worse but like again it's the experience like the, the japanese fans are like crazy they dress up they make like hat like they just go wild, dude. So I think it'll be really fun. I think it'll be really fun. Um, but yeah. Um, what are you saying, Luffy? said, what I wanted though is if the reflections were very similar when they first came to be, but diverged with their own history since then. Uh, because if you look at the map, Norvrant is shaped exactly like Eorzea. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, because, I mean, like, this is the thing, is, like, does evolution exist in this world? Does uh, tectonic plate movement exist? Like, all that kind of shit, right? Like, all that kind of stuff. I mean, normally the way that they change things, so, for example, um, in the source, we had the Bahamut Calamity, which resulted in um, uh, Ishgard being snowy and cold. Whereas in the first, it's not like that. So they seem to normally not use like evolution or that kind of thing as a mechanism. They normally try and use like major events as like a driving force for a lot of the stuff, I guess, you know. How much are we going? I think I'm wrapping up. I think I'm wrapping up. It's eight o'clock now. I've been live for 10 hours. So I'm, I'm, I'm probably wrapping up. I mean, if there's anything else left that you guys think like, oh, sorry, maybe, you know, there's one bit of the cook that you didn't touch upon. Like, is in terms of like an area that I just didn't even discuss, like, by all means, but be careful about recommending anything because you might just spoil something by recommending something. Uh, I guess like unless you snack, you have something that I probably should talk about. I'm kind of I'm kind of cool. I'm kind of cool with that cook. I want to come back on Monday and and do more like like revise the cook and stuff like that. But um, I'm for, I've streamed ten hours. I'm for sure getting tired. It's eight o'clock. Gotta have dinner stuff like that. I I got I gotta go because I got the Formula One tomorrow and I gotta like leave early ish and I, I need to like get ready for the for the move tomorrow. You know. Um, so yeah, uh, but it's been really fun. It's been really fun. Uh, this was like an, a sick reveal, man. Sick getting so much lore and for, for, for Emmett to just be like chilling and talking and telling us the, the bad guy reveals his master plan. I mean, that's awesome. How much do you trust Emmett? 
this was my initial question is like how much do i trust him um but there are cave paintings that can go along with what he's saying and kind of support some of his stuff the stuff where he's saying about like it's our world and like we're going to restore it like all that kind of shit i don't necessarily trust like there's like always shit like that in the in the movies where it's like oh destroying this will will bring back the thing and then it's like we the good guys know that that won't work and we have to try and convince the bad guy not to like destroy the orb because if he does then it's gonna doom everyone and then uh and then the bad guy does destroy the orb and then it doesn't give him the reality that he it doesn't it didn't give him the power that he thought he was gonna get you know uh and then we have to kill him or some shit you know um so that's like what i'm kind of wondering i am wondering about that you know <sighs> may i take your picture oh is that what i need to learn for that's probably what i need to learn for sonoda he painted those 50 minutes before we got there no 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 uh because stala confirmed that they were very old she said it's the oldest thing she's ever seen Calamity of Earth, the third, quite literally sunk Circus Tower. The quakes are so massive. Mm. Mm hmm. Meant more like forests have had time to grow in different places and civilizations diverge from how it was. So that wasn't like Ishgard here, but another very different nation. Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And every world will be different, right? So I mean, like the big question I have is like, what what is reality, right? If 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 the people on this world feel real even if we're a reflection right but we feel we real our emotions are real our interactions are real etc does that not make them real and that's going to be my big question is like if the asians are like oh we're gonna bring you know we're gonna what is it re reunify or some shit what did he say we're gonna have the great re the great rejoining so you're gonna have the great rejoining sure but like you're trying to get your world back <clears throat> but like you're destroying 14 other worlds to do so and should you not be the bigger man and sort of accept that like your world is gone and that this is life now you know that's gonna be my big monday cook i think i mean i can cook a bit of it now but like that's just a moral question that's like a big moral dilemma. I don't think there is any right answer. I mean, for me personally, I would say that they are doing the wrong thing because I think you are actively, if you're passively witnessing the great rejoining, you're going, look, this works out for us. I'm not going to stop it. Like, you know, if this happens, cool, then good. But if you're actively trying to cause these calamities for the rejoining to occur then i think that's bad because you're you're changing fate you're changing history and hold on a minute if hold on a minute this is my question emmett's like yo i want to return the world to how it was but he said about how zodiac and heidelin came to be and he's like well zodiac we summoned zodiac to stop this calamity which is interesting that they were going to have a calamity on their home planet Maybe this is a whole thing, like the law reason, like these calamities keep repeating themselves because the original one or something. Um, and like, this is the doomed thing to continue happening because calamities seem like a big thing. I mean, a calamity, I think, is just another way of saying like a natural disaster. Like on Earth, for us, we have what tornadoes and earthquakes and volcanoes and stuff. So I think maybe there was just going to be a massive earthquake or a massive volcano or a massive, massive thing, maybe a asteroid or something like that, right? Like an impact something. And they're like, oh, we need to stop it. And then um, they summon Zodiac, right? And then the other guys are like, yo, no, we're going to summon Hydaelyn, which I'm actually really confused about because if they summon Zodiac to start, like, this is where I can't really trust him. Like, if they were the good guys trying to prevent the Calamity, then why did other people not try and, like, why did they rebel against that and make Hydaelyn. So this is what I need to learn is about like these I need to learn about like the like where the Asians are from like the original. 
because I need to find out more about that. And then, yeah, I guess it's politics, right? End of the world, and everyone's going like, oh, I believe this, and then someone else is like, well, I believe this. It's like, well, it's two different sides, right, maybe? Um, but within that, yeah, but so, like, why does Emmett want to restore the world if he's going to be bringing back people who actively fought against him by summoning Hydaelyn? Surely he would just be like, no, those guys were dicks, man. It's kind of like, if you guys knew that you could bring people back to life, but in doing so, you'd be bringing back to life the kids that you went to high school with, like, would you really want to do it? You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to bring those dickheads back. Are you kidding me? Fuck them. Let's all burn, bro. Let's all perish. I'm not bringing those guys back. I hated those guys. Um, politicians can disagree and still be good friends. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. I think we should talk, go back to village just talking about imperial taxes. Yeah, that's I like that. That's good. Yeah, so... I always think in this kind of moral dilemma, I think being active, you have to be cautious with. Because taking an active stance engages you in it. You're, you're now involved. You now are responsible. If you're passive, you are not responsible. So... So it, at this point, I still think what the Asian's doing is wrong. <clears throat> I think I still think what they're doing is wrong. First calamity was clearly caused by the introduction of tipping into society. And why was tipping introduced in society, Snacku? Hmm? Just reactivated my FF account? Hell yeah, Braxton. Gotta get into it now, huh? Passiv uh, passivity is also a perspective, so I disagree there. By all means. But. Okay. Someone is choking. Do you go over? Do you do the fucking Heimlich or whatever the fuck? You like grab the little phaser. <sighs> no, um, somebody's uh, so, somebody's like not breathing or some shit. You go give them the Heimlich, right? And then you like, I don't know, break their rib or something, and uh, you kill them. They die. You killed them because of the effect that you had on them. Well, if you didn't do anything, if you were passive in that situation, no one would be looking at you. It was nothing to do with you. You didn't do anything. You didn't engage. But now, because you took an active, like, now because you did something, you know what I mean? Now it's your responsibility. So I think if you are passive, I think being passive, like, can remove you from being responsible. You know? So, I think, I don't know. You have to look around the diaphragm? Yeah, no, yeah, 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 no, no, no. I was trying to, I was, I was combining things where I'm like, I don't know, you, you're trying to perform a, you're touching them, you're touching them. Being passive, they might have also died. They might, but your direct input 100% killed them. If you didn't do anything, they might have died. They might not. By being involved, you definitely 100% know for a fact that you killed them. Then you have, uh then you have a point of blame, right? If you'd have done something about it and chose to sit out, you still have responsibility over what happens after that? No, not necessarily. I mean, okay, so from a legal standpoint, in the UK, for example, if someone is drowning and you walk past them and they're drowning and you don't help them, you are not legally liable in any way. Now, just because you were talking from a legal standpoint doesn't necessarily make it right or morally right or whatnot, but from a, in the eyes of the law, you are not liable because you weren't, you didn't do anything, you know? So I think it's an interesting moral question. It's the Good Samaritan law, exactly. Like, I think 
Well, actually, isn't the Good Samaritan law where if you do try and help someone and save someone from drowning, but you injure them in the process, you're not liable because you were trying to, like, save them? Isn't that the Good Samaritan law? Or is that included within it? Morality and legality are two different things. Oh, I, yeah, I touched on that. I did say, I did, I did caveat it. I did caveat it. Just because something is legal doesn't mean it's moral. But in collectively as a society, that is the point at which we've gotten to. So, you know. In the US, you can't be held liable for helping, but you can be sued and the court fees are insane. Not win them back. Yeah. Mm. I think being passive makes you less responsible, but for something as big as the fate of the world, the few can sway the future has, have a responsibility to think hard on what to do or not to do. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Cyber, yeah. uh, this is a noteworthy yeah. person who's known in yeah. the community. Uh, Phoenicius? Phoenicius? Uh, thank you very much for the Prime. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your, your name correctly, but thank you so much for the Prime. I really appreciate that. And thank you for the followers of the country, guys, as well. Thank you. Hope you're having a good time with this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think personally, like, I think everyone can make up their own uh, mind on this one. Uh, this is why it's a good story, right? Because it's a good moral dilemma where no one really has the right answer. We just have good arguments as to why each one should be heard out, right? I think, in my opinion, the Asians should let it go. It is what it is. Shogunai. Um, if they take an active stance trying to return the world to where it was, then they're the bad guys. If they take a passive stance towards the rejoining, then I don't think they're bad guys. That's my opinion, based on the knowledge I have right now. What if Emmett Selk was actually a robot made by some precursor? Okay, <laughs> okay. If you're medically qualified, try to help in cash, uh, and, uh, and causality, uh, and the casualty doesn't, uh, sorry, casualty doesn't survive. You could be held liable, also can be held liable if you're qualified and don't help. Ah, there you go. Ah, so are the Asians qualified? Uh, they sound qualified. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think it's a hard one. I think it's a hard moral question. I think it's something that we should try and solve right now here in Twitch chat at 6 a.m. for some of you guys. The real Asians were the friends we made along the way. Hell yeah, baby. Where's where's Alpha No at? Let me go give that guy a little hug. Yeah, I think I think this is really interesting. I think I'm gonna try and cook on this more because I don't know that my immediate feelings right now are ones that I truly feel. I want to I want to cook on it. I want to cook on it. I want to see if maybe being faced with this kind of moral question, whether I would change my stance. I mean, for me, honestly, people on these planets are like, you know, people, life, everything, these worlds, they're real, in my opinion. I mean, it's all a video game, so it's not real, but, you know. I'm gonna take notes and study. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's all good, Supox. That's fine. That's fine. I won't look until Monday anyway. I I'm going to be busy this evening now. I do think, yeah, if there's one thing to take from this, guys, take a CPR class. Yeah, love that. Um, but yeah, right, guys, I'm going to finish there for the day because I am starving. I've got to get to the gym. i got to get ready for Suzuka tomorrow. Um, no streams this weekend. I mean, I don't normally stream on a Saturday, Sunday anyway, but I have said I want to try and do some streams on Saturday, Sundays going forward, but no stream because, like, I'm gone. Maybe next week, maybe next week we can do something because I think I'm going to try and have a free week next weekend where maybe I'll do an extra stream or something. Um, but I'm going to head off. Thank you so much for today. This was so fun. This is so much lore now, so much cooking to be had. Um, so, yeah, I'm stoked, man. No, the, the podcast should return. It, we're looking at, like, next week. Again, I couldn't do one this week this weekend because I'm going to the Formula One. The previous weekend was just, like, too short notice. But we're going to try and bring it back. Yeah, we're going to try and bring it back. But I have to be aware that if I'm going to do a podcast, it's 2 a.m. on It's, like, 1 a.m. on my Friday when we're beginning the podcast. So I need to see, like, how I can fit it in. Um, maybe Russ can 
maybe Russ can try and do the podcast a bit. Like, maybe on a Friday, Russ doesn't mind starting his stream a bit earlier, and then we can meet halfway. Um, so I don't have to be doing it at 1 a.m. or something. So we'll see. Um, well, he wouldn't even have to, like, stay up properly, you know? But, like, for me, talking at 1 a.m. is difficult. For him, it might not be as difficult, like, on a time, so... Um, oh, next Friday is a 14-hour broadcast and a live letter. Okay, <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe not next week, maybe the week after, you know? Um, thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. Um, invite locals. I'll invite my neighbor on and be like, hey, what do you think about the noise? We're right, watching the FIA feeds this weekend, trying to flip my sleep cycles for the weekend. Yeah, sick. Sounds good. Sounds good, Decadence. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, like, feel free to, like, message me during the race and stuff, and, like, I'll, you know, if there's anything going on, uh, or if you have any recommendations for anything, like, in Suzuka or anything, uh, whilst I'm there, like, things I should go see or do or whatever, besides the Formula One, obviously, let me know. Uh, if, if you know the passcode to get into the paddock, let me know. I'll go say hi to some of the dudes in there. I'll just tell them I have, I'll just tell them I'm, like, friends with... Signs or the Claire. I'll tell them I'm friends with the Claire. I'll just I'm with them. I'll wear a red T-shirt. They don't fucking know. Yeah, if you can get me in the paddock, bro, just just let them know. Just let them know. Just let them know it's me. Okay. Just let just let them know. Oh, you mean you're not gonna hook me up? That's so. That's. After all these streams that I do for you, man, really? Yeah. Why did I say the Claire? He's Charles to me. Charles, who fucking know? Who knows? I'll make a couple calls. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Just, yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> right, guys, I'm gonna head out. Thank you so much for today. Thank you for the subs that have come through. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for everyone for hanging out in chat. Um, I'll see you all on Monday. Uh, don't forget to check out my Japan YouTube channel. That's where I'll be uploading all the content and stuff like from Suzuka and stuff. Check out that YouTube channel. You can also check out my TikTok. Um, if you're watching right now on YouTube, you should have a link in the description to these things. Oh, no, you don't. That's cringe. Um, oh, no, you do. Yeah, you do. There's my Twitter. I'll give you my, I'll give you my alternate YouTube channel for you guys watching YouTube right now. That's my Japan YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. This was, this was a sick stream. This was an awesome MSQ day. This was really, really cool. Um, and, uh, and yeah, no, I won't go live. I won't go live, but I'll record a bunch. I'll record a bunch and I'll act, I will like, I will like edit TikToks there and then on the day, in the moment, okay? I'll post live, okay? Um, but yeah, thanks guys. See you all soon. See you Monday. <laughs>